Hey guys, it's Fia back again with another Twitch vod for you. This one is from the 15th of May 2022, a Sunday. We did some transmog hunting. If you'd like to join us in chat, uh, you can do so at twitch.tv forward slash Fialma. If you'd like to uh, see what time I'm going live converted to your time zone, and of course what we'll be streaming on that day, you can add a slash schedule on the end of that Twitch URL there. And if you'd like to see some behind the scenes shenanigans, you can do so over at my Instagram feed, or you can do that on Twitter. There's also a TikTok, uh, a Facebook page, and of course a Discord that you can join. All of those links are down in the description box, along with a bunch of affiliate links, if any of those take you fancy, but no pressure, of course. Uh, hopefully we'll see you live in chat next time, but until then, enjoy the VOD. Maybe that would there we go hello god I'd, i i do not know what happened i i genuinely have no idea what happened no idea like the the windows update that i uninstalled and then restarted and then it worked was uh from two days ago it was from the 13th we streamed on the 13th everything was fine I played games yesterday, everything was fine. I played video files today, everything was fine. And then all of a sudden I stream, it's like, oh, nah. I, I do not know. I have no idea what the hell. Um, and then as it was restarting the, that final time, I was like, my phone's plugged in to the, cause there's, there's a, like a, a strip of USB ports on the top of my case. And my phone was plugged in and charging and I'm like, I wonder if I unplug this, if that will help. And then that was the time when it worked as well. So it could be that my phone was plugged. Like I just, I, I, I don't know. I don't know. I have no idea. <laughs> I, I genuinely have zero idea. Stay I just don't know. And listen. Um, right, so, place units, stream rate is, is active, um, uh, eyeshadow. Interesting look today, isn't it? Quite, quite odd. I, um, I don't know. Look, the, the colours are kind of cool, I'm, yeah, I don't know, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, pale green, everywhere. <laughs> Literally just all over the place. Uh, and then I've got, it's a dark, you can't really tell the difference, but there are two shades on my lid. There's like a darker burgundy, and then a brighter red. You can, oh, you can kind of tell just there, but it also might just be the shadow on my face. Um, but yeah, it's like a bright red and then a burgundy, and I think the fact that they're both metallic, like really super shiny, is just confusing the camera. But um, yeah, that's what we got. Uh, I own it, it flies. Let's get cracking. I've missed, I've missed time already. We need to, we need to get going, we need to get going. Uh, so it's all the, all the things today. And uh, the one at the bottom of my list is Blackwing Lair. BWL and it says Desiderata which is a paladin so I'm gonna run through it on all my pallies to start with. I thought I turned those on. Hello? Testing? Testing! Oh god fucking damn it. Okay give me a second. I think my default mic has been screwed by the weird as well. It has. It's trying to listen to this one and it's like, what? I can't hear anything. I'm not a paladin. Uh... Testing, testing. Good, there we go. F uh, captions are functional. Functional captions. Apologies for those who rely upon I'm them. I'm not a paladin. But I fixed it. Um, all right. <laughs> Um, let's just update this a couple times because those numbers were wrong. Cool. BWL. Oh, good zone drops. We love zone drops. Ah, oh, crap. Ah, <laughs> uh, I'm really good at this. Really, really good at this. All right. So there's a lot of conversation from before everything uh, worked. Uh, Woo from Desia. Hello. Well done. We did. We did the thing. First for Dupe, congratulations. Second for Rel. 
<laughs> Sorry, woo! Yes, appropriate enthusiasm. Thank you very much. Firstie, well done. Can you hear audio too? I figured you could because I could see the bouncy line in OBS. <laughs> bouncy I'm line, very technical term. <laughs> I'm not a paladin. Um, six, 67,543rd for when Rafir really goes viral. I'm not sure I could handle that, but we'll see. Maybe. Or we won't, either way. Uh, viral in the good way? I hope so. I hope so. Hello, Crumb. Good viral only, please. Agreed. Well done on third sheeps. Oh, a hydrate. What the fuck was that? What the fuck was that? Was that? Was that a throne ping? It was! Oh my goodness. Desir, thank you so much for the dress. Fingers crossed that actually works. Um, I had... I just remembered. That's from Berserk, isn't it? Ooh, that could be interesting. That's all right. Look, I'll deal with it as it happens. Um, I had a slight hiccup with a previous order from Berserk. Um, because they weren't happy about the US corporate credit card that Thorin was trying to use. But we'll see! We'll see! Thank you so much for the dress! Much appreciated! My god. I am... I need to go through my wardrobe because all the things that, like, a lot of the things that have holes in them, I can get rid of them now. And that's, like, that's exciting! But I have to, I have to actually find time to do that. But you know what's gonna help with the whole having time to do stuff and things? Um... Can I actually? Yes, I think I can. I think I can. Where's the camera? I need to make sure you can actually see this. Ahem. <clears throat> Fear has a shiny. Uh-oh. Which is- nope, that's fine. Fear has a shiny. Fear got the shiny! It's so light. It's amazing. Um, but anyway, I've been playing with that a bit today. <laughs> first thing I did, Windows- as I said in Discord, Windows 11, very first thing I did, change taskbar from center to left. Second thing, used Edge to download Chrome. <laughs> and then I installed the Sana, and now I'm doing Windows update stuff. Um, uh, one of the really fun things I've realized, because this is, an, this is an ASUS, ASUS actually have a phone app that allows you to control your PC from your phone and access files and stuff on your phone from your ASUS PC. And it allows you to control your phone with your PC, with your computer. And the most important thing that I never knew I realized, I never knew I needed, but I absolutely bloody did, is wireless transferring of files to and from all your devices without having to use fucking Google Drive. My, my Google Drive got full. It cracked, the, it cracked the shits with me and tried to ask me to pay for more storage. I'm like, piss off. <laughs> no. Um, but yeah, I, I can, I can transfer stuff from my phone. All those, all those recordings and photos that I take, I can send them straight to my laptop so that I can stick them into all my, oh, mm, I'm very happy with this and I'm going to be spending most of tomorrow playing with it, I think. But yeah, I'm, I'm very happy with that. Yay. Thank you so much for the dress to say. Much appreciated. Uh, just people to spend the new emote. Yes. Uh, just what you're on Glide Civilization ranking. We are on the bottom. What? Uh. Okay, I don't know what that means, but that's fine. Uh, all the hydrates. All right, where am I going? Exit the mage tower. I can do that. Time to get in and get your contributions done. This week we're going for 50 tunes versus Shah, something that actually ties up fear for two streams, so we're getting double the value. Correct, you are. And, um, we might actually not make it today. We've been, we've been falling behind. It seems like people aren't quite as interested in this as, as they were previously, but mm, we'll see. Hello, Rel. Contribute your embers today. Yeah, it closes today. Windows happened. You overcame it and resolved the issue, apparently. I got a paladin. Uh... One or the other. One or the other. <laughs> That's what happened. Make up no idea what it is. It looks amazing. Oh, thank you. Thank you. I'm... Pastel colors on my eyes, I feel like they make me look kind of, I feel like it makes my eyes look quite small. I think the dark on the lids helps, but I'm also really unhappy with the blending between the dark colors and the, the pastel colors. It just, it looks a bit dodged to me, but um, 
I also am closer to the mirror and have eyes rather than a camera to see it with. So it's, yeah, look, it's fine. It's fine. Are you happy? Nope, you, you're angry at me again. What do you want? I swear to God, new laptops and new computers in general are like toddlers. They yell at you for like three days straight until you've got all their updates and stuff done. Why do I have notifications? My privacy settings blocked access to my location. Yes, correct. I set it that way. <laughs> oh my God. Okay, that's fine. This, why did it not pin Chrome to the, I told you to be pinned, you numpty. Oh, there's a mountain there. Ah, uh, 100% it was late and you waited. That's how I see it. Love it, Meaty. Love that. Hello, Scarlet. It's okay, we still love you. Hello, Artanis. Welcome on in. Hope you're having a fantastic day. Uh, PC thought your phone was your sound output, maybe? Look, potentially. If so, the PC is an idiot. <laughs> but I mean, we already knew that, so it's fine. It's fine. Good afternoon, Seeker. Hello. Hello. Uh, Crimson Water Strider. No. No. Uh, thank you, Art. Um, is it a Dusklight Razorwing? Nope. Yes, follow on the socials. Do the thing. Do the thing. Um, just an armored blue wind rider. No. No. Uh, oh, and dupe with the biddies. Thank you. I love that. Like, oh, there we go. I'm like, did I not hear him? Like, did I not hear that NPC like stabbing at me? Concern. I'm not a paladin. Uh... Right, so all of those have been with bits. Right, now I'm, okay, good, wonderful. I uh, enjoy your lurks, both Crom and Cat. I was meant to be an Anon. Uh, well, it does have your name typed into the box, so there we go, <laughs> but that's okay. Um, is it under 60K? Yes, indeed, we are close. Let me, let me, let me do pet battling. Kingdom's better, well done, Panda, well done. Good job. That's 30 people donating max. Shiny! Yup, fear shiny. I'm very happy. Um, I, I had a look at my financials and stuff and uh, I'm I'm fairly confident that it won't, the purchase won't affect my dental stuff too much, uh, which is good. And uh, also because I'm going down to Melbourne for a couple of days in just a short while, uh, I yeah, it's gonna, it's gonna really help me not stress while I'm down there constantly. Like I can actually grab the laptop and do work and check stuff and, and make sure everything's okay uh, while taking a couple of days off uh, from actually being live and streaming. So no, it's, uh, yeah, it's, um, it's really gonna help. It's really gonna help. And I'm gonna, of course, claim it on tax because that's what we do. And then I went, oh crap, I got it. And I set it up and I'm like, oh good. And I was like, Shit. So I opened Amazon and ordered myself a laptop bag. Uh, <laughs> Cause um, if you want to travel with something that is expensive, might I recommend you invest in some protection of the item. Tends to be a good idea. Excuse me. Um, I've possessed you. You're supposed to be able to stop. There we go. That was a bit of an oopsie. My eyelashes stabbing me in a very uncomfortable place and it's making my eye water. Good. Everything's going just so right today. So right. Which only gets to, only gets to go to the Chrome website. And it gave me, it had so many little warnings. It's like, Edge uses Chrome's programming and Edge uses Chrome's technology. I'm like, I don't care. <laughs> thank you, but no thank you. They're trying. And I mean, I'm sure Edge gets a hell of a lot of use from, from people who don't, like, have a preference. Like, it is it is a very strange thing to have a preference of browser when most of them do the same stuff. I would say that the vast majority of computer users will literally use whatever is there to open up a brain. Do you know what I mean? Like, it's... Yeah, but I'm not those people. I have preferences. Where are you going? I am so confused. This encounter is not going how it's supposed to go. There we go. 
nothing. Beautiful. Uh, I still have update windows at the corner of my screen. Well, you should probably do that. Um, use Chrome to download your favorite game in browser, Opera GX. Interesting. I don't think I've ever used Opera. That's alright, I'm happy with Chrome. It works for me. Um, in the old days, only page in my AE history was getfirefox.com. <laughs> yes! Oh my goodness. Um, hello Chaos, doing very well, thank you, how are you? I miss using Chrome, then why don't you use Chrome? To be fair, Edge is actually now just a less resource hungry version of Chrome, but they did their dash, yeah. They took too long to to shift into doing what they wanted, uh, what, what, what they should have been doing, but, you know, it is what it is. Guess you topped off their bits recently? You did, dupe, thank you for the biddies. Much appreciated, hello Naughty. Um, it's you who've done it for you. You raised the bar. I know I did. I know, but like, we were hitting things a full day early and I didn't up update it. Like I didn't bump it up by an entire day. It was, it was a, like, we were aiming for like, I think it was 250 and now it's 300. Like it's not, it's not that much more. And we haven't even gotten to 250 yet. Like, Last time we had a 50 tunes versus Shar, it got done on a Friday and it just wasn't done this, you know what I mean? Like. Pastels on most people wash out. Yeah. Yeah, there are some, like, there are some gorgeous looks that I've seen put together with this particular pastel palette, but, um, I don't know. I, I just, maybe they don't, maybe it's, maybe it's because my skin tone is quite pale as well. Like, maybe that's what's done it. Um, and that whenever I've seen pastel shades look awesome, it's just so happened to be on somebody with a darker complexion. Um, and I mean, like, that makes sense. Just fear of eyes. I do totally stop yelling after three days. No, but like, it's like a toddler for the first three days then. How's that? Is that better? Are you still yelling at me? I can't tell. But maybe if I click something, will it yell at me if I click something? Launch that, and then launch this, please. Does anyone know of, like, a, um, a free but good video editing program? Like, think GIMP is to Photoshop as X is to, is to like, Vegas or whatever. Because um, I have Vegas on desktop, but I don't have anything. I can't transfer that to the laptop. Um... So I'm, I'm curious. I know that, isn't there like some kind of Windows video thing? Is it shit? Um, it's good. Brilliant, no clues. We did have clues. I said I own it and it flies. No clues. It is not the brilliant diabic. Man, learning maybe better, it's most group yeah. So if it looks great, yeah, I just have to kind of like the whole time. No blinking. No blinking. Uh, Green Wind Rider. It is indeed Seeker. It is the Green Wind Rider. You have guessed it. May I have a number from you, please, between 1 and 100? Thank you. And thank you, Dupe, for the biddies. Swift Green Rider, if there is such a thing. I don't know if there is or not. I think there might be. It sounds like there would be. I don't know. Hello, Hijax, and hello, Sen. How are you both? Hope you both doing very, very well. Um, I can make it. Uh, that it, I, I mean, if we could seek her, I would think that maybe somebody is buying me followers. Um, <laughs> that's funny. That's okay. Somebody in bits don't go towards bit badges. They don't because it goes through an extension. It's some, it didn't, they didn't work for Bitfest either. Um, back when that was a thing, if you remember. Um, yeah, bits through extensions are, um, different. They're different. Um, 1035, literally loved on see the Phoenix start screen thought phase only late today, then you start talking about techie bad, yeah, yep. Yup. Unfortunately. Unfortunately. Um, Pax 19, Oz shirt. Yeah, no, 2018. Uh, I think 2019 was the drippy, gloopy, weird stuff. They they changed their stuff very slightly each year. 
Um, but no, this one's a 2018. But I do have a 2019 as well as a 2017 shirt. I can't go this year. Bugger. That's right. Next year. Which fair branded laptop back. Ooh, I didn't even think about that. Shit. Did, I wonder if Spring even offer laptop bags. I'll have to have a look. I'll have to have a look. I had a doctor's appointment the other day and I had, because you have to wear masks to, um, well, there was a sign on the door saying, please wear a mask. So I did. Uh, and uh, the doctor complimented me on my mask and I was like, it's actually my logo. Yep. It's great. Um, you love a challenge. So get to it. I mean, look, I can try. Uh, <laughs> we can, we can definitely try to get 11,035 followers today, but yeah, that's a big, that's like 10 K in a day. And I don't think, uh, I think it takes something quite dramatic and unfortunate. Like if you go viral, obviously that kind of stuff can happen, but usually going viral comes with stuff you don't necessarily want. So so I'm I'm content with not getting there today. Friends are there. Yes, for you posting certain things. Edge from Chrome, not happy boy about it. I just don't like change. I'm sure Edge is fantastic, like especially considering they're literally running on. From what I understand, Edge is Chrome's infrastructure with a different skin on it, um, and a couple maybe a couple of different features or whatever. But like, yeah, I just don't like change. So. <laughs> Uh, places love a Microsoft stack. It's simply easier for them to manage. Yep, it really is. And when something goes wrong, it's the same support site for everything or the same support email for everything. Um, yeah, it's from a business perspective, it does make sense. But, uh, yeah. Nothing from Brutal Lash Labor. That's okay. He's only got one thing for me, actually. Um, so I'm going to close both of those off. Oh, it's the ingots, right, of course. Yeah, I'll get a few of them today. I've got a bunch of ingots in the guild bank, too. Um... Dollars of D&D dice. Quite so many little badges, even the WoW anniversary badge. Nice. Um, yeah, I didn't go and get the anniversary badge from last packs. Um, mostly because I'm not a pin collector at all, like in any way. And I figured that there would be some people out there who would really want something like that. And they only had a limited number of them. So I figured I'd just kind of let somebody else get it. Someone who'd actually value it rather than who'd just have it like sit in a drawer for forever. Um, yeah, that's actually the next big thing on the to-do list is um, badges and magnets and maybe some stickers. I found a website that does all of them, and for a pretty decent price as well. Um, but I need to actually get them ordered. I do have plenty of time, uh, but you know what I'm like. I like to get, I like to be organized. Uh, different programs only work on certain browsers. Edge, Chrome, AE, so many. Oh, gross. Gross. Yeah, I do hate when they're like, this is, this is a browser-based program. Oh no, not that browser. Like, good lord. I know it's probably a pain in the ass to provide support for so many different browsers, but like, especially if you're a paid product, like, dude. I don't know. Uh, a bit of a headache though, bugger. That's all right, hopefully it'll solve itself soon. Not a thing we used to happen bed. Just changed everything. Google, Microsoft, email, online stories, teams, everything at the same time. Move from IE to Chrome default. <laughs> That's hilarious, Meaty. That's so funny. Oh my god. I mean, it's hilarious from the outside. I'm sure it's not hilarious to you. Uh, anyone but Jess can pick this one. Fantastic. Annoying. I need a Chrome law. Um, maybe because AE is trash. If I was forced to use Edge, I'd be sad, but not hamstrung like you used to be with AE. Yeah. Yeah. Um, pig and whistle then. All right. What what the fuck is that? I, what is Glide X Pro? That sounds like something I don't want to touch. Um, where am I? This button. G Hub. Good. Pig and whistle. Okay. 
So I think I've already killed five more. I think that was the one I killed down there. Down the, down the way. Chromas and move away from Google. Weird, yeah. That is that is quite weird. Quite strange. You think they'd move from IE to Edge if they're moving everything to yeah. But yeah, whatever. You know, like what what do we know? We. Uh, all right. Where is Pig and Whistle? They go. Voice yeah, thingamajig in effect. Um. I have a spare Vegas key, let me check. Oh, no, 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 that's fine. Um, no, I'd, I'd prefer to have, I don't know. Um, if I can find something for free, great. Otherwise I can just wait until the next um, package comes up from Humble and grab that instead. Um, the more it is free depending on where you find it. Oh dear. Um, because we excellent selection, give people a society name for the devil in Old Town. Open shot video editor. Ooh! Open shot video editor. Interesting! Alright. Alright, 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 alright. I'll give it a go. Thank you for the recommendation. Uh, I've made a fool of myself this Mount Guessing Day. Did you now? It's good to you. I was right. You were right! You were right. You were correct. Alright, you lot. Come here. I think that's a fun one. I'm kind of surprised the Paladin is so low on completion because I ran through so many tunes doing this trying to get the one bloody cloak for fear. Um, Mage is finished in here. I've got everything for Mages from BWL. Um, I've done Flame Gore and now I've done Chromagis. Um, we're 35 as we're getting to 1035 today. I love the confidence. I'm it's not beautiful. <laughs> Oh, what did you do? No. Oh, screensaver. Okay, I need to turn that off. Um, good. And I can turn this off. Green, green wind rider, steam keys for giveaways. Thirty-five. The seeker. All right. Rover mechanic simulator. There you go. Congratulations. Did I take that off? I'm pretty sure I did. And then, and then, and then. And emote only is on. I see that. Brilliant. Thank you. I do not. Oops. Sorry. That's okay. Not a worry at all, Desir. Do not stress. No need to apologize. I've got music editing stuff, but that doesn't really help me for TikTok and Instagram. So. <laughs> Pick and whistle and cure and tour. Uh, have a great stream. Enjoy your luck. Enjoy your luck. Um, he also has in that given many years, mainly known as Fizz. Cheese puffs are very disappointing, like shockingly lacking amount of cheese on these puffs. Oh no, sheeps. Oh no. Sweet. No, holy crap, Brax. There you go, look at that! Small world! Amazing! You don't really get to choose what you go far for. Exactly, exactly. Uh, Edge is getting better since it's looking a lot more like Chrome. Yeah, well that's every time I tried to switch something to Chrome, it was like, but we're just like Chrome, and I'm like, don't care. <clears throat> don't care. 
Oh, excuse me, gnome then a dwarf hunter and all my characters are variations on Shay, there you go. Mm. Where have you been? So when she's in the name, I know, right? Seriously, what the fuck moment, it's amazing. Heckin' rude. Sounds sticky. Imagine this tracking pad related. Huh? What are you farming today? Um, we're farming Blackwing Lair. Blackwing Lair. Queen, hello, Jackie. Hope you're well. I'm doing very well, thank you. I hope you can say the same. Oh, I got some judgment stuff. Fuck yes. Amazing. All right. Storm wind. Nah, bugger it. Um, cool. So that's one down, three palladians to go. And then once I get to the original paladin, I'll update the spreadsheet. Um, but yeah, a hundred percent for f uh, for fear for Blackwing. Um, the paladins on thirty two, thirty seven, twenty one. Thirty one, fifty one. So the next one after the pally is the warrior. So I'll jump on the warrior after I've done all the paladins. All right, stream raiders, yay! Um, I feel what else amazing to do remaster. Da four is coming though. I think people will switch over to a little jig playing in the background. The dwarf hunter is Sheila seeing people as well. Sphere behind on chat always. You recently again before Dragonfly. Yay for the bit. Thank you for the biddies, dude. Thank you. Alright, I came back. She's streaming, then yes. Do you two minutes with the in 2009? Emote only. up. Snags for dinner. Delicious. Delicious. We had snags for dinner yesterday and then some leftovers for lunch today um, because uh, we got the email this week that our postal vote had been officially counted um, or it had been officially received, I should say. Um, I don't think they actually count them until like the actual day day. But yeah, so we, we had our democracy sausages because we have voted successfully. Um, I'm going to say hi and leave a lurk. Enjoy your lurk, Dunno. Thank you so much for stopping by. Hello, nurse. Doing well, thank you. I hope you can say the same. Congratulations to Seeker, Cat, Cade, Brick, uh, to all of you on your bonus shit. Well done. On to the next one. Uh, so I can't place another one of those. Uh, and then I've got... Paladins or flying rogues. I think I'll go the paladin because it's higher up on my list and I'm trying to live up them. I wonder if I can buy any scrolls. Where's the st oh. Ah, yay. Paladin's placed. Okay. Where's the store? Perfect. My army, it grows. Hawkeye. So we're gonna go to Blackwing. I'm gonna open up ATT. I'm not a paladin. Uh... That's it. That's it. Guilty so happy. Yes. Oh yes, we need uh, forty thousand nine hundred and seventy-eight more embers. Twenty people all up. If you would like to see Fear throw all fifty of her tunes against Shah, that is how to do it. Eighty-six percent. Ah, so close. Fear just plays Paladin. I did, and I'm also on a Paladin currently uh, to do Blackwing Lair. So that's fun. Thank you for the biddies, dupe. Is it different when you prefer I spam? Let me know. No, no, no. You, you do whatever you prefer, dupe. They are your bits. It is, it is up to you. 
Up to you. Oh, Alright, exit Mage Tower. Confirms fear is paladin. No, fear confirms is well is currently on a paladin. Does not make me a paladin. By the way, guys, eight sixties. Ah uh, ah uh, ah. Uh. The end of the day, fear gets paid. Look, the end of the day, fear is able to pay her dentists. <laughs> Uh, and Rel kind of give me a sound command. Now saving for another one. Yes, must control the emotes. <laughs> do, do, do. Blackwing Lair. Here we go. So obviously I need the ingots, but that's that's fine. I can. I'll do that later. But Doom's Edge, one-handed axe, zone drop. Ah, I, zone drops drive me batty. Zone drops start, drive me absolutely batty, especially when they're bop. If they're BOE, it's fine. I can handle maybe having the pos possibility of having to spend 200K on the auction house later. But when they're bop, it's just so frustrating. So frustrating. Age 60s are, are, are indeed rusty, indeed. What color are the lights on? Yellow. They are on yellow. I think I've got that. Hang on a second. Wait. Why? Oh, you know what? I updated Lumia before. I don't think it's launched. Give me a second. Why are they on yellow? I think if I did something that would put them on yellow, did it launch? There it is. All right, so it's only just connected now. So if there was, They're still on yellow. Yeah, default is set to yellow. Um, did you attempt to change them, dupe? While I didn't have Lumia on. Should they still be green from last stream? The, the dynamic default has been set to yellow and that's not something that I tend to touch so I am i don't think so. I don't know, something might have changed at some point, but I am not too sure. I thought I'd check first. Yeah, of course, of course. But no, they are, they are on yellow and I checked the default and like the default on the drop down menu has been set to yellow, which usually means either I've changed it, which I haven't, or there's been a redemption that has set it to yellow. Um, that may have happened after stream. It, it does, it can still happen, I believe. I'm not sure. Yeah. Unless something is legitimately balked, in which case. <laughs> I did just update the program, so maybe that's what did that? I don't know. Uncertain. Um, Dread Raven. Ooh. Oh, good morning, Morph. I hope you're having a lovely day. Go back to my fucking tier three once my gift of sub runs out. Tired of this slow and begin back in a comfortable financial place. Amazing. You know you can upgrade, like, you don't have to wait for it to expire. If you didn't want to, you can you can upgrade at any point during the month. Um, um, but, uh, let me 
instead of to green. Does it stay on green till someone else changes it? Correct. Or, I mean, uh, um, it does, does do the dynamic things, like when people follow or raid or whatever, it does the fancy stuff. But then when the fancy thing is finished playing, it goes back to whatever that dynamic default you have set it to is, yeah. Um, next year it goes back to yellow. No, it, it doesn't. It's, it keeps it. It's supposed to keep it set. Uh, until it's until it gets changed occasionally I'll change it like if there's some kind of special event that I'm doing and I want it to be a particular vibe at least at the start of stream then I'll change it but I don't remember changing it to yellow and usually I'll change it in the nano leaf app rather than Lum rather than in Lumia so that when Lumia kicks in it changes back to whatever Lumia wanted it to be if that makes sense Yeah, it's, uh, I'm not sure what happened there. Bonk. Um. I uh, did, didn't go through, seems when we guess what's Oh, that is, that's really odd. Yeah, maybe. Hmm, that's strange. See, I'm putting puzzles glow. Yes, Sika, it's amazing here. Okay, Razor Girl gave me nothing. It's a natural zone. Nice change from all the other Shadowland themes. Um you are persistent, aren't you? Your ally here attempted to match his power against mine. And he paid the price. Alright, I did the choose my mount. I do a stretch. I have two skins I haven't dropped and only two days left. Spam SR play. Yes! And join in like with all of the captains. All the captains. Right, how do I make that not be numbers? <laughs> okay. I must release it. Flame, death, destruction. Call our mortals before the wrath of Lord. No, I must fight this. That's why. Okay. Help me. I must fight. All right. That should fix it for next time. Three blood fang belts? Are you joking? Okay, fine. Okay, fine. I really want to know my number. There's a way, like, I'm sure that there's a way to find it out. I'm a free man, the prisoner. Yep. Oh yeah, my new paid sub begins on the 24th. Just gotta wait it out. Oof, rough. Yeah, okay, fair. I guess it's so that it doesn't, like, wipe out the what the person paid for for you or something. Like, I don't know, maybe. So that it doesn't, like, waste their colors. Alright, so this is what I want to copy that. Pop that in here. Buy that. <laughs> Are you joking? It looks like all of the other ones for the chatbot were actually already fine. It was just green that was wonky. Unless that does it like across the whole... I don't know. It would be interesting. Um, makes sense since it was a gift. I miss using the fail emote, I can imagine. It's, it is a fun one. I do like that one. God, I hate this suppression aura. Oh, 
Oh, that's so cool, matey. That's super funky. Ten days. Oh, I'll fail lots. That's that's probably why Sheba is upset. Because he knows. He knows that I'm gonna fail at something. Oh dear. Suppression aura. This is like the first boss takes, like, it's just a while. And then this room just takes forever. This raid would be so goddamn fast if it weren't for those two things. I swear. That's right. I still think we're going to get through like a ton of runs today and I'll be able to boost up a lot of the classes by a lot of percent. It's going to be a good feeling. Just inching ever closer to 100% across the board. I mean, again, we're a long way off. But progress is progress. My mind, I'm allowed to lovingly, platonically bully the streamer <laughs> with consent, which you have. Can't remember for you if I asked you if you ever played any of the Dragon Ages. I don't think you asked, but no, I haven't. I have heard of them, but I have no feelings towards them, positive or negative. I just. No. Nah. Uh, do Paladins still have reintroduced Fire Aura? I think I remember correctly walking around in this instance helps through like movement wise. I may be wrong. Happy Sunday to you, Lion. I don't know. I don't think so. Um, it's Crusader Aura, mounted speed. But mounted speed doesn't really help. Um, devotion aura, damage taken by 3%. Um, retribution aura, avenging wrath when people die. Concentration aura that I don't have yet, but it's um, effects like interrupts and things. Red aura rank 2. It doesn't look like it. Doesn't look like it. Maybe, maybe if they're not in uh, red. Am I in red? No, I'm in prot. Maybe if you're not in prot. But, um. Nothing here. Nope. Um. I don't want to know how a doggo can draw so well. He thought typing his own insta was good, then he saw your art. I told him you were a doggo too well. Really massive, not sure if they've been able to make enough to stream. Yeah, I... yeah. Honestly, I have enough on my plate without taking on new games, so <laughs> not interested. Um, but I'm glad you're enjoying them, that's what matters. Um, it's the orange one, don't know its name. Most of them are orange, though. None of them really sound like they help someone who's, like, solo. Uh, none of the auras help inside, yeah, nah. Yeah, that's okay. Um, his name, massive time sinks, no resistance aura. Wasn't unpruned as resistances aren't a thing these days. Yeah. We don't tend to have things that are, like, super focused on one element. Um, fire aura was removed way long ago. It was fire resistance aura. Okay, interesting. Hi, the sun. Hey! Ah, Desia with the resub. 48 months. My god. 
four years. Holy shit. Thank you so much for the resub. Enjoy your emotes. Wiggles, eyebrows. Um, Sophia, speaking of new games, aren't, aren't you playing a new game later this month? I am. I am. Um, we have a stream coming up. I believe it's not tomorrow, but the Monday after, the 23rd of May. It is a Monday. Uh, and I, 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 like, I believe that's when it's happening. I don't really, I don't have anything to sign just yet, but it's a sponsored stream. We're playing Final Fantasy XIV from Square Enix. It's going to be great fun. I'm really looking forward to it. Um, I'm just hoping we'll be able to get everything, you know, all the ducks in a row and all that kind of stuff um, prior to next weekend so that I'm good to go and can introduce you guys to the new player experience in Eorzea. Very exciting. Very, very exciting. Um... Fire resistance or yeah, nah, that's not been in game from from what people were saying earlier, it hasn't been in the game for a very long time. But that's okay. Um Do aren't! Correct, dupe, do aren't. Um are we with these ducks and why are you lining them up? Also beware the sheeper. Dogs nom ducks look fear noms ducks. I fucking like duck is like my favourite meat, seriously. It's delicious. Delightful. Excuse me. Um, ducks, those are in Dragonflight. They are! You are correct! So excited. Okay, I missed it playing a long time ago. I tend to put back remove spells time to time. Um, there was a big pruning in Legion where they got rid of a lot of spells and stuff just because the toolkits for each class were just getting entirely too large. It was massive. The number of buttons we had was ridiculous. And then over the last couple of expansions, they've added a couple of things back, but not many at all. Like one or two maybe per class kind of thing. Um, it's Ebon Rock and Flame Gore, neither of which gave me anything new. Um, anyone suggesting you can line up? Ducks has never tried it. Yep. I mean, that's why, maybe that's why the saying is getting your ducks in a row, maybe, because it's really bloody difficult to do. Maybe sleeping ducks. No, don't wake the duckos. They're so cute. So cute. Uh, ducks walk in a line when they travel together, true. Nothing new from Chromagus. Chromagus. Looking for it to do. Embers, Embers, follow on Insta. Yas! Enjoy your lurk, dupe. Ducklings do line up nicely after Mother Ducks as they waddle along, heading to the water so similar. That I'm dreaming again. No, 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 they do. They definitely do. But in terms of us putting them in a row, is not so easy. Not so easy. Just go into the kitchen. Brilliant. Uh, they also line up well on a rail in a window for noms. Adorbs. Super cute. Oh, for good sake, I always forget how many bloody chat options there are there. Uh, ducks are poor, they have bills. I mean, look, I'm not poor. I have bills. I might be broke, but broke and poor are two different things. Um, how are you doing? It's good to see you. I'm doing well. Doing well. Uh, getting along. I uh, hope you can say the same. Just as a column, adult ducks are super non compliant. Beautiful. Amazing. Oh dear. Deary me. Waiting, waiting, waiting. Waiting for them to pile up. Oh, here we go. 
Last one, join us. Boom! The mortal's courage begins to wane. Now. The mortal's courage begins to wane. No, it doesn't. I just one-shot a whole bunch of your stuff. Like, for realsies. I got Ashkandi! Amazing. Amazing. Alright. Out we hop. That's two paladins down. Two to go. Um, doing fine too. Enjoying Sunday to the fullest. Fantastic. Remember bashing my head against the street for so long for the big ass sword that drops from this dude? That sword. Yep. Yep. I'm going to be bashing my head against it for like a cloak or something. You know, you know what's going to happen. It's going to be something very uninteresting that no one actually cares about, but I need to get it. <laughs> Who needs courage when you can one shot? Correct. I, I, that's exactly how I feel, Midu. Exactly how I feel. All right, on to the Alliance Paladins. I like doing them like back to to front so that um, but when I finish on the final one, I can grab the data and it's the correct character. It's good. If yeah, there's a horde, correct. Did I say Alliance Paladin? I've done the Alliance Paladins. I'm now onto the Horde ones. Yep, okay. Oops. Yeah, no, I start with the, that, and that's, it's the back to front reason. I go from the bottom to the top of the Alliance list and then bottom to the top of the Horde, Horde list. So that when I, like my final tune, the last Paladin will be the one for the spreadsheet. I just, I feel like that works just so much better. Ah, <laughs> oh, dearie me. I am just a bit of a numpty. Exactly, Horde is correct, yes. Dickies 43 still only made him for pets. Amazing. That's so good. So good. Alrighty. Black wing lair. It does say that there is an ad starting soon. Oh, and now it's saying, oh, there we go. Just in case you were Needing to be made aware of that. Okay, there we go. Blackwing layer. I wonder what percentage I can get this to. Petting or battle pets? I would say for, for battle pets. Petting, of course. Good. Wonderful. Oops, what'd I do? Oh, there we go. I'm good. <laughs> I think I clicked something I was not meant to click. Um, I would very much like to get a Doom's Edge. That'd be really nice. Really, really nice. Hello, Sark. All right, it's a little more difficult to get there from Horde side, but that's okay. Now click the portal to Silver Moon in the portal room. Give me a long flight. At 
Torin girl, 15 for the flowers achieve. Amazing. Lovely. You know what that means. A chair stream. Why? <laughs> Good. So I can go refill my glass. You knew what you were doing. Take airship to strangle Thorn and fly up. Uh, this is, yeah, that's what I'm doing. Um, Zygor is really good at calculating you the fastest route to take. Um, so I follow my arrow of destiny. Portal to Gromgol. Don't need to take the airship because it doesn't exist anymore. There we go. I'm surprised the pet battle pet portal isn't faster. Which one? Ah, oh, the one down the bottom. Look, it's pro that's a good. Yeah, I wonder. I'm pretty sure I've got it set to use. Yeah, like everything, and it's for speed route as well. Interesting. I guess having to run out of there manually. Hmm. Curious. I'm pretty sure I've got, once you unlock those portals on one character, they're unlocked on every turn, right? Uh, do you have the drill toy? I don't remember. Um. What is it called? There's nothing called drill. If you can tell me what it's called, I've got a lot of toys and I don't remember very many things because I have memory issues. The Brewfest toy, that doesn't help me either. What is it called? I don't know whether I, I, I know which one you're talking about. I genuinely don't know what it, whether I have it or not. <sighs> Get the last relic of Argus. It's the fastest teleport. Last relic of Argus. Huh? Teleport to where? I'm confused. Mold machine. Uh, it's definitely not called the mole machine. And there's a bunch of machines, but none of them are mole related. Everywhere. Well, if it teleports you everywhere, that's not really going to be helpful when you're wanting to go to a specific place. Machine is an item in your bag. Right, then I won't have it, no. Or maybe I do, but it'd be on Fiamma and it'd be in her bank, not in random alts bag. Diver is remote. Uh, not a toy. Yeah. It'd be an item in your bags, not a toy. So no, I wouldn't have it on any of my alts. Um, a relic is also random. Yeah, then that's absolutely useless for our purposes, so... <laughs> Uh, but portals are account wide, planning at some point to get them, just for reasons like this. Yeah, it's interesting that Zygor wouldn't, like... I'm, there would be a reason why it's not using it, because it does use it for other stuff. It absolutely uses it for other dungeons and things like that. Um, it's interesting. Relic is the fastest to wear in particular, Greg, because as Jess, uh, Jass mentioned, if it's a random teleport that just sends you bloody wherever, then that's fucking useless for what we're trying to do. In which case you're just trolling. Like, what's the point? Uh, I wonder why they haven't made it a toy box toy. Uh, good question. Maybe it's because it is too useful? Like, I know that they didn't want to make a lot of, like, things that gave you a combat buff and stuff like that. They didn't want to make those toys. It was purely cosmetic things. Um, there are also a couple of other bits and pieces. Have they made any teleportation, apart from the Hearthstone skins, have they made any teleportation items toys? Uh, Seeker, ZG, and Fade, congratulations to all of you on your ownership. This is to exactly where you want to go. Yeah, I'm assuming that's from the tooltip, which is bullshit because it's a joke. <laughs> uh, 
Ah, there's a toy that sends you to Black Temple. Wasn't that the necklace? Did they turn that into a toy? Interesting. I Because I knew that there was a neck piece that transported you. I didn't realize that they made that into a toy because it was a wearable. No, Nuke. Wormholes are toys. But they can only be used by engineers, right? Or can any tune use them even, like, it's just that an engineer has to make them. Like, there are restrictions on all of these. By the sun well. I would have told Barada to be good. Those cool fractured necrolite skull. Ah, that one. Engineer only. Yeah, interesting. Kay, thank you so much for the resub. Yeah, I bought that the other day. It was the, um... Ah, consume the soul of a target critter to summon a portal to the Black Temple. Interesting. I never even actually read it. I just bought the thing. That's interesting. That's a fairly... Oh, it's not It's not too recent. It's a couple... Mm, interesting. Okay. Cool. I would like to see what the... um. Like, the thought pattern is behind, like, what becomes toys and what doesn't. It'd be interesting. Uh, that's what I'm looking for. It's like, when you have a jazz. Brazigal, where the hell are you going? And why can't I control... Usually, as soon as you click the orb, you can control Razorgore, but... It's, um, so far it's made the Durgan run to me all the way before I can get control of it, which is super interesting. I wonder if they changed that recently. It has been a little while since I've been in here, but not like years or anything. Yes! Two out of three. Done. Amazing. Ah, uh, could I have in portal or teleport in the search box to see if there are any? That's a, an interesting thought. Well, I mean, we know that that one... Uh, open a portal to a dangerous legion world. And then that's Hearthstone. Um, and nothing comes up with teleport. I guess it doesn't search the descriptions. Yeah, it doesn't search the descriptions, that's odd. But then the other one before kind of did sort the- I don't know. Weird. Your ally here attempted to match its power. Sometimes it bugs. Yeah, but three times out in a row, like thrice in a row is weird. That's odd. That almost sounds like it's been changed. Uh, anyone get up to anything lovely this weekend? Just housework, really? Nothing too fancy, unfortunately. Ah, oh, that was pretty good though. Swing today. Brilliant. And how was a teleport too? Ah, uh, yes, it was mentioned before. Um, but they are engineer only, so at least, like, there is some kind of restriction on there, which would make sense to make it a toy. So that all your engineers can use it without having to craft 50 million of them. Um. But yeah, it is interesting that some teleport items aren't toys, but some are. Because originally it was, yeah, anything that actually had a function like that. It, it, toys were supposed to be cosmetics back when they first introduced them. Obviously that's changed. But um, they were talking very much about how it's just going to be cosmetic stuff. Nothing that's actually useful or functional. And then they introduced, obviously they put the Hearthstone skins in there. But you already had a Hearthstone, like every character had a Hearthstone. They were very easy to get. So it doesn't really matter too much to let them be toys. Um... But yeah, now there's a couple of things in there that teleport, but then other things that teleport aren't in there as toys. So it's, yeah, interesting. 
Oh, long cooldown between egg breaking. Yeah, and then they fixed that. <clears throat> they did a fix. It's doing arcade. Amazing. Eight hours sleep to catch up. Fantastic. Wonderful. Alrighty. Now we do the fun bit. Super happy fun bit. My works are used on all characters. Caddy stamp whistle. Yep, I know. I've got that. But we were more focusing on teleport toys. That's what we were talking about. Because, um, talking about how, what the quickest way is to get to Blackwing Lair. And Zygor tells you to take a bunch of portals and go here and there and stuff. And then it was like, well, why don't you just use the pet battle portal? And I'm like, that's an interesting, I wonder why not? And then, yeah, we kind of got onto the topics of, of toys and stuff from there. Um, I have a stretch redemption. So I'm going to do that while I'm on auto walk. Uh, and then I have three hydrates. I can skip this part with the knockback strats, but uh, I suck at those and uh, often it takes me longer to try to get the knockback at the right angle and at the right distance than it does for me to just walk through the bloody place. So fuck it. I don't care. <laughs> Blessing of freedom and also bubble should take off the slow. Eight seconds, that's not gonna get me anywhere. I mean, little while, but not like it's whole two levels worth of this shit. Um and bubble, what divine shield or bop? I can never tell which one actually harmful effects. That doesn't work. Divine shield. I don't usually play paladins, if you can't tell. Ah, oh, forbearance, right, 30 seconds. Okay, that's fine. As you can tell. Not a paladin. Eh, I mean, it got me a few extra yards. Could have been worse. And I am using Divine Steed on cooldown. I'm not a paladin. Already uh... doing that. It just doesn't shed the uh, the speed stuff. There we go. That helps a little bit too. You there. You're in range. Fantastic. And now I have to walk a bubbly way over there. Good. Um. Two and a skill is the one of I was talking Huh? The second skill is the one I was talking about. Um, sorry, Shish, I'm not sure what you're talking about. Was that a very busy soccer then cleaning the zoo brewery and dinner club? Wow, Seeker, that's a lot of stuff. Well done. Go you. Go you. Leveling a shaman. Keep grabbing the mold quest drops, not necessarily gear upgrades because ATT. So um, if you complete a quest, no matter what you choose, all of the items will be added to your transmog stuff. All of them. Every single reward, including the ones you don't pick, will be added to your, uh, your appearance's wardrobe. So you don't need to do that at all. Uh, learning things with fear. Uh, a little extrovert pot is most full. My husband introvert pot was empty. I can imagine. Oh my goodness. Sick today. Lightly cleaned and played some. Wow. Wonderful. I hope you're feeling better soon though. Sick is not good. I don't how much these days. Fair enough. I mean, <laughs> lots of things have changed though. So, uh, it's, uh, yeah. I don't know that. There you go. Good to know. Yep, that's something they introduced uh, back when the, uh, in, in fact, when you had the, when they introduced the appearances wardrobe, it went back through all your stuff. 
every quest your character had flagged as completed and added all of those items to your appearances wardrobe so that you didn't feel like you needed to make a new, great, brand new tune to go back and do all the quests you'd already completed. It was all retroactively added as well. Yeah, they did good with that one. Oh, I always think you have to redo to pick bits up later. Nah, not at all. And that was why they didn't want to make people feel like they had to replay the entire game just to get all that transmog. Um, can wear will be added? Yes. Yep. Not ones that you can't wear to be too, like, Levin is exactly right. Anything that you, like, so if it's, if they've got three different cloaks, but you can only pick the intellect one, it will add the agi and strength ones to your wardrobe as well. But if you are a clothy and it has male options, it won't add the male options. You will have to do that quest again on a male wearer. Yeah. Yeah, it's a good system. I honestly think it's a... The way they've done it was uh, was pretty good. Uh, I've got a bone stock cooking down. The slow cooker is going to go for until morning. Brilliant. Best way to do it. Uh, if you check chat, there's always all the experiences added as well. Yep, absolutely. It'll tell you right there. Although if you've been picking them, you wouldn't notice maybe that the other ones had been added as well. Um... You feel better no one's a sick seeker? Yeah, no one wants to be sick at all, eh? Not just a sick seeker. People do quests. Yes, they do, Rusty. That's how we level, for the most part. While sitting in queue waiting for shit. Uh, it was a lot of quests. It was. It was a lot, a lot of quests, eh? Added so much. Um. <laughs> Seek his little announcement there, inviting you all to follow me on social media. I'm trying to grow my social media following because uh, in Australia at least, uh, Twitch isn't particularly valued by advertisers and stuff like that. Um, they don't really see it as a, a worthy investment of their cash, unless they are specifically like a game developer or something like that. Um, but anyone outside of that... Um, and there's not much money in gaming in Australia either. So in order to chase my dream of becoming a full-time content creator, I am growing my social media following as much as I can because it opens me up to be able to get sponsorships from slightly different types of companies, not just gaming-related companies. And uh, yeah, so if you wouldn't mind throwing me a follow, it's free. It'll take you all about 20 seconds, depending on your internet connection, of course. And... Uh, it's very worthwhile. It, it helps more than you know. More than you know. Um, can wear doesn't apply to armor type though. Correct. Uh, and I've been looking, but yeah, that's neat. If you get ATT and put on account mode, it'll show you what's been collected. Um, what has not, so you can see what to do and not to do. I mean, yeah, but you also just level tunes you want to level. Um. <laughs> Amazing. Amazing. Um. Uh, and around, can they move loads of quests to or a place they did? Yeah. They did. Uh, I guess you could just post an announcement. Indeed. Enjoy the double pretty colors. Yep, absolutely. But yes, we do also have a community challenge down underneath chat box. If you see the little fireplace, you can click that, and there's a big banner at the top. This is 50 tunes versus Sha. And if you click that, you can contribute your embers, which are the free channel points that you earn in pretty much any Twitch channel these days. People can turn them off manually, but, um, you know, they're a little bit fun. You can chip those in. And if we hit 300k today, today's the last day to contribute towards this particular uh, goal. If you, if we do hit that, uh, I'll do, yeah, 50 tunes versus Shah to try to get the, the pretty noodle mount. Um, and if we don't get there, then you get all your points back. Pretty easy. Still not getting them on mobile? Yeah, they they are aware. They know. Um, are you just quest with the warrior? Seven percent away from the goal. Let's get this done. Random but favorite Christmas TV advert. None. I don't watch TV. I. I don't watch television. <laughs> and we don't tend to have, like, 
super duper Christmas adverts or anything in Australia. Like it's it's just more advertising because buy stuff for Christmas, but it's not like you know, we we don't get that kind of shit here, really. Or at least we haven't since like I mean, God, last time I watched TV, I probably would have been not even a teenager yet. Fuck. And we didn't have them back then. That was like a while ago, twenty fucking years ago. So. <laughs> Um, I'm sure at the same time as I finish typing, he didn't spam. Yep. Do you want to use him? Fantastic. Amazing. All right. There we go. Nefarian down. Let's hearth back to there. Good evening, Trud. Hello. Oh, the Huolon Mount. Yeah. Brilliant. Yeah, I got that um, oh, just after it wasn't current anymore, which was nice. Yeah. Hawk High. Where's the paladin? This is my last paladin. Amazing. Amazing. Okay, last, let's go. Um, just be for a bit sort out dinner. Enjoy your food. See you soon, Ral. Enjoy your lurk as well. Why boo? I am confused. All right. Mm, blessing of freedom and divine ship is to get through this low section. Brilliant. Wonderful. Uh, just cool down. Ah, gotcha. Gotcha, not too bad. Big long black trip in Queensland. Fantastic! Well, I hope you enjoyed yourself. I'm not a paladin! Uh... Okie dokie. Now that that's done. This one. And this one. Thank you very much for the biddies dupe. Here's our commands. <laughs> So I'm on these quests. I'm on the Imperial things. I don't seem to have the regalia or the armaments though, unless they're in the bonk. Usually it tells you if they're in the bank though. Yeah. I don't have the armaments or anything. That's okay. But I'm pretty sure I'll have the uh, the six ingots. Yeah. Yeah, I've got 27 in the bank. Good. So trash bank items. So enthusiastic, Levin. It's okay. Caps happens. Yeah, usually it does, but I'm like, ah, uh, maybe it, I don't know. Look, I was, I don't know. Um, good to mention Dolce's on the trip, brilliant. I hope you had some fun. Now somebody goes Zulza. 
So it looks like this one is telling me to use the pet battle portals. Which is interesting, it's telling me to go to Zordazar though. Because Legion Dal is... Mana proof. To Nomragon? Why Nomragon? I can't know. Fuck off. Let's see, let's go and do the Blackwing one and see. And see why it doesn't want me to do that. Maybe it's just not programmed in properly. What was my plan? Eight little bottles. Oh wow, CK, you would have been plastered. Yep. Good job, well done. Well done. Are you right there? Sound like Jess just walked into a door, poor thing. Next day with stuff. <laughs> That's hilarious. I mean, it wouldn't have been at the time, but I'm sure it's funny afterwards. Alright, Black Rock Depths. Holy wow. Huh? What's wrong? Okay. I could just brew for dinner the next night and have a tasting paddle, of course, of course. Absolutely. Maybe the shortcut to Black Rock just isn't programmed in. I mean, that's okay. Because fly drinks, gotcha, understood. That makes sense. Yeah, it seems like it didn't realize where I was because it told me to go to the entrance door before coming here. Oh, if I hadn't spent so many years about it, I don't think I would have been alive. <laughs> well, obviously you were holding yourself together pretty well, because if they thought you were drunk, they would have cut you off. Hey, Claw, how are you going? I don't tend to slur. No, don't. I don't know, maybe? Like. You probably have better luck looking in game, though. Oh, crap, there are eggs up on the platform. Always forget that. Um, early birthdays and weekend. I mean, that's not necessarily a bad thing. It means you get more weekend to do stuff with, I guess. Unless you're waking up because you're unwell, in which case that really sucks. Mm, I didn't cream one. Yeah, that's really funny. Uh, next time, Seeker, like, if you manage to get a trip to Brisbane or, like, next PAX or something like that, we'll have to plan it further ahead so that you can take, like, you can be there for more time so that we can actually, like, do the foodie thing and stuff and explore and go to restaurants and shit. Because the entire day that you're there will be 100% PAX. Like... <laughs> Oh dear. 
nothing from Razorgore. That's okay. It's fine. I'm not at all disappointed. <laughs> yeah, totally. Mm. I mean, that kind of stuff does need more planning, though, so totally fair. But, yeah, it'll be fun. You are persistent now. Your ally... <laughs> Valestraz, let's do it. Now he shall serve his corruption has taken slaughtering. I cannot get up to control myself. Let me see this on the flat eight. Oh, for sure. For sure. I beg you, mortals. May I please have a judgment belt paladin? <laughs> it's paladin only. Like it's tier. That's why it says paladin. Oh, excuse me, don't should be working or not. Well, hopefully it's enough notice that she can get a day off. Put in for leave or, or something. I'm not I'm not sure what she does, sir. I don't know if that's a possibility, but Yeah. Or even a half day. I got it! Yay! That's it, Veil's Trust done on Paladin. Amazing! Uh, mix of air filter, or that puts steam. Okay, machine that makes the air less dry. Make sure to thinking about stuff when I wake up. Huh? So you mean a humidifier? Is that palaladin? Yep, it's the palaladin. Let's see if I can do the knockback thing. Because they'll chase me up, right? The, one of the I don't want to not kill them because there's the zone drop as well. But I'm pretty sure they end up knocking you back. Like they they chase you up there once you kind of. Oh, okay. Well done. Go me. Got it first time that time. This bit's the bit that sucks. They're gonna chase me up here. And I'm gonna get them to. Oh, look at that! Skills to pay the bloody bills! That is the first time in my life I have gotten it first time both times. I am thoroughly impressed with myself. Thoroughly impressed with myself. Go me! Amazing! I suck at these kind of things. Like the- Oi! Stop that! <laughs> no more knockbacks! Buggy you all! Um, I, I'm really bad at those kind of like do this fancy thing here or get hit by this like that to get to to be knocked over here. The shortcut stuff. I'm really bad at that crap. Always have been. Uh, probably always will be. And that's okay. But uh, yeah, that I'm very impressed with that. That was good. Wonderful. Amazing. All right, continuing on. <laughs> Uh, lucky last. Humidifier, yes! Yeah, they're good for certain things. GG indeed. I'm so happy. I'm proud of myself. I know that might seem like a really stupid thing to be proud of, but like, just don't. <laughs> Hello, who? Glad I've seen you do that. Normally, slug it around. I have three times today so far. That's This is my fourth character that I'm running through this on. And I was like, you know what? I'm gonna try it. And hey, presto, look at me go. I'm so impressed. I didn't know you could do this speed. The room up, great to know. Yeah, I knew you could do it, but it would always take me like, God, 10 minutes to get the first knockback. Because if you're too close, you'll just get knocked into the wall and fall down. Um, and if you're too far, then you'll just kind of land back on the floor again. Like there's this whole kind of, what's it? And then you got to do it again the second time. And I just, yeah, always have sucked at that. So I am very impressed with myself. Yay! One out of three, that's a good feeling. I mean, we started on like, what, 37% or something, and we're now at 72% completion for this raid, so I am, I reckon I'm doing well. I'm happy with this so far. Oh, are these the numpties that don't take spell damage? They are. They are. Ah, uh, yes! Clap. Battle net launcher. I am invert. How amazing is that? It's been I, I've been there on, on and off for a little while, and it's just been such a journey. I've met so many wonderful new humans, and just made oh, it's it's been so good. So many incredible opportunities. I'm incredibly thankful 
very well and truly thankful to, to Blizzard ANZ uh, for the opportunity. It's made a world of difference for everything. Um, maybe lots of police cars outside. Time to snoop safely. Yes, please. God, be safe. Um, that's where I came from. Oh, wonderful fish. I'm so pleased. Like, it's always really interesting to me discovering where viewers have found you, like how they found you, whether it's a friend has recommended them, whether it's like just browse page on Twitch or if it's from like the launch or something. It's, yeah, very curious to, that kind of data is invaluable. Super awesome. But welcome on in, Fish. I hope you're having a lovely day. Sounds like they found Seeker. Took them long enough. <gasps> oh my gosh. Oh no. You there. Right, bugs. Most from Street Raiders. Hey, Atan. Oh, that's so cool. So you kind of just found me as one of the live captains and decided to place and then jumped in while the battle was going kind of deal. That's super cool. Well, I'm glad you found us. I hope you're glad too. Weirdly, Twitch recommended you that I also see on the battle that launcher. Oh, amazing. Oh, that's super cool. You must, like, the people that you watch usually must have people there that also watch me. Like that's usually how the recommended works is like, yeah, it's it's kind of hard to put into words, but it's like, yeah. Yep, uh, Ali, Tan, Dunno, Fade, Harmonic, and Demon, congratulations to all of you on your bonus shit, well done. Well done. On to the next map, skins. Cause otherwise Meaty will yell at me. <laughs> Gosh, I remember finding you through the WoW category back in Jan 2020 when you were itty bitty. I was, hey. My gosh, the growth has been, like, when it happens, it happens. Good lord. When it happens, it happens. I haven't seen anything. Only here. Too cold to snoop too hard. Yep. Which is good to- Aw, Seeker. That's very sweet of you to say. This is your main game was WoW. There you go. I do love me some WoW. Raccoon chat, indeed. Jiren and Green Hazelnut, there you go. There you go. Um, I don't have any other. Okay, cool. So, what am I gonna place? Can't place a Flying Rogue. I can place a Centurion, though. So, maybe we do that one. Work on that quest. Cool. All right, back to here. Uh, Twitch's crazy recommendations. So many of my DBD streamers have considered playing some again. Yeah, if you watch a lot of DBD, then that's usually what you'll get recommended. Hey, um, there are obviously it's not just like who you watch and who who else watches them, who they watch. There is a lot of it. Like they'll filter by games you've watched recently and all that kind of stuff as well. Um, the best way to like really like reset your recommendations if you're wanting to find something else is to literally just go into, if you wanna, for example, get WoW recommendations, go into a bunch of random WoW streams. Even if you don't know whether or not you'll like them, just sit in there and watch them for a bit, and then Twitch will realize, oh, they're looking for WoW, let's recommend them WoW, and then you'll you'll start seeing the more tailored recommendations that way. Which a little bit, yeah. I joined Battle.net, introduced me to Essa, now I found a bunch of awesome streamers, especially rainbow ones I enjoy hanging out with, wouldn't yell, be far more passive aggressive. Brilliant, brilliant. I'm right, I'm getting rusty. That's all right. You did say you haven't played in a while, so just that. Um. All right, Chromagus. Come here, give me loot. 
Wrong loot. That's right. That's okay. One more boss and I can update the spreadsheet. Play and watch DVD streamers. That makes sense. I do enjoy checking out different people from the usual. Of course, um, what you play will have zero effect on your recommendations because Twitch can't see what you're playing. It doesn't have access to your PC in that capacity yet. Um, it can only tell what you want to see by what you actually watch on Twitch. So yeah, if you watch a lot of DVD, it's going to recommend you more DVD because that's what you've shown to like. It's what you've told it that you like. It's just like Netflix. I watch entirely too many true crime documentaries. And so all my recommendations are true crime documentaries. <laughs> all right, I need to refill my drink. I'm tired of running BWL and Ice Crown never getting the drops I wanted. Oh, I'm so sorry to hear that, Grim. That really sucks. Um, I have a, I don't run stuff repeatedly too frequently. Um, I've got my, my spreadsheet. I love my spreadsheets. I have like, look, it's just the thing. Um, you can actually see it yourself. It's if you type in exclamation AT dart, so it's A-T-D-A-R-T. -T. It stands for all the dungeon and raid things. Um, and so I've got all 12 classes from classic through to legion because that's what I can comfortably solo on all of my tunes. Uh, I've got 50 characters <laughs> spread as evenly as I can across all the classes. Uh, but so, and the, the spreadsheet can tell me where my lowest completion is. And so that's where I'll go. And currently my lowest completion is Paladin in BWL. So I've got four pallies. This is the fourth one I'm running through, but that's it done then i'll have a look at it because i've i've shifted to kind of instead of jumping all over the place um like i used to do in streams i've shifted a bit so i'm going to be running all bwl today but across different classes but i probably after this i probably won't run bwl again for like months <laughs> like literally months uh, because there's just so many dungeons and raids to focus on and i find that particular approach means i don't really get sick of anything because there are so many instances and because I only go into them every so often, it kind of, yeah. But I mean, each to their own, of course. Uh, everyone will have their own individual uh, approach that will work best for them. Uh, but this really does work well for me. Uh, but I get the same way. I just, I, I need something different. And because of how big WoW is, there is absolutely something different I can do while still be getting, uh, while still, um, Progressing is the word I'm looking for. Brilliant. Uh, but welcome in, Grim. I hope you're having a wonderful, fantastic day. Um, all right, here's my Dungeons and Raids progress dump. Oopsie. Copy that. To see paste. Thirty-seven point two one. Jumps to 72.09. I'm bloody happy with that. Good God. All right, so what's my lowest now? There's a 48, 47, 41 for Warrior. It's Warrior. So we're going to jump onto the Warriors. I'll switch over to Alliance and work my way from the bottom of the list. Do you love the crime docs though? I, yeah. I, I love me a good old true crime. I've got so many true crime podcasts and all that kind of crap as well. Like, you know, they, they say, you know, middle-aged white females, they, they love them. So they love them some true crime, but I justify it in saying that I have a bloody crime degree. I have a forensic biology degree. And so that's what I'm interested in. Damn it. But I am just literally a basic white bitch. So, <laughs> oh dear. Yes. Yes. The Fiamma sheet emote. Love us. Some sheets. Thank you for dropping the link, Sheaves. Missing the belt for T2 BWL. Ooh, rough. I got a paladin belt today, which I'm very thankful for. I'm still missing a few tier pieces for pallies, but that's okay. Move on to the next one. Instagram is like that too. If you search or look at a lot of the same things, you'll get more of it in your feed. Yeah. Yeah. Although my feed is completely full of only people I actually look at. Uh, but the ad content, yeah, like any advertising content you'll see will be uh, very, very much catered to what you like. All my shit is makeup. It's all makeup. 
and hair care and clothes, which is like cool. Thank you. <laughs> um, Valley. Yeah, I managed to get that today, Grim. I'm very happy. Ah, oh dear. Some interesting things in true crime. Need to watch some Netflix again. There are some really interesting ones. Uh, uh, what have I watched recently? Uh, Our Father was a new one that launched just a few days ago on Australian Netflix, at least. Don't know about the other regions. But Our Father is, it's a documentary. I'd call it true crime, but like the actual crime aspect of it, it, it goes into it in the, in the documentary. I'm not going to give you any spoilers, but it was a really really interesting one i there were a few spots that really got me like i was quite emotional um well done though really well put together uh and catching killers was another one where they interviewed detectives and other members of law enforcement who who gave the storyline of how some of the most famous serial killers and stuff in the u.s were actually brought to justice which is like really cool yeah very funky. Actually makes a good system. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, then. Yep. Mm hmm. I should extend the spreadsheet in prep. In prep. There's only going to be one more. Only one more. Dupe, thank you for the cheer. You're being so generous with your biddies today. My lord. My lord. My knees all in time for raid. All about the noise from ATT when you get that one item you wanted for ages. That's what keeps me going. We call it the happy brain juice noise. That's what my title's in reference to. We, yeah, it's happy brain juice noises. Because serotonin is happy brain juice. And the noise. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The happy brain juice noise. Mainly invincible for my DK. It took me... I was very lucky with Invincible. I, like, I know, oh, like, sunny. Rarity says I wasn't. Ah! Amazing! Grim, thank you so much for the sub. Welcome to the Fianati. Um, I got, you're probably gonna unfollow me now, I got Invincible in, I think it was like 127 attempts? Somewhere around that? I felt very lucky. I know that statistically speaking, when it's a 1 in 100 drop rate, that's not very lucky, but I felt really lucky after hearing all the horror stories, oh, so I was thankful. <gasps> Shiva with the gifted sub! Oh my god, it's a hype train. Jesus Christ. Oh my god, it's a hype train. By the sun well. Oh my god. By the sun well. Oh my god, Claw. <laughs> Thank you so much for the 10 gifted subs. By Jesus Christ. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my lord. By the sun well. Um, I read a lot of my girl in. Really enjoy true crime. I think it's because the stuff that happens is so far from anything that I could do. Fascinated and repulsed by the things that people are capable of. I, I reckon I... Well. Yeah. It, I have that morbid fascination with that, for sure. Absolutely. Excuse me, anyone watch Dr. Death on Stan? I don't have access to Stan, so no, I haven't. Um, I've only got, uh... I've only got Netflix. Actually, I've got 30 days of, of Amazon Prime now because I bought the laptop and they're like, here, have a free trial of Prime to get next day shipping. And I was like, okay, I bought the laptop yesterday and it arrived today. So I'm very happy with that. <laughs> Finally worked. Ah, fantastic. You extended your gift sub. Thank you, Claw. That's amazing of you. Uh... Annie from Nidus. Oh, Do you mean summer. Abby from NCIS? Uh, kind of, except that Abby uh, is a ballistics expert uh, and I was, I did forensic biology, so oh, DNA summer. stuff. Um, similar thing, but very different. You gotta keep in mind, of course, the TV shows have like one forensics person so that you don't have to remember 70 different characters. But in reality, every single tiny different piece of evidence will end up going to a different forensic specialist because they all do different stuff. Uh, but, yeah. Ah, uh, I was missing getting double mount. I was taking a break from the game when they did that promo to get the flying horse mount. Ah, gotcha, gotcha. Uh, if you had the pet hunting go, I got 13 new pets for Friday the 13th. I was pretty happy with that. Hello, Asgard, how are you going? 
Can I ask what the glass is on the screen next to Tomb Raider Timer? Yes, you can. It's uh, basically a tip jar. Um, so uh, that's what they call it on the Streamlabs website. So anytime somebody follows, a little 8-bit heart drops in. Anytime somebody subs, a sub badge drops in. Uh, if it's like gift 10 gifted subs, for example, 10 sub badges will drop in. Um, bits, the, the little bitties, whatever they use to cheer, will also drop in. If you t if you cheer with ten single bits, it'll drop ten little ones. But if you do do one ten bit thing, it'll drop one in. But it'll be heavier. The more expensive a thing, the heavier it is. So if um we used to do, <laughs> there used to be a thing back when I was much much smaller. Would people would cheer a ton like a ton of one bits, like little one 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 to fill the jar up, and then they drop like a one hundred, which would make it go bang and explode everywhere because the one hundred would like drive all the way down to the bottom because it was so heavy, and then spray little one bits all over the screen. It was hilarious, but um yeah, that's what that does basically. It's just like a little acknowledgement thing. It's cute and fun. Uh, during lockdown, I found quite a good podcast YouTube channel called Could Murder, called Could Murder a podcast. They talked through a lot of serial killer cases. Very interesting. Oh, cool. All right, I haven't heard of that one before. Nice. Is that when people subscribe gibbets? Yes, they drop in amounts. They do. TPC raids for TPs is the most annoying and wow to get. I've been banging my head against a wall trying to get them. Oof, you're rough. Yeah. Look, eventually I'll end up having a stream that is focused on a particular one. I'm sure, but so far. So far, we haven't struck that just yet. No tip jar, if people do sub bombs, it bounces all over the place, they do. Do it is a tip jar, yeah, that's it. Cute, yes. Oh, that's why Dupe did the chip, that's adorable. That's adorable, we've got one minute left on the hype train timer if you wanna get your hype train emotes. That's how to do it. Um. Oh, 120 hours on day. I have to pass out. No worries. Rest well. We'll see you next time. I think it's with the bits. Yas. My god. Wowzers indeed. Not just any hype chain. Claw, you bloody legend. Agreed. Glass splashing bits everywhere. <laughs> oh, that is such a cute combo of emotes. That's adorable. Um... Main is a hunter favorite armor says Mythic from Blackrock Foundry. Beautiful. This is why I wasn't happy the subscription system worked for me last time. Try to do this. Oh, so cool. That's so sweet of you, Claw. I'm glad it's working. I have collected all of the level three emotes. Perfect. Thank you so much, everyone, for all of your support. That is unbelievable and just so awesome and super cool. Super cool. Um, 13, ooh, yas. 13 new pets on Friday. It's quite happy with that. Sheba's, uh, and then I, I, um, Sheba, have you actually looked at the spreadsheet since, uh, since Friday? <laughs> I, um, I may have, um, gone a little fear. Um, <laughs> hello, Black Phoenix, welcome on in. Hope you're having an awesome day. Yes, eight more people to donate 2k embers if you want to see Fear bash 50 tunes against Shah for the mount. This is how we do it. Hey, new stuff. Yay, Ray. Oh, that's everything from Razor Holy cow, done in one. Brilliant. Amazing. Getting close now, we are. She could be more than once per stream. I know that is a Twitch limitation, not a fear limitation. That's not my choice. That's how they've set it up. Give sub, yay, death. Technically, you can just donate multiple times up to 2k. You can, but that's still not like it's so that people can't go in and like drop all of their coin, all their embers, and make the whole thing done in one go. I, I get it. I get it. When do you think we'll see 925? No idea. When they give it to us. Uh, 96%. Ah, so close! 4% to go for the week's goal. Can we get there? I reckon we can. I reckon we can too, Sika. This business encounter wants to train. Huh? Which ones? The 10. Oh, no, it's the. It had to get the. Wait. 
Yeah, no, they, oh, it was the conductor badge. Yeah, sometimes it takes a little while for it to actually apply. It takes a few seconds for it to click. Um, this is some person who's little brother licked it while I was eating his chew back from sister. Oh, no. Do you have, like, an in, in, uh, ingredients panel for it? Or if it's from one of the fast food joints, you might be able to jump on their website and find the ingredients listing, and then you can, like, Google the individual ingredients to see if anything in there is uh, questionable or problematic. I said, don't mind me. I don't think it would be, wouldn't be much onion or garlic in there, I don't think. I'd be mostly chemicals, but, uh, <laughs> I've seen it, figured you put your spreadsheet love and hands it. Yes. Yeah. Yay. Look. I started putting all the other pets in there that I didn't have, and then I realized what time it was and was like, oh. Okay. I'm probably just saving you from the inferior sauce because mustard is best. Wrong. Even if the poll said otherwise, the poll did say otherwise for good reason. Come on, you can do this. Let's go. No, you bastards. See? Wrong direction. Oh, hey! Brilliant. Wonderful. And then I just kind of wait here for them to come at me. I like Chimansue for spring rolls. I think they said they wanted the season to last about three months still. Three months from the start of a rough date. No, because they're not releasing 925 and the new season at the same time. It's happening separately. 925 will happen, and then a little while later, we'll get season four. It's not happening all at the same time. When I mean a little while later, I don't mean days. I'm talking weeks. All right, so Veil's Chest didn't give me anything. Lash Layer didn't give me anything. That's fine. I'm not pissed at all. Alright, you lot die. You lot die. Um, no new emotes. Maybe I've got them already. Yeah, it usually pops up saying you have unlocked all the blah blah blah. Um, I got a thing saying I've unlocked all the level 3 emotes. Oh, god damn. <laughs> I got a, a zone drop. And it's not the right one. Um, I know I've still got some level five ones left to get still, but I think I'm, I, I know I've got everything from level three and down. I've got all the level one, two and three ones. I might have one to go from level four, but I know I've definitely got some left from level five still to get. Um, unless the last one I got was the last one. Discord DM. Hey, brilliant Kaz. Thank you very much. I will do the thing after stream or possibly tomorrow. We'll see. Flame fire more gives me nothing. There you go. Should tell you either way, dupe. Do you have another notification on chat? Yeah. It should tell you, but if you're on mobile, then maybe it doesn't to try to preserve space or something. But I get the base down for you. You did amazing, Sheebs. You did such a fantastic job. It's a jar, I mean, green is problematic, I don't think quantities will be- Yeah, it's like, there'll, there'll be onion powder in there, but it'll be in such a low concentration that it should be fine. Maybe just, yeah, keep an eye on and, uh, and see how you go. I think, I think you're right, though. I think it'll be okay. Um, yay for gift sub for Oogle! Onion powder won't have the same effect on liver and kidneys in low doses, yeah. And tend not to next year, correct. Correct. More likely months, so also last few ingredients, so lower amount in them, yeah. Right, so it could be sooner than we think, I guess. Yeah, basically. I think there are some, the quality of life stuff they want to get out ASAP, but they also want to give us enough time for the season. Um, yeah. It'll be interesting, hey? We have like four months left in the season, more like max two months till 95. Yeah, I'm not too sure, but I'm, I, Jack's fairly trustworthy and usually doesn't make statements like that without, you know, at least some, some investigational work prior, so I'd, uh, I'd believe Jack, but when it all boils down to it, we don't really know, is, is essentially the, yeah. Ah, uh, so they're being distributed, maybe it's dodgy on mobile, we'll check PC. Yeah, there's that. Um, Ebon Rock, Flame Gore, hey! Oh, 
for God's sake, I got two zone drops on one tune and neither of them were what I needed. Uh. <laughs> oh, RNGs Jesus, have mercy. Ah, uh, must assume this is when I get spring rolls. I do sweet and sour. Ah, oh, dear. I said they were being distributed. Oh, well said, pal. And question, what's the breed? I was sitting when you mentioned it. Carol, goes off right in my ear. Oh, oh Rel. No. Oh, no. I have to keep spring rolls and sweet and sour. I go, yeah, it is good stuff. It is good stuff. Got my flavor tip. Well, that didn't work. It did not. At least the time for previous PTR cycles are at that stage. Anything less than three months of the season wouldn't be a standard season length. Yeah. Yeah. It's a 13 kilo, four month old. Kelpie other stuff mixed in. Hello, Yuri. Congratulations on last. I hope you're doing really well. <laughs> Third time's the charm. Yep, that's it. And now we wait. Alright, so what are you doing while well, I'm waiting for all of these bloody things to spawn? Are you having a time? Are you updating? Are you... what's going on? Error. No, I don't... no, remove from Chrome please and thank you. Did not consent to that. I need my phone for the next bit. <sighs> um, I'll be fine if it's got catalog in it. Good, Jared, not so much with the hospital. Oh no, Yori. Oh, I hope he's gonna be okay soon. Does something to his back? <laughs> oh Jesus. Um. Hey, Carsten. Want to run any changes? Like, we just fine. Reading Jurassic Park while we wait. Amazing. Wonderful. Let's see how they contend with the true lord of Black Rock Spire. What Burn. is? It's actually a new thing. Brilliant! Amazing! I swear I will turn in all these quests later. Um, I broke up quickly. Agreed. Working on waiting on my DB matches. You should see if any of my favorite authors are pre in their books. Up with stream readers. Brilliant. Amazing. Uh, two, four, three, eight Dermas left. Donate. Yes! He's getting all the things I am. Correct. Wanted a bit more people. Go, go, go. Indeed. Indubitably. That's a fun word. It really is, isn't it? Uh, okay. Where is the next warrior? There's the next warrior. Well, one more and then Zam. Yeah, look. <laughs> You're not wrong. I wonder if we could, oh, could we, could we do a sneaky? Zam's not here at the moment. We need to, we need to do a sneaky. We need to take it away. We need to like, yep. Hey, imagine. Welcome back. Settings. Access. What version do I have though? About. I have that. I have that. Okay. Login. Oh crap. What's my. <laughs> uh, uh, Alright. Load this one. That's right. <laughs> yes, way to go, Kaz, indeed. 
Yay, Embers officially broke. I guess I'll have to watch more Fear. Oh no, how horrendous. <laughs> Raven for the win, yes, absolutely. What a great team effort, yas. Amazing, that's so awesome. Look at you go. What a burden to bear. So I guess that, oh. Oh, actually maybe I signed in with Google. That would make sense. Uh, cool, so we've got everything set up. We're gonna go Blackwing Layer. We're gonna go ATT. Love those loading screens. Yas, so good. We'll update this, make sure the numbers are correct. Mixie is lit. What the hell am I missing from Oni? Oh wow, okay. I thought I'd cleared out Anixia on... Oh no. Okay. Most of my- most classes are 100% on Oni, simply because it's one boss and I have the mount, so... <laughs> and that took me long enough that I got most of the, uh, cause she's only got like that little loot table, right? Uh, cause there's only one boss. But, um, yeah, it seems as though Warrior is one of the ones I'm not 100% on. I don't know why I was a bit worried about the gold this week. Alas, the family has done it again! They have indeed! Sorry to be a bother, I feel like a lo I feel like long. Where did you get the drink powder you said you were drinking? I don't drink any powders. Um, so I have my bubble tea, which I mean, I guess the milky flavored ones are made up with flavored powders and there is also like powdered creamer for those. So if that's what you're talking about, then it's bubble tea club. Uh, and I've got an affiliate program for that. If you're talking about the stuff that I have in my water, that was tea press. That's a liquid. It's like a syrup. It's, it's like, um, it's like concentrated tea syrup. And I get that from Woolworths. Um, like the supermarket. Yeah. Classic Oni. There's a cat Oni too, isn't there? Same thing, I'm pretty sure. But there's classic Oni there. Uh, no Anixia in here. They might have, like, refresh stuff or something but I don't yeah not from that point not from that perspective um uh, doing gathering and transmogs as well all charming back did a lot of reps on exalted start working on them again amazing super awesome that will tea yep I'm watching as well make it much easier to manage love that Kaz <laughs> love it <laughs> water I hope you have a man. Oh, I could have sworn he's a paddle or well, thank you. Should I some? Yes, no, um, yeah, no, tea press is like, it comes in a jar and it's like a syrupy type stuff. Um, but yeah. Uh, hmm. That's okay. <laughs> as long as we got there, that's what matters, right? Uh, Nixia was in Wrath, not Kata. Ah. The refresh or something. Interesting. Okay. Um, Sweet and Garrison, remind me, do you have Wayfarer's bonfire toy from that login to Horde Garrison for two minutes? Uh, I do. I have that. Welcome on in, Count. Hope you're having a lovely day. Um... Yeah, it's usually, like, especially when streamers have got, um, like, activities planned for the day, it can cause issues and, and be just, like, most, most streamers I know will probably just be like, no thanks, I'm gonna stick to what I'm doing, I will do that later, thanks. Um, but I already have it, so there you go. Good morning, Dooley. Welcome on in, I hope you're having a fantastic day. Ah, uh, the radio anyway. Ah, I just got the Gorak Mount. Well done! Congratulations, Nick. Yay! Yep, 
Yay for mounts indeed. He's excited for Mount Farm Monday tomorrow. Many excites. I guess. Wow, dupe. I mean, like, tell us how you really feel. Still don't have an invincible. I, you will absolutely get it. You will absolutely get it. You just gotta stick with it. You'll get there. You will get there. In we go. Whoopsie. Pairing code. That's not what I wanted. Um. Oh, Bluetooth. No, I don't want Bluetooth. I want... Okay. 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 I'm so confused. <laughs> All right, place hand on orb. Um, there's always so much to do in this game. There is, but that's not a sad thing, Dooley. That's an awesome thing because it means I'm not dropping $80 on a new AAA game every two or three months. <laughs> I'm, I'm much happier with my monthly sub and not having to pay exorbitant amounts of money for new games. And there are so many different things to do in WoW that it almost feels like a whole bunch of games in one sometimes. If I get bored of transmog farming, I can go do some pet battling or some PvP or dungeons or raids or like, you know, there's just so much to do. It's awesome. I like it a lot. Of course, not everyone feels that way and that's totally okay. But it is quite useful, I feel. Uh, ordered new glasses and they arrived, but they don't sit on my face right. Something's off about them. They make my vision wonky. My future refund didn't, didn't have to return the glasses. That's cool. So are you gonna go and like get them refitted with new frames, uh, new lenses or something? Like, try my like invincible again now. I moved all my paladins to instance ready for some disappointment. Nah, you're gonna get there. It's gonna be great and awesome and fine. There's this thing, there's almost like a tradition here in the family where um, on Mount Farm Monday, I don't often get mounts. <laughs> I put in a lot of effort towards getting mounts, but I don't very often actually get new ones. Lately, it's been a little bit different. I've been getting a lot of new mounts lately, but you guys do always. Like every time, every Mount Farm Monday, there's always a couple of people who end up getting mounts. So it's like, you're stealing my luck. So what you need to do is do your runs on Mondays while watching stream, clearly. Clearly. 300 plus LK kills and nothing. Oh, soon count, soon. White Hawk showed the last stage. I'm walking. Nice, Majin. That's awesome. Well done. If you spent enough though, if they don't work, Shiva. What do they expect you to do with wonky glasses? Just spend them or something. It's enough for the fact I can keep the glasses. Worst case, I can use them as emergency glasses. They kind of made out the same using projections as we have. Surely, if they don't work as a prescription, they need to give you something that does. So we're meant to be supportive, not critical, of course. Could have gotten full store credit for them. Yeah, but I mean, if you've gotten one pair and they're completely wrong, do you really trust that the next pair is gonna... Uh... Yeah, tell them they're breaking Australian consumer law. Yup. I have a life, so do I, Dooley. So do I. <laughs> I have lives too, yeah. Doesn't matter, it's still awesome how much there is to collect. Decide again, so you know, universally, I mean, I didn't need new glasses. <laughs> be yes, please. Enough to make me be laugh, although I know it's about different things. One thing I get with ease was ashes on my first run! Oh my goodness, who? Well done! Well done. 
Oh my god, Vela's trousers is done. Holy cow. Okay, sure. The warrior is like pulling through. Warriors, plural. This is my second warrior out of four. I'm taking down, it's me get the fitted properly, then I feel so bad I already got my refund. No, why is that like, you got a 50% refund. You paid half price for them because they were dodgy. And now you spend that refund potentially getting them to actually become what you paid for. Like, that's, why would you feel bad about that? No, damn, like, no. Uh, no mount from Tanan, yay, Nick! I'm not having mount, much mount luck, yep. Yep, that's the way to do it. I think I'm too close to those barrels. Let's find out. Charge! Oh god damn it. <laughs> Complete wrong direction. This is what I mean. Like, come on. Ah crap. Hopefully that wasn't one of the charges. There we go. Nope! Not nah, too high. I hit the ledge at the top of the ceiling. There we go. Better. But now I'm nearly dead. Yeah, there's like a ledge at the top there that you can hit and fall down again. There we go. I got the Sabatons of Wrath! Amazing! Now I've just got the bow to go. Bow to go. Um... Look. I am bummed mostly because these new glasses were blue light blockers. I guess I could try to use my computer desk if I got to rest it. Yeah, but I mean, like, sacrifice it. So, okay, so the thing with blue light, right, is the your blue light blocker glasses are meant to mean that your eyes don't get as tired, right? Not as much eye strain. But if the prescription is wrong, whatever eye strain the blue light blocker prevents, you're going to generate through having the wrong fucking prescription. <laughs> like, that's completely counteractive <laughs> like that's not gonna no no oh dear oh my god another zone drop that's wrong <sighs> same pack same zone drop too golly gosh uh hello Aussie welcome back off to Stratholm enjoy No leg guards of the Fallen Crusader. Um, go switch and done. Any spicy different sorts of shows. Oh my god, so good. Brilliant! Amazing! So you're paying one and a half times to repair glasses you expected to work first time. Because they're just also picking Discord because they're really cute. You're right there. Have to be quick AF. Is Precious as Ribbon still in the game? I believe so. Uh, I've still got one on my main. Um, I know that it was it was always a rare drop though, so it might just take you a while to get it. Um, hello Ladybug, congratulations on being caught in the gift bomb! Hacker glasses. How does blue light blocker work if the boss drops blue circles on the ground? <laughs> I think you can still see the colour blue, but like, it blocks that kind of ambient blue light that comes from screens that is like that artificial light. Of, so I don't know, look. There, there is science behind it, but I don't know exactly how it works. Um, don't stand the fire. Yes, don't do that. Don't do that. How am I supposed to... Shit, there goes my phone. I got the zone drop! <laughs> I
clicked the loot box and I saw the purple line and I'm like, that's what that, yes! Yay. Oh, that's awesome. It's the worst part. It's the, the zone drops are the worst bits because at least you can go in and kill a boss repeatedly, but having to clear the whole damn instance over and over and over is just painfully bad. I'm so happy. All right, Ebon Rock and Flame Gore gave me nothing. If the fire is green slime, don't send the fire. Not science, pure witchcraft. Our raid does science a lot. It rarely works. <laughs> oh dear. All right. I know which is the harsh blue that's come from one of those phone screens. It's supposed to be very bad to stare at for a long time. Yay! Yeah, uh, look, I, I would, pr like, okay, if you can make blue light blocking contacts, sure, go for it. I just, glasses very, very rarely fit on my head. I've, I've thought about them before, but glasses very rarely actually fit my face. Um, so yeah, I would, I would go for contacts instead. Yay. Yay for Snazzy. Oh, they sell child glasses. It's not about the size of my head. It's the shape of the bridge of my nose and the shape of like where my ears meet my head. Um, yeah, it's a... Uh... Yeah, not about, not about size. About actual shape. Battle! Brilliant, I missed that somehow. Thank you. Did my 70 get for glasses recently? Oh, wonderful. You know, I do a stereo computer screens, I have glasses, not blue light, but I have to change my prescription maybe twice in 10 years. Yeah, but like, it's still gonna go, like, it's not so much now that you can feel it, that's the problem. If you have all of that cumulative eye strain over decades and decades and decades, by the time you get to your 60s, 70s, and 80s, that's when your prescription is going to be so much worse than it would have been if you were looking at just genetics alone. We, like, computers are new enough that we do not know the 50 year results of using them constantly. We just don't know, they're too new. We don't have that data. Uh, do you need to have that prescription though? Blue light blocking or not? Yes, correct. Antiochus. Uh, yeah, I'm sure that Desir is aware of that, Dooley, but he's more making the point around, like, the fact that eye strain, the whole reason that eye strain is bad is eventually it's going to affect your eyes, like, permanently. Obviously, the immediate effects are things like headaches and stuff like that, but over time it causes permanent eye damage. He he's aware. <laughs> uh, get my eyes checked. New glasses, new prescription every two years. Two years recommended. I'm scared of ruin my eyes even more if I stuck with the same prescription for years and years. Um, computer, my best friend, he cannot be bad at all, not possible. Uh, computers are tools, just like any other tool. They can be used for good or for evil. Uh, but because they're a new enough technology, we just, yeah, we don't have enough about it. We don't know enough about it, I don't think. Uh, got it. Okay, and then there we go. That's what I was looking for. Oh, for God's sake.
that one. God, that's my laptop's name. I need to fix that. What should we call the laptop, by the way? My desktop is Oracle. Um, and for those of you who are new here, or relatively new here, um, she's named for Barbara Gordon after the killing joke in the, the old 52. I know it's not the old 52, but before the new 52, um, Barbara Gordon had her back broken in the killing joke by the Joker, um, but she wanted to keep fighting crime. She couldn't be Batgirl anymore. And so she became Oracle and she essentially stayed in the bat cave with a supercomputer and fed info and data and maps and blueprints and all that kind of fun stuff into the bat helmet um, to help Batman do the things that he needed to do with higher tech support. Uh, so basically she a badass. Uh, doesn't matter if she can't walk. Doesn't matter if she's literally like unable to do, you know, disabled, right? Does not mean she is unable to fight crime. So yeah, she's awesome and I think that's amazing. And so that's what my PC is. She's, yeah, that's who she's named for, Oracle. Um, I don't think I'm gonna have as awesome a story for, for the laptop, but um, I need a name. I need a name for her. Um, um, I don't listen to them for sure. I'm sure I love my computer too. Blue light blocking glasses, is a fairly new thing. Oh yeah, yeah, like within the last decade, I think. Uh, computer cannot be bad is just vague enough that the answer can be yes, computer can and will be bad. Indeed. Oh, I wouldn't have met a bunch of lovely people here if I didn't have a computer. Me too. Me too. Um, as long as they don't harm a human or by inaction allow a human to come to harm. Oh, I mean... Computers absolutely allow us to come to harm regularly. Home network is called Skynet. Mine's Fianati HQ. Not even kidding. Uh, I was going to ask earlier for naming devices. I absolutely do. I absolutely do. Um, my, my iPhone is just like Fia's iPhone, which is, you know, boring as hell. But, um... Whatevs. Uh, but yes, currently it's like laptop string of letters and numbers and that's terrible. Um, I can't spell. There we go. Blackwing Lair. Let's go. <laughs> the day of happens in trouble. She was shot. Yes. I believe she was shot. Yeah. I always have this, this image in my head of him like like just like breaking her over, over his knee kind of thing but I know that that's not actually what happened um <laughs> but yes awesome alrighty here we go oh my gosh up to 80% holy cow <gasps> it's called the Milano amazing oracle yas um, they are by being however complacent as far as an object can be in these actions. Home network is called asshole. <laughs> Oracle was amazing till she got killed. Um, yeah, she's Bruce's lady in the chair. Assuming personally debating like Ned with Peter. Ned, call it Ned. Call it Ned. Phoenix, like Dark Phoenix. Sheeb's bought and sent me a little Dark Phoenix pop figure and I'm just like, Ah, oh, so beautiful. So beautiful. Um, all right, we're not going to take all the portally bullshit. I think we might actually just, do I have a, I don't. God damn it. I'm going to go get a Dalaran Hearthstone on this turn. <laughs> um, and, and then take the mana poof portal. Is that Asana? No, not Asana. Fucking Azuna. There we go. We are um, call it Abby after Abby Shudo. <laughs> uh, PC name Miss Peregrine. Oh, I don't forget that reference. I don't remember it. Is that supposed to have an E on the end? Chrome for peculiar children. Yeah, I don't think I've seen that. 
or read that. It's based on a novel. No. Nope. Um, also, Fear Phoenix. Yas. Valeria, Marvel is a killer to Oracle and Valeria Richards, who is said to have intelligence approaching her father, Reed Richards. Wasp is labeled a genius. Interesting. Look, um, I have a really close personal connection to the Batman comics, which is why, like, my PC for, like, literally, I think, maybe a decade or so has been, like, I mean, I've, I've rebuilt them along the way, but they've always been called Oracle for that long because of my close personal connection to, to Batman and that whole kind of thing. Um, so it's not so much just kind of finding a parallel in other media. There's a, it's it's a really deep personal connection um, for, for, again, personal reasons that I'm not really gonna get into here. Uh, but yeah, so that's, it kind of just sticking random things in there that sort of emulated a little bit isn't quite gonna hit the same. I mean, I didn't expect any of you to know that. Like there's, there's nothing, but yeah, that, um, doesn't quite hit the spot for me. Um, you see it's called Minced because it's built from the ground up. Ah! <laughs> That's hilarious, dupe. Well done. Hey, Mr. One, you're on the EU launch for- Wow, amazing! I didn't know I was on the EU one. I know I'm on the ANZ launcher fairly frequently, but that's really awesome to know I'm on EU today as well. Thank you for letting me know and welcome on in. Hoping you have a fantastic day. Uh, no, I've got to loop around to... Yep, yeah, here we go. Let me get... How are you? My Delaran Hearthstone that I definitely didn't earn, but I don't care. Um, this one is Alliance. Right. I fear he plans to bring doom it doesn't matter, because I'm going to talk to Man of Hoof. Where? God, I get so turned around when I'm on an Alliance tune. <laughs> like, so turned around. Um, stuff like to see where... Fear. 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 I'm gonna change that fucking sound command. Uh, ZG, Caden, Harmonic, congratulations to you all on your bonus shit. Well done. Alrighty. Where? Okay, Centurion's on cooldown. Oh my god, I've got two minutes on the rogue. Are you joking? How about the Necromancer? Nope, okay, cool. I'm just gonna place uh, whatever I'm trying to level. Brilliant. No, nope. how did that undo? There we go. Awesome. And onward. Um, is my Wi Fi. Brilliant. Whole blue light thing does have a foundation, but it's more to do with circadian rhythm near sleep cycles rather than ice rain. Ah, of course! Of course it does. That makes so much more sense. Thank you for correcting us, Jack. I appreciate it. Uh, if we like glasses, reduce ice strain. Your monitor is too bright for the surrounding room and or does not have the right color temperature. Or you're staring at it too much, he says to the group of gamers. Yep. Yep. Yes, definitely. Hello, Zalk. Welcome back. Is your name Ned Router named Nedwork? Oh, no. Oh no, I mean, do you think you were asking about yourself? Fantastic. I'm glad to hear you're doing well. So um, weekend. And called Steve, awesome. You're playing 8-bit WoW. Nope, that was Stream Raiders. Um, what about the Watchtower? Should we go kill so much fun? What about Bane? Well, no, because the laptop isn't going to be it. So the reason I've purchased a laptop is this is a very, I bought it yesterday. It arrived today. Uh, and the reason I picked it up is because I do my, like my day job, I'm an assistant account and I work from home is here. When I stream, it, it's here. When I do back end stream stuff, like, cause I consider it a business. So I run it like a business cause I'm, I want to be a full-time content creator. And the only way I'm going to do that is growth and to do growth, to get growth, you need to do work, et cetera, et cetera. So, um, I do that here. I spend like up to 16 hours most days sitting in this chair at this computer doing stuff. Um, it means that I am, nervous about taking trips anywhere because I can't 
like I can't I'll, I'll lose days of, of work um, and all that kind of thing. So the laptop means that I can go and sit on the couch and, and still be able to do work. It means that I can go to a cafe down the road and still get work done um, and get fresh air at the same time. My God. Uh, it means that I can go to Melbourne and visit my family and not feel like I'm or go to PAX for, you know, take two weeks and go down to PAX and not feel like I'm falling massively behind on everything I have to do. It's um, it's supposed to be an untethering of me from my desk. That's what it represents. It represents freedom, literally, for me. Um, so the first thing I think of when I say when I think bane is the bane of my existence, which it is directly the opposite. <laughs> so yeah, um, that's kind of that's why Fia has a laptop. Um, so to be able to do all that back end stuff that. I have to do, but not have to sit in the same one room forever and always. <laughs> um, and I'm just, oh, I'm probably gonna spend most of tomorrow setting it up. I mean, I'm, I'm, I've been doing a little bit of setup as I go, as you probably noticed, but um, yeah, it's, uh, I'm really looking forward to getting it to the point. And it's an Asus laptop and there's an app, there's literally a phone app, right, that, means that all the, the photos I take and all the videos I take and all that kind of stuff on my phone, I don't have to transfer it all to Google Drive and then transfer it to my PC or anything. I can, there's a program that links your devices together as long as like you've got that app, which is, so yeah, I didn't even notice, I didn't even realize that, that was a thing. So I'm very happy, very, very happy. Um, what about Bane? Or oh, Alfred. Hmm. This is empty. It is empty. I need to go fill it, and I said a little while ago that I would, but I didn't. Thank This is not empty. No, it's not. It's a bubble tea. Thank you for putting your shirt on. <laughs> you get me- well, you won't get me banned, but, you know, equality. We, we, we like equality here. It's been a bit warm here. We've been cooking all day, doing food prep and stuff. So <laughs> Um, PAX. I'm so excited for PAX Panda. Used to cosplay Bane and Two Face. Oh, amazing! <gasps> That's so cool. That would have been awesome. Ah, uh, by the way, obvious name for a Batman laptop. Bat top. <laughs> I mean, literally, right? Literally everything. All right. So I have remote access, so I can I can access my PC files on my phone now. So that's funky. How do I do? I'm my fucking God. I'm moving my mouse over there and I'm like, why, where is it going? Why isn't it? I'm an idiot. <laughs> oh. uh, people better see me somewhat nice weather. I got a clean car. I've forgotten a oh, wonderful one. Wonderful. I will get there indeed. Um, hadn't seen previous message, forgot the command, that's alright. I'm my favourite streamer going today, having luck with you today. I am, Enyo, and thank you so much for calling me your favourite streamer. Whether or not it's true, it makes my heart all happy, so thank you. <laughs> that's so kind of you. Did I, did I, no. Oh, God damn it. Ah, stop it. Ugh, is right. Oh my god, why do I not even have leap on my bars? Did I? No. What is what is hitting me that hard? Mark of detonation. <sighs> Jesus. Okay, so they actually do still do some decent damage. That's unusual. Um, my warrior just died in BWL. A what? classic raid killed a, fi a level fifty-two. From what? That's what I was trying to figure out. Um, Mark of Detonation and Flame Shock are actually doing like a lot of damage. Yeah, yeah. it is. It is really weird. That's Thank you so much for dragon, dinner. Right? Sorry. It's just from some random dragon, right? Yeah, like trash Drake. Not even a boss. <laughs> yeah, like that's what? <laughs> what? Well, it must be. It must be hard coded as percentage of health rather than number. Not hard coded. It must be coded as rather than hard coded as a number. Look, I know English. Shut up. Yes, I do. I'm gonna 
poke you. Um, last eye test suggests while well, blue blocking lenses can help, 2020 20 rule works better. What is that, Kel? I'm sure I probably should know what it is, but I don't. I think here is the right place. Perfect. Am I going to remember that? Absolutely not. Um, hello, Sass. A very productive ATT day. It has! I'm really happy with how productive it's been. Oh, you little bastards. Better. Yeah, curtains are rock solid, haven't you heard? Alright, nothing from Broodlord Lashlayer, who was the first boss who could have given me anything. Oh. As confined to one area, correct. Absolutely. Um, nah, there's there's a lot of with with my business getting to the point that it's getting to at the moment. I've been working my ass off for for quite a while, but over the last I'd say like two years, I've been working exceptionally hard, and it's it's paying off. I made partner nearly a year ago. Uh, and my social footprint has grown massively. Like my my social reach um, has grown in quite a big way. I've learned so much about social media and working with brands and all this kind of stuff. And and my viewer numbers have grown quite a lot too. Uh, so yeah, it's um it's been one hell of a journey, and I'm ready to take the next step. Um, but I need the financials to back the next step up essentially. Uh, I, one of my core needs, you know, if you've got like Maslow's hierarchy of needs and stuff like that, one of my core values, one of my like base needs is financial stability. Um, and there's, there's nothing like what I'm about to say, there's nothing wrong with this, but there are a lot of people out there who will take a risk. Like they'll quit their day job and go, yeah, if I still, if I can't make it big time with streaming in, in a year, then I'll just, I'll go back to work and it'll be fine. Or um, they'll uh, book a holiday and say, oh, yeah, no, I'll pay it off. It'll be fine. Or they'll rack up some credit card debt and be like, yeah, I'll, I'll, I just want this stuff now. I'll pay it back when I need. When I can, I can't do any of those things. I just, I physically cannot do it. I need to know that I am financially stable. I, like, I do not have any debt. I have zero debt. Um, except for my uh, hex debt, my uh, university degree, but I've not even paid any of that off because I haven't earned enough to do so. In Australia, you can get a, uh, a, a loan essentially from the government to pay for tertiary education, but they and they take the repayments for the loan out of your pay, like your your paycheck from a company prior to you receiving it so they have this this is how much you've earned they take out tax they take out hex and they give you what's left um and they don't take anything out until you reach a certain threshold and then they take a small a very small like a couple of percent i think it is percentage of your pay um to to start shipping away at that debt but i have never earned enough to cross that threshold so i've never paid any of that off so i don't consider that to be true debt either because when you you know, if, if you die and you've got credit card debt, they take it out of your estate or they go after your next of kin sometimes, depending on how predatory the company is. Uh, but hex debt, if I got hit by a bus tomorrow, that debt's just wiped clean. It just doesn't exist anymore. They can't get it from me, so they're not going to get it, so it's fine. Uh, so I don't consider that to be true debt, personally. Uh, some people do, and that's okay. Totally fine. But the way that I... Yep. Anyway, so financial stability is a really important one to me. Uh, so I can't bring myself to, like, drop the day job until I'm making enough from Twitch to reliably cover bills and things like that, which is a while away. Um, but I'm, I'm getting there, and I'm... Everything else is working really, really well, and I'm learning a lot, and I'm still learning. I have a social media expert, person-y professional, who has uh, 
has been going through all of my socials and doing me up a, like a growth plan, like a recommendations on what kind of like pillars of content and what works for me, what to avoid, all that kind of stuff. Um, and I'm going to have that by the, by the end of the month, she said, but it's flexible. Like it's, she's doing this as a, she's an ex-colleague, uh, lovely, amazing human, um, and has offered, uh, mates rates for, for helping me, uh, do some other bits and pieces, which is just mind blowingly cool. But yeah, I'm, I'm getting there. So this is, uh, the laptop is like a, a big financial step towards having that freedom, you know, being able to go down to a cafe and get myself a soy chai and, and sit there and do work like a, a regular human. We'll see. We'll see. Gotham, freedom to roam the city. Oh, I, that's that's kind of cool. Uh, sounds great for you as well. If you want to be able to organize healthy stuff, yas. Absolutely. What about Alfred? Usually has your back. That's when when Alfred was first suggested. I was kind of like, hmm. my chair has her back. Chair does have my back. Chair is a uh, most supportive member of the community. <laughs> Second Alfred, it's equality. It is equality. Maybe that would up the views for you. <laughs> Shirtless Jazz. Wait, where did that come from? Oh, it was Chromagus. It just bugged. Um, simply the Batmobile. <laughs> because it's mo Batmobile. Yep. Oh my goodness. What did you make for food prep? Oh my god, we made so much. Um, I did not get my helmet of wrath, but that's okay. Um, so, breakfast, we've got overnight oats. Um, I've got a bit of a small list. So, Jas doesn't have, like, snack breaks and stuff at work. He doesn't work a desk job where he can just pick up food. He has, like, breakfast and then a lunch break and then, yep. So, he doesn't really have snacks, whereas I do. I tend to graze and I'm a de I work a desk job, so I've got snacks. So... Overnight oats, Jas is a peanut butter flavored, mine is cinnamon, and mine is a smaller serving. Uh, and then I've got, um, uh, no, I'm halving first. I've got hard boiled eggs, I've got olives, and I've got, um, like ham slices that are little wrapped up in little curly things. Yep, for like snacky, grazy, you know, picket kind of things. Um, and then for lunch, I have pasta. Uh, I've got pasta with a derivative of my mother's spaghetti sauce. It's not at all anywhere close to the same, but it's a derivative because I'm trying to mix things up a little bit. Um, and it's made with kangaroo mints, which is the first time I've cooked with kangaroo mints. And it was really interesting, but uh, I think it worked well. I haven't tried it yet, so I'm really excited for tomorrow to see what it tastes like. Uh, I know what kangaroo tastes like. I'm, I'm fine with that. Otherwise, I wouldn't have bought it. But uh, I'm curious to see how the kangaroo mints goes in this recipe. Um, and that's that's what we prepped. We do dinners each night, like fresh, as we don't really meal prep dinner stuff. But yeah. Mm. Strawberry with coconut jelly. So tasty. Batarang, do not throw the laptop. <laughs> <laughs> Do not throw the laptop, it will not come back. Oh, I won't know how the viewers react to Topless Jazz to the just tried. That's clever, it is clever. Bat top, lap bat dealer's choice. Oh, he's an awesome friend. I need a Jazz. Jazz is freaking amazing. Bestest buds. Everyone needs a Jazz. Losing your cursor even though your monitors aren't connected. I lost my cursor behind the laptop screen. I'm just that good, see, yes, you are. That good. Emote only mode. You also took full damage. I did, but there wasn't much of it. In, there wasn't the full damage wasn't in the recap, which was really interesting. It was that it was actually I think it was a dot that I took damage from that killed me just as I hit the ground, rather than the full damage. Weird though, huh? Super weird. Um, twenty 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 rule is every twenty minutes look at something twenty feet away from twenty seconds. Ah, okay. How long is 20 feet? 20 feet in meters. Six meters. I have nothing six meters away from me. 
literally nothing is six meters away from me. The furthest away is maybe like four in that corner of the room. Bugger. <laughs> um, hello, Angus, doing well? How are you? This is the new minute accommodation, sucks. Oh, bugger. Go and chat and say hi soon. Indeed, I did! Oh my god, I'm so far behind. Free for all, yas. So, is your Twitch an ABN job? It is. Um, took me over 20 years to earn enough to pay off my student loan. I got rid of it about three years ago. Well done. Congratulations. Really just picked up you in finance. There's too many here in the I want it now camp causes so much pain. I work in finance. So do I. Um, I, I'm an assistant accountant at the moment, but I've worked for banks. I, I've done credit card sales. I've done, but honestly, I think a lot of my financial literacy comes from when I was a lot younger. Um, single mum. And she, good lord, so good at budgeting. We never knew where, like, what financial position we were in. We just didn't. Um, because of the way that she was able to protect us from that kind of stuff. But as I got older, I learned more and more about stuff um, at, at an, in an age-appropriate way. You know, she wasn't telling a seven-year-old fear that we were flat broke. Like, <laughs> but... Um, yeah, so I, I kind of, I learned. And yeah, I'm, I, I can't, if I don't have the money for it, then I don't get it. It's, it's that easy. If I can't afford to get something, tough, save up for it. Oh, 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 but I'll have the money in four weeks and I'll be able to pay it off. No, you'll have the money in four weeks and you'll be able to buy it. <laughs> I've never used Afterpay. I do not have any, not even, like, none of those things. I've never had any of those kind of accounts before. I have a singular credit card, and that is because I've never had any loans or credit cards or anything like that before. And if I ever want to be able to buy a house, chances are I'm probably going to need a credit rating. So I'm using my credit card to buy my groceries and paying it off via direct credit, like direct debit every month in full so that I can build a credit rating, so that I can get a fucking, so that I can get a house, a home loan when I'm ready for that, which I'm not because I don't have enough of a deposit yet. So yeah, no, it's, um... If I don't have it, if I don't have the money for it, I don't get the thing. If I want it bad enough, if I really, if I still want that thing super bad in four weeks, I'll have the money then. <laughs> That's the other thing. People go, oh my god, I want it right now. And they buy it. And then when they're paying it off eight weeks later on their afterpay, they don't even care about the item anymore because they bought it as a, a, off a whim. Not everyone, and there's nothing wrong with afterpay or anything like that. I just, like, I'm glad those services are available for those who want to take advantage of them. And I know that there are a lot of people in financial situations where they need to make use of things like payday loans and stuff like that, which sucks. Fucking capitalism strikes again, but for me personally, I I cannot. I I can't. I just can't. I can't bring myself to do it. It makes me physically ill. Um, yeah. Ah, so paying my ex off straight out of uni was finished about eight years. Well done, Meaty. Congratulations. Um, I think my hex is a little lower than you might expect for someone who did four years of study. Um, but it was because it was uh, STEM and it was during that period of time where um, science and medicine degrees were being, well, the, the undergrad versions of them anyway, were being kind of uh, discounted somewhat because they were trying to improve the number of people taking them. Um, so yeah, my, my classes weren't as, like individual classes weren't as expensive as they could have been or something like that. I, I don't remember the exact, I remember reading something about it at the time, but this was over a decade ago. So, <laughs> uh, uh, Blackwing Lair, here we go. This is my last warrior. I'm here my extra, you know, so now it's on. Um, Kangaroo is so good. Very lean. Yes, that's my dime. That's what I'm aiming for. Um, it turns out I have quite a bit of fat in my diet uh, that I didn't realize, and that's okay. But um, I'm I'm trying to see if I can make some adjustments and see what my health does. 
because uh, I'm not a very healthy person. So it's got nothing to do with weight or anything like that. It's it's very much a health thing that I'm trying to focus on. Um, and when I started logging my food just out of curiosity, I was like, oh, wow, I am having a lot of fat. Um, so, yes. Seeing if I can. And, fun fact, the kangaroo we bought was cheaper per kilo than the beef. That surprised me a lot. Like, a lot. I guess it's because people are still a little bit iffy and it kind of gives them an icky feeling about eating kangaroo, but like, I was like, uh huh, I'll save that dollar a kilo. Thank you very much. Although I think if you bought like the big 10, like the, the two kilo buckets of beef, like beef mints and stuff, I think it's about closer or, or maybe the beef's cheaper. But when you look at like the 500 gram thingies, no, it was definitely cheaper, which really entertained me. Maybe more than it should have. I was giving me a discussion the other day. Uh, yeah, well, no, it was when um, I was talking, when Krazzy was in here and we were talking about um, uh, nutrition and stuff. And he mentioned that I should try kangaroo. And I'm like, oh, but it's so expensive. I'm trying to be on a budget. It was like, actually, I think you might find it might be cheaper. And so I looked into it and he was right. At least in my local area, it was about a dollar a, a, dollar a kilo cheaper. Um, and so I'm like, I'll take it. A dollar, a dollar adds up. <laughs> It adds up. So, yeah. And I mean, hey, look, if I really don't like it, if I cannot handle the taste or whatever, or maybe the te the texture is a bit different. When we were cooking it, the texture was quite different to cook. Um, but if it tastes weird or if the texture's weird or whatever, then I'll just, I'll go back. But I'm going to definitely give it a try. Um, yo, Albion, hello. Curious how kangaroo actually tastes. It's not bad. It's, it's very lean, like incredibly lean. So it doesn't have that kind of juicy quality um a good place to start is kangaroo sausages uh, because there's often a bit of seasoning in there as well that you'll be more familiar with from like actual like from beef sausages um yeah kangaroo sausages were the first thing i had from kangaroo as well very rich yeah yeah Lovely meeting you. I meet you. Sun's football time. Enjoy the football. Lovely to meet you too, Julia. I hope we'll see you next time. Even though you're probably well and truly gone by now because I'm eight minutes behind chat. Let's just say I haven't actually done overnight. Oh, it's cute. Meaning to do it. Keep forgetting to actually do it. Definitely. Um, so equal portions rolled oats, not quick. Not quick oats because they turn into this sloppy mush. It's just, it's the texture's not right for me. I prefer to have the like the actual bits of oat. You can bite into it and you like, kind of feel it. Um, so they're either called steel cut oats or rolled oats, depending on where you live. Um, so equal portions, oats and milk, whatever type of milk you feel. Like, doesn't have to be dairy. Um, you can have, I do soy milk for mine. But you can also have almond oat milk if you want to, like, double down on the oaty goodness. Um, <laughs> all that kind of stuff. Um, I am on the roof. Good. Good lord. Um, so yeah, equal portions, oh, thank you, equal portions, uh, oats and milk, and then half that amount of yogurt, um, will get you a really creamy sort of texture. Um, so it can, again, any type of yogurt will do. Um, so, but if you've got half a cup of oats, half a cup of milk, quarter cup of yogurt for one, and then, yeah, and however many servings you want to do, like, you know, multiply it up or make them smaller or whatever you want to do, definitely. And the, oh my God, the flavors. You can do bloody whatever you want with them. It's so good. Oh, you gotta have the raid go. Yeah, raid went really well. I enjoyed myself. I forget how many bosses we killed. I'm sorry, I have a bad memory, but no, I, I truly enjoyed myself. Um, that's what's important, right? Get a mirror three meters away. <laughs> Is that like, does that, does that count? Uh, I mean, I adore moose meat, though. I mean, hey, maybe it's something similar. I don't think I've had moose meat before, but you can you can always give it a try. By definition, lots of things are six meters away from here. It's great like that. Ah, oh, dear. All right, so Broodlord didn't give me anything. That's okay. Um, well, what is moose meat like? The same way, money-wise, only debt I have is my apartment. Yeah, for me, like, buying a home and owing money on that, to me, that's meaningful debt. 
I know, I know I'm compartmentalizing and all that kind of stuff, but that's genuinely just how my brain works. For me, that's meaningful debt because it means instead of paying rent into somebody else's asset, I'm paying essentially rent into my own asset. Um, and it's same, like, if I don't pay the rent, I still get kicked out. It's the same fucking thing, except I'm lining my own pockets instead of somebody else's. So that to me, that's really meaningful debt. And the same thing would be true, I believe, of a car loan. As long as the loan is what the car is worth, uh, I'm paying off my own asset. I'm putting money into a savings account that is a physical thing that can be sold at a later time to recuperate some of that money at the very least. It's not a very good savings account, but it is something, you know what I mean? So that to me is a bit different, but debt on like, I, I don't know. I mean, I guess some people might feel the same way about buying an incredible pair of shoes. Like if that's where your value, if that's where your your values are, then buying a three thousand, four thousand, five thousand dollar pair of shoes and then paying it off, you may feel like that is paying into an asset. Um, but for me, shoes just wear. Like even even bloody good quality shoes, they do wear down. Like the soles wear down and all that kind of stuff. It just, I mean, I guess same could be said of a house and all that. But to me. Those are not where my values lie. Um, my values lie in having a roof over my head and having food to eat and, and having an ability to connect with people. Connection's a big one for me. So this, this here, goddamn important to me. Like, one of the most important things in my life is my stream. Not just because it's a business and because it's a source of income, but because of the connection I've made with so many people all around the world and it just... Whew, whew, okay, I'm gonna stop that line of thought before I get emotional. Um... <laughs> Yeah, so that's that's where I feel about that. Um, good mentality to have towards money teaches you its value. Oh, mal yeah, the, the value of money is something that was drilled into me from a very young age. Absolutely. Uh, good news is that once you build up some credit, you're encouraged to decrease your credit card usage to a minimum. Yeah, well, that's the thing. I don't, like, I use it for groceries. So every week I'm buying groceries on it. Occasionally, if Jas and I go out for a dinner somewhere or something like that, we'll put it on the credit card because it's a joint expense and all the groceries are also a 50-50 expense. Anything, so that way when my credit card bill comes in, I pay it and he gives me half because we know that he owes me exactly half of it. Um, so yeah, but once I, I don't know, like, actually people who know more about this shit than I do, I know that you like credit cards are a good way to build your credit rating, but how do you know when you've got enough? Like, is it, We were talking about credit cards. Um, sorry, I just, I got an email that I'm, we'll talk about that in a second. Um, <laughs> okay, um, so, credit cards, for those of you who are in the know, is it literally just once you're approved for a home loan, stop using the credit card? Or is it like, once you get, once you've checked this place and they've told you you're at an A, like, how, how does it, how does it work? I'm happy to get rid of the credit card if I no longer need it. Like, I don't, I don't need it. It's not something I'm relying on. I'm literally using it as a tool to help me get something I want later. Um, but yeah, I'm curious. Um, but welcome in, Dollar. I hope you're doing wonderfully well today. Uh, watching you from Sunny Omen. Oh, wow. Holy cow, welcome on in, Orion. Do you think money issues are worse now because of online shopping after pay payday loans, especially with younger people? I don't know. I don't have enough data to be able to tell you whether that's a thing or not. Uh, Kat, Kat and <laughs> Catalina, Catalyzed and Demon, congratulations to all of you on your bonus shit. Um, like, I know, I know, obviously I have very limited knowledge, but my, my parents, I know what their financial situations were like and what their debt to income ratio roughly was and all that kind of stuff. Um, so, like, mine is a hell of a lot better than theirs. 
So if you looked at my family, you'd say that it's getting better. Uh, but I, I genuinely don't know. There are a lot more opportunities out there for people. I, I see where you're going with it. Like I, there are a lot more opportunities out there for people to get money that they don't have real quick and use that to, to do whatever they want with. Um, so maybe that would make things worse. Um, but also maybe that's teaching people how to budget correctly. So they go, okay, I can get this right now if I cancel this thing for a month and use that money to pay off that loan and cancel this thing for a month or, or postpone that thing for a little while so I can... Ha Do you know what I mean? So it could be making that knowledge better because they're getting more flexible with their budgeting. Um, I, I genuinely don't know. I don't have nearly enough data to be able to give you a, a solid answer on that. I'm sorry. Um, but hopefully that sort of thought process answers it in a way i don't know maybe <laughs> possibly potentially i got a helm of wrath i got a helm of wrath i got a helm of what is that from that's a i know that's a reference to something and i don't know what <laughs> anyway back into about 10 plus years oh wow well, welcome back orion kangaroo is cheaper than beef Interesting. yeah kangaroo meat tastes good um I, it's been a while since I've had it, but yeah, it's it's not bad. Like it, it's not the head doesn't have some weird sour flavor or something like that. Yeah, um, it was delicious when cooked right. Really high in iron and protein. Yeah, and really low in fat. Like it's really lean. Um, hello, Finns. Welcome on in. I'm glad you think kangaroo is delicious. It's very rich. All considered with the yield from cow to kangaroo, it's very surprising. Kangaroo is delicious, but definitely needs some love. Very little fat, so can go dry easily. Yeah. Um, not to derail from kangaroo, what mog are you farming for? I was trying to up my percentage in Blackwing Lair, total. Not any particular item, just like get the dun- the dungeon, the raid done. Um, and I didn't- look, it's not done, but I'm bloody close. That's all I've got left for Warrior. Those- those four pieces. The Elementi Minga is a crafting reagent, so it's just four base, pieces. That's pretty bloody good. Um, so I'm gonna update my spreadsheet. And see what class is next lowest on the list. Um, store board is a lot less gamey than hunted or farm to table processed. Yes. Skippy bolognese is amazing. That's roughly what I made, but it turned out to be more like a stew because of how many vegetables I put in it. Uh, mirror things legit is how they do some eye tests now. Huh. Be a long stew, I imagine. No, the, the mints cooked up really quickly, like real quick. Um, hello, Sean. Because it comes in like a Ziploc bag of a kilogram of mints. It's weird, but it was cool. Um, happy time zone, everyone. Indeed, you too, Sync. Three to four credit agencies cover most of the world. They share data. Rule of thumb is to keep your credit card usage below 20% of your maximum available credit limit. Ah, oh, what if you max it out but pay it off entirely every month? I don't know what my credit limit is. I think it's the minimum I could get. I don't think I'm spending anywhere close to it. Um, but... Like, what if you spent, what if you had a five grand limit and you spent five grand and then literally paid it off in full every month? Um, thank God, I can talk about it for the email. Yeah. <laughs> Do you know that building credit through credit card or how that ever that works? Use debit card most of the time. Visa only for buying stuff online, plus cards, so it works like debit. Gotta have money on it. Oh yeah, I do that as well. But the credit card was specifically because I want to buy a home one day. I want to get a home loan. And if somebody, like if a, if a bank pr person looks at my financial history, it's like, you have no history of ever paying off a loan. How do I know that you're going to be capable of doing, do you know what I mean? Having that credit rating to show that I'm paying things off is um, apparently a good thing to build your credit score. Uh, but yeah, I mean, it doesn't make any difference to me anyway. I'm paying it off in full every month. It's no big deal, but yeah. Uh, credit checks are static, not real time. If you get approved for a home loan, it's all good until you have to reapply for another mortgage. Why am I going through this right now? Ah, well, fingers crossed for you. Best of luck, Orion. Once you reach the average credit score, you can stop using the credit card. Does it not drop over time or anything? In NL, credit is frowned upon. Even buying a phone with monthly installments will get you negative rating and that will hurt you in getting a loan mortgage. Oh, that's weird. But don't they want proof that you, you're able to budget to pay something off every month? That's so strange. That's jar of dirt. Perfect. Thank you. That's exactly what... Yes. Thank you, Peng. Welcome on in. And thank you, Kel. If you want to build the score even more, you'll only be able to do it by getting a proper loan by a car or a property. Yeah, I can't. I don't have enough money to buy a property at the moment. Uh, and I don't have a driver's license. So I And I don't have anywhere to put a random car. So, so um, that's not going to help me, unfortunately. Uh, trouble these days is things like Afterpay as well, feeding a lot of younger people, others by all rights, bad habits. Uh, look, temp like, like I said, it could be a bad habit in that they're spending money they don't have, but it could also be a, I can have this right now 
if I like budget out this way, like it could actually make them better at budgeting conceptually. Uh, Pirates of Caribbean, go to Jar of Dirt. Pirates, thank you. This is how it is in the UK. Credit score is such a fickle thing. Every check counts against it. Go to Jar of Dirt. Go to Jar of Dirt. And guess what's inside of you? <laughs> My mistake then. I'm not sure I've seen kangaroo mint specifically in stores. We have ignored it for the steaks in the past. Yeah, it had kind of like steaks and then burgers and then like mints, but there were like it, there weren't there wasn't much of it there. Uh, and like two bags or something. Uh, definitely, no, no, if you get close to the limit, consider you're dependent on it. Doesn't look good to a lender. Ah, even if you pay in full every month. Interesting, interesting. Um, it can also go the opposite way. You don't necessarily want people who pay it off every month. They want someone who keeps paying, keeps spending, because they make more interest out of you. Yeah, but I'm not talking about how the credit company likes me. I'm talking about how the bank likes me to give me half a million bucks for a home. Like, like I don't give a shit what the credit card company thinks of me, because they're not going to do me a home loan. I want, I want the home loan company to like me. And paying it off every month is, yep. Um, uh, how do I know you're able to pay your bills when there's no debt shown of you paying your bills? Exactly, exactly. Uh, not true in all cases. Credit score goes up when you don't default on loans, don't miss payments, don't have multiple rejections on getting credit. Interesting, okay, crazy idea is just paying off his car? Of course. Can it be put in your name? No, absolutely not. I will not take on a friend's debt. That's just stupid. Sorry, but no, absolutely not. Abs that's just such a bad idea. Such bad advice. Like from a financial, it could also be considered fraud in the right circumstances. Anybody reading that, please do not, like good as a discussion point, terrible as an actual suggestion, please don't do that. Never, ever, ever do that. Um, <laughs> never do that, ever. Um, uh, the fact that you can pay for things without installments or loans is seen as that you can budget. Fair enough. Interesting. That's other implications. Insurance, no license. Yeah, bad idea. Talking about the mortgage provider, they don't want you to ever pay it off. Interesting. Interesting. They also don't want you to default on it, though, because then if they have to take it off you and sell it, they're probably not going to get the total value of the home loan. They'll get more out of you if you keep paying, including the interest, than they will if they have to take it off you and sell it. Like, that's how they get more money. Selling it gets them less money over time. I mean, less money in total, rather, sorry. Um, phones on payment plans that have never had a missed payment is good for credit score. Yeah, I can disclaim I'm not well informed about this. Yeah, no, I, advice to Sia, don't do that. <laughs> don't do that. Plus, I'm sure that Jas also wants his own credit rating. Like, mm, mm. Defaults take years to resolve. I wonder how much my credit limit is actually. Now that I think about that. Um, you just stick in the middle of someone who doesn't pay it all off but also doesn't default. Mm, that's so messy. Um, I never had a loan before either. Saved and bought my car. Fair, fair. I just got back. Kid has gastro. Oh, Sika, I'm so sorry to hear that. That blows in multiple ways. Anyway, <clears throat> that was fine. Um, where the fuck is my app? Hello? Oh, there you are. I keep thinking it's a dark colored app. No, it's a white lock. Like, <laughs> log me in, please. Oh, why do you need that? Do I have that? Yes. <laughs> it's like, it's like, log in, touch ID to log in. We're going to need your password for security reasons. Touch ID to unlock your password. Save passwords. Like, <laughs> anyway. Um... What is my, what? Is that really my, holy shit. <laughs> my credit limit is up. <clears throat> That's a number. Um. <clears throat> That's a lot of money. A sick burn fear. I tried, I didn't mean to. I said it and then just kind of went, ah. Most banks like users who also don't pay their loans, personal mortgage too fast because interest over time is their primary revenue in a stream in retail banking. Yeah, exactly. Who pays the, instead of paying it off, like paying extra than is needed, like putting extra money into the loan, they prefer someone who pays their monthly installment and that's it sort of thing. Pays it on time, but doesn't pay more. Yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> and they, a lot of them discourage you from doing that these days anyway. Like, if you pay it out early, you got to pay an extra fucking thousand dollars or something stupid. 
ah, it doesn't make stupid dopey kept looking for someone who wasn't where they needed to be. It was because I'm in the wrong time. <laughs> Out of context sentences are what? <laughs> How's the laptop playing going? Ah, uh, yeah, it's good. It's sleeping at the moment. Um, but that's because I haven't really touched it much, but that's okay. Through income into a bank loan calculator, they'll tell you how much you can loan once it fill out all your expenses are best. Um, so I learned fairly recently um, that there are a lot of banks in Australia that will not count foreign income. Guess what Twitch is? Twitch is a large chunk of my income. I work, my day job is part time. So I spoke to my accountant who did some research and stuff for me. I've had an ABN for years, but um, they're gonna start filing. Instead of filing it as foreign income for my tax return, By the they're gonna start filing it against my ABN. Um, Orion! Oh my gosh, thank you so much for the Prime sub. Much appreciated. If you look at just my, my, my part-time income, I don't qualify for anything. Nothing, zero, nothing. Even with the quite decent chunk of savings that I'm putting together, nothing. Um, but yeah, so that's fun. Uh, <laughs> I think I had a poo when I farted. Oh, Seeker. <laughs> I was doing well in credit rating. No, I wasn't looking at my credit rating. I was looking at my maximum on my, my, my credit limit on my credit card. <laughs> uh, yeah, kiddo. Uh, you can drop it if you want. Yeah, I wonder what the minimum is on that. Uh, although, but I'm not spending it though. That's the thing. Like, it doesn't matter. I'm not, it could be, it could be like a $50,000 limit and I'm not going to bloody touch it. I'm still going to just use it for groceries. <laughs> like, I'm not an idiot. Anyway. Uh, so yes, it does indeed blow. I'm so sorry, Seiko. I'm so sorry. I was applying for mortgage advice to get a credit card, put some spending on it every month and pay it off. They're all looking for regular payment ability. That's exactly the advice I was given. And so that's what I'm doing. Every single week, groceries. Every so often, if we get takeout or something, um, and we're going to split it 50-50 between Jas and I, because groceries, we split 50-50. So any groceries, anything that goes on there is split half and half. I pay it and he gives me half. Um, so if we're going out for food or something like that and we just split it, then I'll put it on the credit card because, hey, it's more spending and I know we're going to split it anyway. Um, but yeah, we don't, I don't buy shit I can't afford. Like I'm not, yeah, anyway. Um, having a little nap. Indeed. Remember there's laws against them charging you fees for paying out normal variable loans. Um, yeah, keyword there is variable. Um, believe that this is, uh, there, there are like fixed rate loans and stuff out there as well. Not all loans are, are normal, unfortunately. Uh, reminds me of the first time I got salary sacrifice. Um, default credit was something stupid like 50k. Uh, sorry, Silithus. The thing to remember is you can't really use the all banks line because like all businesses, different banks target different types of customers. Some make money on mortgage products, some other, excuse me, some on other investing products. Yeah. I mean, they're all different revenue streams and they're going to try to maximize those revenue streams as much as they can. That's their job. But yeah. Pay more just fortnightly instead of monthly. They've tried several times to switch us back to monthly. Yeah. If I had the ability, I'd pay it weekly because that's how often I get paid. If I quit my job and was getting paid only from Twitch, then that's a monthly payment. I get monthly payment from Twitch, so it would make sense to switch some, th some things to monthly, maybe. But I'm bloody good at budgeting anyway, so even if it's fortnightly, I don't care. <laughs> um, uh, filing against ABN as a product. No. Filing against an ABN as a sole trader who provides a service. Just because I'm not selling an item doesn't mean I'm not selling something. I mean, massage therapists, for example, they don't, you don't walk out with anything in your hands, but you still pay them because they provided you a service. My service is entertainment. It's cool, huh? Even though that was a thing we've always done fortnightly. Twitch should be classed as a hobby kind of as long as it's under 18k. No, wrong. Um, the, the, the hobby thing is not a set number. You have to get an individual assessment and they look at how much you've spent on it versus how much you've earned on it. And once that passes a certain ratio, it becomes a business rather than a hobby. Um, some people absolutely, um, can, can, can definitely claim it as a hobby and therefore not pay tax on it. Uh, but each individual person who is earning money from Twitch needs to get that individually assessed by the ATO. That's really easy to do. Um, I just gave him a call. I mean, I, I used the chat thing. 
Um, the chat thing, if you're if you're a hobbyist, like if it's if it's a hobby, the chat will just be able to tell you, yep, it's a hobby. But if then if it might not be a hobby, if you might actually be in the ratio where it's now a business, they'll tell you to call. But I was not on hold for long at all. It was it was very very brief. Um, and I got through and they're like, yep, you need to start claiming, you need to start reporting your income now. Um, and once you have started, you don't ever stop. No matter how much your income drops, you must continue to report it. Um, but of course I'm not an accountant. I'm an assistant accountant. I'm not a certified practicing accountant. Even if I was, I'm not your accountant. Every person who is having these kind of questions should seek professional advice. Do not get your information from the fucking internet. Thank you. Uh, I prefer monthly since it pays off slower. They do it deliberately on the hopes you splurge. Minimum is usually at 1.5. That's mine at least. I think I was 1K when I first got one. It depends on the company. Um, yeah, quite a few as low as $500. There absolutely are, but depending on the company, some places, like if you get a, a platinum credit card, the minimum might be 10K. 10K. Like it, it depends on the individual product and the banks oh, themselves set that. Well. The bank set that. Nab with the resub, 30 months. Holy cow. My God, thank you so much for the resub. I hope you're doing really, really, really well. Ah, uh, if you see you're close to it, they'll offer to up it. Oh yeah, pro tip indeed. Don't spend money on shit I don't need. You have a credit limit of approximately 50K. You should not spend more than 10K, 20%. And then make sure you pay it off at the end of the month. Please, like, oh my God, if you have that much disposable income, Oh, <laughs> it's fine. Everything's fine. Uh, more or less that simple. Oh, this is interesting. Isn't it just? Isn't it just? Ah, uh, banks realize they need the products for every income bracket that won't get them sued post-banking royal commission. A credit card these days, just don't expect to sell excess private health if we go to hospital. Indeed. Indeed. Ah, uh, so I had a massage worked out with my knees and my hands because they had me too great. <laughs> Oh dear, what's for dinner? Steak. Steak and greens, it's delicious. You know, those of us who use credit cards to earn points that redeem for goods and services. A good or service is what I meant by product. Oh, okay, well yeah, so it's defined differently here. So you have a product, which is a physical item, and then you have a service. So that's that's your goods, and then your services. So it's actually a separate definition, which is why I made the clarification. Um, yeah. Uh, hello, Daz. This disclaimer ever. Yeah, I do that pretty often because, I mean, we talk a lot about this stuff and it's all things that I've learned throughout my dealings with everything. 47. And I want to be able to help people and I feel like my experiences might help people kind of understand, you know, it might help their own personal situation or it might give them an idea of what questions to ask of their finance professional, for example. Uh, but yeah, no, absolutely do not take, like, I am, I am not qualified in any way shape or form you absolutely need to get personalized advice this is just my experience with stuff and experiences may differ significantly uh, american stress is a good example of stuff like that to the best of my knowledge at least Project number two don't not get your information from <laughs> don't get your information from it look it's there are, there are definitely some good things you can get from the internet, like, you know, recipes for food and like how to fix OBS occasionally, stuff like that. When it comes to like your individual like taxes or financial health or medical stuff or that kind of thing, no. You can get ideas of what questions to ask from the internet, but don't take advice unless it's like an internet chat from your specific bank who has access to your details and information do you know what i mean like it's just it's not worth it the amount of stuff that can go wrong if you take action based on the wrong kind of it's just horrendous it's so bad so so bad um don't get your information from a world of warcraft game unless it's about world of warcraft in which case you're golden <laughs> mm. My final five levels before 50 in stream. Oh, fantastic. No, would you be really like you? Aw, thank you, Nab. That's okay. There's always the VODs. Hey, I know they're not the same. I know they're not the same, but that's all right. Ah, uh, wow, subscription, business cost, PC, business cost, internet, uh, electricity. Um, I can't claim rent, unfortunately, or like part of rent. I, I do claim part of my internet bill, my, my electricity bill. Um, but yeah, literally anything I buy. Um, 
uh, when I purchased my bean boozled jelly beans, I claimed them on tax because they were eaten, like, and I, I continue to eat them during charity streams as like an incentive to, to chip in and stuff. It's, yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. What am I doing? Blackwing Lair. Good. Uh, next emote, fear disclaimer. <laughs> fear holding up and I, and yeah, I am not a financial advisor. Mm. All my life decisions were made by Google searches. I presume fear pays for her sub with tokens. Nope. How much gold she's paying through garrisons? I have never purchased a token from either side. I've never bought one for money. I've never bought one for gold. Not once. I pay for my sub with my bank account. Uh, every dollar in your pocket, not the tax man's, is a win, IMO. Yeah. I mean, I do, obviously, I pay tax on my Twitch stuff. Uh, of course. Like, of course I do. Um, in fact, last year when I put in my tax, I had to pay over a grand <laughs> because, um, because I was successful, you know, I, I had some success and so I had to pay because it wasn't, yeah. Uh, and my day job is really bloody good at calculating exactly how much should be. So I like, yeah, so it's a thing. I had to pay over a grand and then, then I got a letter from the ATO. I got a letter from the ATO that said that I am earning enough that I qualify to pay tax quarterly on my business income. So now, every three months, I get a bill from the ATO. <laughs> but that might actually mean that this year will be the first year in like four years that I actually get a tax return. Uh, no, three, three years. Um, there was one year where I got like 20 bucks back and then there was one year where I had to pay like 50 bucks or something. And then last year I had to pay over a grand. <laughs> yep. <clears throat> but now I'm paying quarterly and the way that they calculated how much I needed to pay quarterly was they looked at last year, how much I paid, and then they looked at the year before, how much I paid, and then they extrapolated to where they think I'll be this year, and I'm not anywhere close to that. So I think I'm actually gonna get a good chunk of that money back, which will be, oh, so lovely. I chuck that all straight into the dental fund. Hmm. Yeah, it's really interesting. <clears throat> um, and for clarification, things I've said were my experiences, the information I was provided by my financial advisor because I'm older AF these days. Of course, Media, of course. Thank you for the disclaimer. I appreciate it. Yeah, see, my, my first instinct, like when people say, oh, yeah, I, I did this with this stuff and I did that with that stuff, I kind of go, oh, and I email my accountant and I say, hey, I've heard about this thing. Is that something that applies to me? And then they come back and tell me about it. So like, I I always use it as inspiration for something to ask, I, but some people don't. Some people don't. And that's when it starts getting sticky. Um, that's so clear. <laughs> Could you write off the WoW subscription as business expense? I claim it on tax, yes. Um, but tax doesn't work how people seem to think it works sometimes. I know that a lot of people do, but a lot of people don't. So when you, I, I pay six monthly for WoW. So it's somewhere around the 80 Australian dollar mark. That doesn't mean that I get 80 bucks back. It, you don't get a refund for everything you claim. That's, that's not how it works. So what it means is if I earn $10,000, but I spend five hundred dollars, six hundred. I spent six hundred on this laptop. So if I earn ten thousand dollars, and I spend six hundred dollars on this laptop, instead of getting six hundred bucks back, because that would be stupid and ridiculous, I get taxed as though I had made nine thousand four hundred dollars. 
that's that's how tax works in Australia. That's how claiming things on tax works. You get taxed as though you never earned that money because you needed to spend that money in order to make the rest of the money. Does that make sense? Yeah, so claim everything you can on tax, like anything and everything that is associated with running your business and you are allowed to claim because there are some things you can't claim, but that's fine. Claim everything that you possibly can, but that's not going to mean you get several thousand dollars back. That's just not how that works. But it does, it still might knock you down a tax bracket, which is why a lot of people tend to make really big purchases in June because they go to their accountants and their accountants say, hey, you are just over into the next tax bracket by two grand. And so they go and find something that's three grand to cover that month's, expense, that month's earnings as well. They go find something that's three grand that they buy so that it knocks them down a tax bracket so that they pay less tax. Like it's, yeah, that's, yeah. Fun facts with fear. Uh, reminds me, you should buy my new keyboard and mouse in time to claim. Hopefully sales bonus comes in time to consider the standing desk. Yes. Hello, Majesty. Ouch. Ooh. Through streaming, who earns money through playing games. Advice I've received previously is that anything you use in the process of making the product or delivering the service can be counted as a business cost. Correct. Um, so I, uh, I claim my WoW sub. I claim, I'm going to claim the laptop. Um, I claim I have, uh, I actually claim my bubble tea purchases. I claim it because I'm a Bubble Tea Club affiliate and I make money from the Bubble Tea Club when you guys buy stuff and use my discount code. Therefore, I am purchasing products from them so that I can demonstrate them and demonstrate the usage and all that kind of stuff, which is something I need to do in order to make money from them. Anything I purchase from companies that I'm affiliated with, I claim on tax. And I've been told I can do that by my personal person. <laughs> um, yeah, so, and then obviously you've got things like electricity. Um, if I purchase a game specifically for streaming, um, like we're playing TikTok, A Tale for Two on Friday, uh, and I bought myself a copy and I also bought Jas a copy because it's a two player game and you need two people to play it. And so I will be claiming both of those purchases on tax. They both came out of my bank account. He didn't buy it. I bought it to give to him because it is necessary for him to play with me. Therefore, it is a business expense. Um, yeah, there's, um, I also let my, I haven't, got, so I've been gifted a lot of things this, like the past couple of years, which is freaking, or like headset, headset number two, mouse, keyboard, microphone. Um, I've been gifted a lot of stuff from companies in order to promote them. So it's, it, you know, I'm in a Logitech affiliate. Um, and I haven't had to disclose any of that yet because it hasn't reached a certain value point. But if one year I got enough of those type of things from one company, I think, um, I would have to disclose. Like if you got a car, for example, if Toyota reached out to me and gave me a car to talk about on stream, um, then I would need to disclose that and, and that's claimed as income. But because the, the bits and pieces that I've been gifted haven't added up to much yet, or they have, like, they're worth a crap load and I'm just so immeasurably grateful. Uh, but because I haven't, because cumulatively it hasn't been enough to be considered as income yet, um, I haven't had to claim that, but I've still absolutely itemized and costed out every single gift I have received to my accountant so that they can make that determination because I don't know. I don't have the qualification to determine whether or not, again, that same thing from this same pack, my Lord, um, I don't have the knowledge to make that determination. They do. So if I give them everything and they don't declare it and the ATO comes for me, I can point at them. It's, it's as simple as that. It, it's, it's all butt covering. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, there's, there is a lot of stuff that you can claim. Um, the best bet is to get yourself an accountant and tell them everything and let them make the decision on what you can and can't claim. Um, that way you don't get um, audited, I think is the word. Investigated, or I think it is audited. I think that's the word. Um, love leisure lock, also care of COVID in AU, we're working from home regions, get taxes in the home office. Yes, 
yeah, I um, I had that claim as well. Um, I'm not sure if it's still claimable in Australia. Like for this year, I'm not sure if they're going to let us do that. But because um, a lot of places have moved back to offices and things like that. But um, yeah, I, I absolutely claim that. I let them know exactly how much I pay for electricity and, and all that every month, each month. And then they make the determination of what percentage can be claimed. They also know that I work from home for my day job as well. Um, yeah, I, I give too much information to my accountant so that hopefully they have everything they need. And if they have more questions, they can always ask as well. So I add, oh no. Um, hello Typhus. Hey there, what add-on are you using to guide you out of the instance? That Zygor, um, the reason I use, like I know where the raids are, but Zygor is one of those clever things that can figure out, that looks at all of my different teleportations and spells and portals and da da da, -da excuse me, and figures out the fastest combination to get me there. So yeah, that's what I use it for. I, I know my way around the instance enough that I don't need it for inside the instance, but it does that too. It's very handy. Very handy. I've been using it for over a decade now, but welcome on in, Typhus. I hope you're having a fantastic day. Um, and there's something so nice about getting your own money back. Tastes so good. Is it's like, I earned you six months ago. <laughs> Congratulations, Absolute, Miko, Draz, Tan, Meaty, Raven, Zelk, Cat, and V on all of your bonus shits. Um, you read it off. Who does? I don't know. The write off people. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. There's. Blah, blah, blah. I just tell them things and they give me money or ask me for more occasionally. <laughs> I really, really hope I actually get something back this year. It would just. <sighs> I mean, I'm not expecting to. That's the thing. If I don't have money in my account, I'm not expecting it to magically be there later. That's that's one of the big key things about like, you know, obviously my, my weekly income from from my job. That's a different thing. I know exactly how much I earn, and so I budget to that. Uh, but um, in terms of like a tax refund, if I actually get one, I'm assuming I have to pay it. I have money every time I get paid by Twitch. I set some money aside for superannuation, and I set some money aside for tax. And I have an algorithm that calculates how much to do for each. Well, it's not really an algorithm. It's a really, it's basically, it's a simple equation, honestly. I don't know why I said algorithm. I'm trying to sound fancy or something. I don't know. But um, so I set money aside for super and for tax. And so I have a big chunk of money there. It's not that big, <laughs> but it's a chunk. And it's set, it's specifically flagged for tax. So when I get my tax return or when I get my tax information statement, I don't even know what I get. All right. I can't get anything from the final two bosses. So I'm going to leave. Um, when I get that and it says you need to pay X, I will pay X and the rest of that will go into my savings account. If they say here have X back, I will squeal and put all of it into my savings account and be very, very happy about it. But I, I'm not, I am expecting for them to ask for everything in my tax, in my tax bucket. If they don't, it's a bonus. Uh, basic income tax lessons. Hello, Gia NG. I'm glad that you enjoy it. GN, GNGR, wow. Jin, hmm. How do you go about pronouncing your name? I'm assuming it's an abbreviation of some kind, but I'm curious how you would pronounce it. Uh, but GN, welcome on in, and thank you for appreciating my fear talk. Um, some people don't appreciate the fact that I talk too much, not about the game, but that's fine. They can go watch somebody else. <laughs> anyway. Yeah, no, look, I, this, like, I wanna help people. And if talking about this kind of stuff, helps people in some way I'm winning like mm. <clears throat> so far so good Dr. Strange later oh I hope you enjoy it I haven't seen it but I hope you really enjoy it um so I was done for asking you to fly to Blackwing later and just get a free teleport from Matterproof yeah that's what I've been doing on on Alliance side um sorry on Horde side the flight from Stormwind is really really short like really short. It's about the same amount of time that you'd spend running manually through the underground. Uh, but I am curious as to why it gets me to fly from Gromgol on Horde side. I have a feeling that the, the, the Blackrock teleport particularly isn't programmed into Zygor or something. 
it's it's missing, but that's all right. I can jump on their forums later and ask the question. And um, we'll see how we go from there. Because, uh, I mean, look, as, as with anything, it's programmed by humans, and humans are not infallible. Sometimes we miss stuff, and sometimes things don't get implemented properly. All it takes is a single typo, and the whole thing can go to hell. So uh, I'm not going to get upset or angry with that. I'm, I'm just going to go and ask a question and see what gets said. Um, um, bubble tea, claim bubble tea because you're sponsored. Not sponsored. Um, big difference between, sp oh, okay. So I'm, mostly it's an affiliate program. So I only get paid if I make sales. There is no flat fee that they pay me every month regardless or anything. It's not a sponsorship. It is an affiliate program. However, they do occasionally send me completely free product. Like if they have a new flavor that's launched or something like that, then they might send me that. And that is considered a kind of sponsorship. That's a product sponsorship rather than a paid sponsorship. Um, it's it's like with um, with Logitech. It's they, they call it their affiliate program, but if we're speaking like technicalities, it is a product sponsorship. They send me a free product to advertise it. Um, yeah. But yeah, Bubble Tea Club is very much an affiliate thing. Um, if if you guys place orders and you use my code, I get paid. If you don't, I don't. And if you don't, it's probably because I did a bad job. Or, you know, different individual circumstances and stuff like that. But the base idea is the more effort I put in, the more money I get out. Because the more people, like, the more effort I put in, the wider reach, know about my code and use it, and etc. Et yeah, but anyway, it's, uh, fun times. <laughs> I mean, Bubble Tea, the dream is real. I've been claiming it for a couple of years now. I'm on the husband's wife's salary package, both cars, check is pre-tax. My tax will come down to break it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, speaking to financial advisors, especially when you're in like dual income households and stuff like that, is a fantastic idea. They find all these little funky ways for you to get a little extra money out of your paycheck, and it's amazing. It's so cool. Oh, some things are percentages against what you can claim. Work really changes with 40%. Home power. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Et cetera, et cetera. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And but your your financial person will know that. Like that's that's their job. And if they don't know it off the top of their head, their job is to find out and claim it correctly. That's yeah, 100 which is why it's such a like it's really a good idea to have. If you're if you don't do any training for your workplace that you have to pay for, if you don't have to go and purchase work gear and, and all that kind of stuff, if you've got like a, a a basic bitch job when it comes to like financial stuff, if your job provides everything you need and they just pay you then you can probably do stuff like e-tax or your simple tax or, or whatever, you know, all those kind of online do wackies and stuff. Totally. I was, I did that for years, literally years, because I always had really simple jobs. Ah! Oh my goodness. Ali, thank you for the biddies. Much appreciated. Thank you so much. Um, but yeah, so I, I had simple jobs like that for years and I used those, like simple tax or e-tax or whatever the hell it was. I used that stuff for literally years but my income is not simple anymore my income is now quite complicated and that's why i engage an accountant to work that stuff out for me i i pay them and i claim like the very next year you can pay you can you can claim their um their fees on your next tax like that if, if it's a tax accountant specifically um then that's you, they, they give you, they're like, here is how much you get or need to be paid. If you get something, they'll usually just take their fee out of that and send the rest along, depending. Um, and then if you, if you have to pay, then they'll also send you the bill. I mean, they obviously send you an invoice as well to say, this is how much we're taking. Sean with the resub. So kind of you. Amazing. Oh my God. Oh my God. We've already had a hype train today. Shush. Um, but yeah, if, if your income gets complicated or you're trying to file jointly because you're two people and that, if you've got kids and stuff, like it does start to get a bit complicated and it can absolutely be worth getting a professional to sort it out for you. And again, you claim their fees the next year round. So it reduces your income, your taxable income by that much next year as well. So it's, yeah, uh, it's definitely worthwhile, uh, to make, and not just, you know, to make sure that you don't like 
bugger it up and make a mistake and get yourself audited or in trouble or whatever. But also they can tell you that you can claim stuff that you know. So when, um, when I was first discussing my income with the ATO person, the person who gave me the ruling that it was no longer a hobby, um, they, uh, they went through and asked me a bunch of questions about stuff that in, you know, do you, is there anything you can claim? And I'm like, honestly, I have no idea. And he's gone, well, what do you do? What is your business? And I was like, ah, that's the thing. It's kind of unusual. It's like I, I live stream video games and, blah, blah, and I, I explained it a bit. And he's like, oh, well, that's just, that's online entertainment. You're providing online entertainment. That's, that's not actually unusual at all. And I'm like, oh, okay. He's gone, okay. So here's like, judging from what you've just said, have you bought any video games in the last year that you've then played on stream? Have you bought anything that you've used for giveaways? Have you, like, etc. and all this kind of stuff. And I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And we had this conversation after, he must've had no one in queue. Uh, Cause we had this conversation afterwards. He's like, look, here's, here's something that not many people know. Think about a, a cam girl. You know what a cam girl is. If you think about someone who, well, nowadays, back then OnlyFans didn't exist, but think about an OnlyFans creator. They can claim lingerie because it's work uniform. So they need to they need to wear that in order to make their dosh. Anything that you purchase that is specifically for the purpose of earning more money is claimable. Some of it might not be, it's a gray area, but your accountant can make that decision for you. But your accountant will also ask the right questions to make sure you're not missing anything that could otherwise be claimed. And that's where they earn their goddamn money. Like, good Lord. Excuse me, the number of things that I didn't realize I could claim that they asked me pointed questions about. I was like, holy cow. And I ended up giving this big ass spreadsheet. It was amazing. So, so good. How to dodge tax, but absolutely not. Do not dodge tax. Nah. I, um, so I personally, if it weren't for taxpayers, especially Medicare in Australia, like if it weren't for the taxpayers paying into Medicare, uh, I would likely be dead. Um, uh, dead or exceptionally unwell, like very, very unwell. Uh, my monthly medication that I take for my autoimmune condition uh, costs 1400 bucks, And I pay $40 for it, roughly. Eh, goddammit. So like, I'd be, I'd be flat broke. I wouldn't be able to afford it. And so I wouldn't be able to have my medication, which would make me very sick. So that's paid for by tax. Like that's, that's, yeah. So um, no, I, I'm very much not an advocate of dodging tax. Don't do that. Don't do that. <laughs> um, claim makeup. Makeup is a tricky one. I don't tend to get much new makeup these days. If I bought a palette so that I could do a demonstration of it, yeah, I could, absolutely. Uh, but I don't do that kind of content very much. And most of my makeup collection I've gotten well before I started streaming or before I started doing this kind of stuff. But yeah, absolutely. If you, if you went out of your way, uh, if you're not somebody who usually wears makeup in the day-to-day -day and you went out of your way to get stuff so that you could stream it and things, then yes, you absolutely would. So if uh, I know a lot of like drag streamers, for example, yeah, claim the wigs, claim the costumes, claim the makeup, do the thing. I have the itchiest nose and I don't understand what's going on and it's making me very sad. Ah, uh, not dodge, use the lore as it is intended. Yes, absolutely. Ah, uh, no, I know, I do it too. Good. Brilliant. Claiming tax for games, that's the dream. Uh, yeah, it's a lot of hard work to get there, though. It's a lot of hard work to get there. And it does, you don't get the money back. This is the thing. If, if and if you spend, like, ten grand on games in a, in a year, you don't get ten grand back. You're just taxed as though you had earned ten K less. So, like, you still, you still spent all that money. You gotta be careful. You gotta be careful. In raid, yas. Well done, Seeker. Fringe benefits taxes suck. Um, I haven't had to deal with them yet, so I'm not really sure how they suck. But um, maybe one day. Maybe one day. I don't think, like, I think it would have to get to the point where someone was gifting me an entire 
PC that was high end. Like, it'd have to be a six or seven grand PC that they are giving me for me to have to kind of get to that sort of, because when you really think about it, like if somebody gives me a game to stream, even if it's as part of a sponsorship, like if they're paying me and they're giving me the game and stuff like that, it's all sort of, um, yeah, I don't know. Um, nothing, like, I mean, it's expensive, but it's not that level of expensive. I don't know. I don't know where the fringe benefit stuff kicks in, to be honest with you. Uh, it'd be interesting. But I doubt, I mean, it'd, it'd take a, a, a big, <laughs> a big for me to have to work with that, I think. Um, which I'm not, you know, I'm not unhappy about that. Um, okay, so I'm not crazy, I thought it was weird last time I was here wearing white headset, I think. So we had a purple set. You're not crazy. I have two headsets. It's alright, it's okay, you're not seeing things. I, I'm, like... When I first got this, obviously that was, you know, when I first got the G435, I was wearing it nonstop. But then it got to the point where I'm like, hang on a second. So I rotate them week to week. So tomorrow I'll be wearing the white one again. And I'll wear that for a week and then I'll rotate to the next one. And then, yep. Yeah. Uh, although, given that the laptop has Bluetooth and the G435 is Bluetooth, I think I might be getting a whole lot more use out of them rather than just on stream. <laughs> uh, and I'm definitely not upset about that. I sure says this one. I do hate pug life. Ask in, ask in uh, Discord. See if you can put a group together from people in the Discord. Wait, I don't need any. Oh, no, I do need the ingots, don't I? I still need ingots for some of my tunes. Uh, I'll just jump on for text lesson. Not something I expected. I'm so sorry, Sugai. Look, no, you know what? I'm not sorry. I'm not sorry. We talk about so much random stuff here and I bloody love it. It's so good. And I really, because I know I do have quite a few, like quite a decent chunk of this community are uh, people who are either starting out with stream or who are starting to feel like, you know what, I really enjoy this. I want to take it seriously. And so I feel like talking about my experiences and things that I've learned as I've grown as a content creator, especially because no one talks about this stuff. People talk about how to get more viewers and how to figure out what game to play and how to tweak your OBS and what your bit rate should be and, you know, all that kind of... A lot of people talk about that stuff, but, like, what about when you stop streaming at 87 and you have no superannuation? You have no retirement fund. What happens when you realize seven years in that you were supposed to be reporting your income and now you owe 30 grand to the fucking tax office? Like, I don't want that for any of you. <laughs> so talking about the back end stuff and how seriously you need to take some of this, I think it's really, it's not talked about enough. And I, I really love that we can have these kind of conversations and everyone sort of contributes bits and pieces and we have this big conversation and people ask questions, which develops into another conversation. Like, it's just, it, I love this community so much. It's my favorite place. I oh, can be dreadful. My account is awesome. Works so super fast on the computer. Sometimes I think he's secretly the Flash. <laughs> Amazing. Or is just pretending he doesn't know something. He's like, Yes. <laughs> That's awesome. Uh, people can also be lovely. Yes, hopefully find pug friends soon. COVID work from home thing should depend on contract and business plan at large, mostly contract. Call center, for example, only hire working from home these days, so it's definitely claimable. Oh, you know, it's it's definitely still claimable. Um, it'll just be like I know there was actually like a COVID tax thing that they were doing specifically for people who who had to work from home and stuff. Uh, and I don't think that will be a thing anymore. Maybe, but the like, there's always been work from home stuff for taxation because people have always worked from home, just not to the mass extent that they did over the last few years. Mm. Apologies, I wasn't clear enough with what I said when I said that. Um, what are you looking forward to the most in Dragonflight? That is a ooh. That's a really difficult question. Honestly, I think the leveling experience. Um, 
one of the big things for me with a new expansion, like there's nothing that quite matches the thrill of like jumping on the thing and seeing a cutscene for the first time and being like, oh my God, it's such and such. And then talking to them and they give you a quest and then you start exploring and you're like, oh, look at that and look at that. And you're learning the story for the first time. And all that. I just, I really love that part of the game. And it doesn't last very long. I don't, I don't, I don't speed level. Um, not, at least not on day one. I know there are people who push to max so quickly so they can start dungeoning, so they can start getting their gear and get ready for raids. And that's great. Like, props to them. That's amazing. It's one hell of a skill to be able to do that. I read everything. And I often read it aloud because I'm streaming it. So that's the thing. So, And I, one of the reasons I do that is so that members of the community who want to blitz through it can still hear the story and the lore by listening to us playing through it. Does that, I hope that makes sense. Um, but yeah, so it's that, I'm really looking forward to that, I think, is my first thing. I'm sure there'll be more things down the track, but that particularly, I, I love that new expansion feeling. Um, yeah. What about you? What are you looking forward to most? Especially not plugging for 20 plus, if not 3k rated, you won't get into any groups. Uh, don't you also have to declare on stream if you get a benefit from a company like a sponsor, if you have stocks in the company you're showcasing? I don't know about stocks because I don't have any stocks. I mean, my superannuation might have invested in stocks or something like that, but I, I genuinely have no idea. Um, so I can't speak on the stock side of thing. Um, but yes, if you are being sponsored, um, you you absolutely need to, to state it. 100% yes. Um, oh, do I have a purple hearth? I don't. All right, we'll go get one. Um, but yeah, so uh, for example, I've had three sponsor streams with Blizzard and I said that and I also had a banner up the top of the... Actually, do I have... Nope, I don't. I must have got rid of it. That's okay. Um, so I had a thing up the top that said sponsored by Blizzard Entertainment. I probably shouldn't have shown it anyway because someone would bloody clip it and think I was sponsored. Um, but... <laughs> But uh, yeah, so there's you have you either have to state it x ev like every x minutes or something, um, or you have to have it displayed permanently. I elected for displaying it permanently simply because I lose track of time really easily and I didn't want to break the law. So <laughs> it was also in my contract with Blizzard when I did those three separate streams. Each of those contracts had that I had to state it or I had to have this wording. Um, my, I have an upcoming sponsored stream, uh, with Final, Final Fantasy, uh, Final Fantasy 14 from Square Enix. And they also have the same thing, um, except that their contract says a couple of, like it says I have to state it every X minutes or I have to display something, but that it's going to be provided. Like, I think they give me an overlay or something to use, um, rather than me doing it in my own font and all that kind of stuff. So I'll have to see what that is. And if I don't like it, I'm going to go back to them and make something and say, hey, is this okay instead of your overlay? And if they say no, then I have to use theirs and that's okay. Um, they're paying me. They get some say over what I'm doing. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, it's it's 100%. Yeah. Um, which is why I always, like when I'm having my bubble tea and stuff and people ask about it, if I'm... <laughs> oh, I love exploration dings. They are the best dings. Um, oh my God. Uh when people ask me about it, I'm always very much like, this is Bubble Tea Club, I am affiliated. Um, if it is a flavor that they have sent me, I will usually also say that. Um, because like, yeah, that's a, I, it's much, it's far better to overstate it than to understate it, in my opinion. Um, even if it gets a bit annoying, like constant reminder, this is sponsored by the way. Um, this is not sponsored, this is a, not a sponsored stream. Uh, but yeah, it's a, it's a whole thing. It's a whole thing. Uh, notice of assessment. Ah, uh, yeah, the tax letter thing that says give us money or here's some money. That one. Yep. Ginger. Oh, it's ginger! Beautiful. Love it. Uh, go away. Alright, um, now that I'm here, give me purple stone. Uh, have a good one. stone get. And now we go to mana poof. Uh, oh my god, I'm so far behind on chat. All right, give me a second. Let's say ginger. 
Can you pronounce my name? Uh, Kvothalir is probably my first instinct. But now that I've said that, I'm sure there's probably something silly like a silent K or something. Um, this is my fear talk. Tax and how to game the system by gaming. <laughs> Claiming everything you're entitled to claim, make tax authorities very suspicious, ask a lot of- No, because it's the law. These are the things you can claim. You should claim everything you can claim. Um, if you if you claim something and they ask for documentation and you can't provide it, that's when they might get suspicious. Um, they do audit a random selection of people each year and just check through everything. Um, so there's always a chance that you'll get audited, but um, no. But if you're claiming literally everything you can claim, then you are working within the law and why would they be suspicious of you? You're just doing business properly and you know your shit or your accountant knows their shit. Uh, good morning, Warblade. Welcome on in. Can a good accountant knows what you can and can't? Don't claim what you don't have proof of. That, yeah, that's the thing. Like I have my um, I have my spreadsheet that I send, but I also keep all of those PDF receipts in a folder with the spreadsheet. And if my accountant asks for any of them, I shoot them straight across. Um, um, teleport saved me so much time from the transmitter. Yes, nice. Because if you don't have a dollar on, Hellstone and Alt can be a bit iffy to get a memory. Yeah, but you can grab it by just going to, like I just did then, um, going to the, I know I'm well behind on chat, but that's how you can get it. Go to Ledger Main, talk to the things, select the speech bubble option, and you get yourself a purple stone. Purple rock. Um, does TikTok pay out to Aussies who the Aussies don't get paid? I don't know. I have 600 followers. Uh, just mirrors in your background. Looks cool. Just... No, they're not mirrors, they're nano leaf panels. This here is a mirror, like right in the corner, right here. That's my wardrobe door. But no, um, they're, they're not mirrors, they're lights. Um, rules around affiliates and sponsor programs and disclosures is naff. It's because that hasn't kept, the law hasn't kept up with the evolution of how the internet works, is the problem. Uh, I think it's a certain type of LED. Nano leaf panels, lighting, can't remember where from. Nano leaf panels, yay information. Thank you again for the biddies, Ellie. They go purple. They do go purple. Wait, because it's a purple bit, purple bit thing. If it was like more, it'd go a different color. If it was less, it'd go a different color. It's beautiful. I love the setup. They're so cool. LED led quite a few people to stick around. Oh, nab. Oh, I love it. I love it. Uh, gotta go. See you later. Sub hype indeed. Oh my god, I'm so far behind. Um. Wait till you start getting stocks for one job, run your own business gets hard real quick. I mean, I'm, yeah, look, I, the, my day job doesn't have, they're not a, they're a non-for-profit. So, um, there's no stocks to be had there. Uh, so that's a fun thing. Um, wouldn't want to know how many people have the awkward conversation with the ATO regarding our own plans. Why is it awkward? Um, can you claim headsets, PC, etc.? If you purchase them, yes. Um, I bought a laptop yesterday. I'll be claiming that because it's I specifically bought, bought it for work purposes. I'm sure that I'll probably only be able to claim a certain percentage of it considering that I'm a sole trader and there's a chance I could use it for personal stuff as well. But I'm I'm absolutely, it was bought for work. Um, my headsets and stuff, I was lucky enough to, I'm lucky enough to work with Logitech. And so they've sent me, for example, this headset free of charge as part of the affiliate program. So um, I can't claim that because I didn't buy it. But if you did and you were streaming, then yes, absolutely you could. Uh, and if and when I upgrade my desktop PC, I will absolutely be able to claim that as well. You are correct. And welcome on in, Andrew. I hope you're having a fantastic day. ATO would treat OnlyFans just like any other profession. Correct. Yep, it's online content creation. It doesn't matter what kind of content you are creating. It's all the same. Claim my entire mobile phone bill. Nice, Reggie. That's awesome. If you're able to, that's, br that's brilliant. Your ally. Uh, I mean, a fancy OF work uniform can cost hundreds of dollars. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Uh, it's work-related photos, emails. Yep, definitely. Uh, I have to ask my account about the new headset I need to buy. Thanks, Illidan. Oh, no. Don't dodge the tax, man. They'll find you. The call you get is not fun. Been there. Oh, no, Sukai. I'm so sorry you had that experience. That sucks. Some people forget to report the income and get it. Oh, yes. Yeah. Yeah. No, yeah, for sure. Um... That's, it's really important that if you are earning money at all, or if you're trying to earn money through online endeavors, that each year, like July 1st, because no one does their taxes that early, so the wait time, the call wait times will be nothing. July 1st, call them, say, I made this much money, I spent this much money, do I need to report my income? And they will be able to tell you, this is Australia. I don't know how it works elsewhere. I'm sorry, I can't provide that 
kind of advice or, well, this isn't really technically advice. Look, advice to call the ATO and ask. I think that's fair. Um, <laughs> not actual financial advice, but advice to ask them, I think is okay. Uh, but yeah, so that's, um, if, if you are even attempting to earn online income every year, call them, tell them what you made and what you spent and find out whether or not you should be claiming. Um, remember Jack sucks at life on YouTube. Got a Tesla, had to start a channel on driving a Tesla so we could claim it on tax. It's a way to get around it. It's a way to do it. And there's nothing wrong with that because it is legitimate work. Creating and editing those videos takes time, skill and effort. And if it's making money, I think in Oz you get 30 to 48% back only. Uh, fringe benefits is where your donated kind items come in. Yeah. Yep. Uh, Nifty website obviously can't link. Helps you see where you're in the tax bracket. You can see what kind of deductions you'd need to be meaningful. Yeah. Yeah. There are a lot of those kind of, because that's a, because tax brackets are very, very public knowledge, those kind of websites are useful. But of course, your accountant will be able to tell you for certain whether or not, like, something can, yeah. Um... There's infringement benefits for your company, only a company pays you. If PC goes to your company, you don't have the benefit, so no FB tax. But I am my company. That's the thing. I'm a sole trader, so it operates a little bit differently, I think. Um, but I don't know. I've, I've, I don't know. I've never received anything valuable enough to, to work into fringe benefits, so I don't know. But when I do, if I do ever, then I will be reporting it to my accountant and they will tell me how to handle it. Um... Don't tell me you're still rocking those ViewSonic bad boys. Uh, absolutely. Why would I replace them? They work beautifully well. Welcome on in, Tia. Disclaimer if he is not qualified to determine levels of cray cray. <laughs> no, I'm not. Talk to the accountant about it. Got total one point. Company pay parking every day. It was considered an income against FBT. A couple of grand a year. Goodness gracious. Um, but yeah, no, I have everything, anything and everything that involves cash that has got something to do with, like, keep in mind that this has been, report everything so far for me has been recorded, reported as foreign income. As of this year, as of this June, July, I will be reporting against my ABN. So I, another one, brilliant. So I don't actually, I've got another Doom's Edge. I just remember we're on the stream reader screen. So yeah, I'm, I'm not 100% sure how it works with that yet because I haven't done it yet. Um, but yeah, I've also, again, never been gifted anything valuable enough to be considered FB2. Uh, to be considered FB, rather. Um, which is both good, because I imagine it's complicated, but it's also bad, because hey, that'd be nice. Ah, oh, what is this you're doing? Blackwing Lair? Hello, Lixie. Um, good for what? Happy to help people. Absolute Silver, Ali and Raven, congratulations to all of you on your ownership. Well done. Want to stream? I can't make work OBS. Uh, there are plenty of YouTube videos that'll be able to help you with that. Plenty retire 87. Just be well, Grandma. Seven years super payments as well. Uh, and they will get their money. Uh, I think a lot of people got burned by the Twitch leak, showed what some people have earned from them. Look, maybe. Um, but I mean, like, just because they're earning that, does that not mean maybe they are deserving of that? Like, if that many people feel so strongly about their content and want to support them enough to sub, then why is it a bad thing that they're earning that much? If they're earning a full-time or more income, maybe it's because they work their asses off and they deserve that. I don't think that Twitch leak, I mean, having your personal inf information leaked is never a good thing. That's terrible. But I genuinely don't see a problem with someone earning a good amount from Twitch. I would like to earn a good amount from Twitch. I'd like to be a full-time content creator, but I can't afford to do so on my current level of income. Um, wow, patch 35.5 from Miss Super is if you're a sole trader in Australia, Miss Super, run a proprietary limited, then you need to pay Super, correct. Correct, but I don't have any employees. Um, yeah, again, sole trader. So a lot of this stuff, a lot of the company business stuff doesn't apply to me. Um, sole traders are treated very differently. Um, but if a company pays you a certain amount via invoice, uh, depending on which industry you're in, a lot of you, like, if you earn over X amount in a month from a specific company on your ABN, you still need to, like, they need to pay you super as well. That was a change about a year, a year ago, maybe, year and a half, maybe? I don't know. I know I do it at my day job. Like, we have people who, um, we pay them as an ABN contractor. 
but if they do enough work for us and they earn over a certain amount, we have to also get their super from them and pay them super, which is really interesting. Uh, but again, they're sole traders. Flame Gore, give me your Herald of Woe. Um, emotes. Hard to say what to look forward to in Dragonflight with not more info out yet. Indeed, I mean, there is a lot of stuff there, but um, you can also be looking forward to finding out more about a specific feature. I already redeemed emote only, never mind. Yeah, that was, you You blamed a mod, I'm confused. Um, what should I claim in your house? If you claim your house or part of it, like a room from working from home, you get hit with capital gains tax when you sell your house. I don't have a house. I rent, I have an apartment that I rent. <laughs> Um, uh, mm. I will use redemption, sadly. I don't have that in mind, not bad at all. I do. I'm 60 in one and a half days. Nice, Cyber. Well done. Please share lands by watching streamers. Dragon Mount, looking forward. Oh, nice. Yeah, absolutely. That is a good thing to look forward to. I've seen the areas, what they plan on doing with it. Customization for that, finally having that function. Right there with you on story content. That's why I keep playing WoW and coming back after I get bored. Crafting, love taking my time, reading everything, experiencing everything, and making stuff. Time for bed, rest well, meaty. Ah, oh, nightmare is so awesome. I hope to one day be at the same level as you are. Aww. Okay, me, Twitch advert, such time. Ah! <laughs> Amazing, sorry. Check with work now on streaming. Uh, advert sponsored, by the way, at the end of ads. Couldn't plan it. Yep. My god. I think it makes 100% sense. It's still the genetic contest. Just say no. That won't work for us. Um, also, art contests are give me your art for free and I will pay you if you are good enough by exposing your work to more people, which is crap. No. <laughs> pay your goddamn artists. Companies that do like, we're looking for a new logo. Submit your idea here and if you win, you'll have the new logo exposed to our hundreds of thousands of... No, piss off. Pay your goddamn artists. I hate that stuff. Uh, I did that for my mum after dad passed and she came everything in the UK. I lost my name. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that, Grim. My condolences. Uh, I remember what Carrie Packer said on minimizing attacks. No. Um, of course, I'm minimizing attacks. If anyone in this country doesn't, they want their heads red. Uh, I'm you're not spending it that well. We should be donating extra. Ah, uh, three. Last printer loss could be a dreadful journey. Agreed. Ah, uh, it's my mum before last is hard. I'm sorry for your loss as well, Sen. Condolences. Um, you will earn more coins as you continue watching Kanox. Welcome on in. I hope you're having a wonderful evening, day, time, whatever time it is for you. Um, hello, Zarin. Uh, feels like the jailer at a soul trader. I mean, yes, correct. Yeah, another service between free tax tips. For <laughs> My number one tax tip is don't take tax tips from random ass people on the internet. Ask a qualified person. <laughs> Welcome in, Jasper. I hope you're having an awesome day. Uh, just so I cancelled my flight to Vegas. I'm horrible about it. Get to airport at 6 a.m. Hope they don't cancel it again. What happened? Oh no, what? Ha huh? What? You don't want to get paid in exposure? Right? Good lord. Mm -hmm. It's really funny. Oh my god. There was a, um,. Uh, what was it? We got something in the mail. Or, or something. I don't remember exactly where it was. But basically it was about um, how the laws were changing around disclosure for like internet disclosure and stuff. And they were basically, they weren't, it wasn't directed at me as a content creator, but it was directed at people like being aware this is what people have to say. Um, and it was, and I'm reading this thing and it's like they have to say something like this. And I'm like... I already say that. <laughs> so finally the law is catching up to me. It, yeah, it was great. It was great. Um, just disappointing, hope you're doing well. Yeah, absolutely disappointing. What happened, Zarin? What happened? I was well of a person, some random person gave me that as a text. <laughs> Rel. Oh no, may not be the end of the world. Big imposition, yeah, for sure. Spears emote artists, I refuse to be paid in exposure, but I will give for free emotes once or twice at my own will. And every time he does, I'm like, are you sure? Do you want me to pay you for this thing that you sent me unsolicited like? <laughs> yeah, no, I'm, um, I'm very passionate about people being paid what they're worth. 
Because the thing is, if I don't pay others what they are worth, why the hell should I be paid what I'm worth? Because I'm a creator just like they are. It's just a different type of creation that I'm creating. A lot of airports are very short staffed. Oh, I remember reading about that. Because of, because of the COVIDs, people are like, they're massively short staffed. I remember that. Maybe the flight was canceled because they couldn't get any, like, like maybe they had two flights that were half staffed and they had to like, con you know, squish them down to one flight so they could actually staff it properly. Because they have minimum, like you have to have a minimum number of people to passengers and stuff, like kind of like schooling with, with teachers to kids, right? For, for safety reasons and shit, probably. I don't know. One of the ground crew damaged something important on the plane. Well, I don't fly us on damaged plane for sure, but still disappointing as taking a day away from seeing my mum who I haven't seen in almost a decade. Oh yeah, I, f I, I feel that. I feel that, yeah, like absolutely, uh, yeah. Awesome that they're not gonna fly a, a potentially broken plane, but also, excuse me? Yeah, no, oh, valid feelings, Erin, 100% valid. Um, most if not all, oh wow, okay, there you go. Um, hope they find your working plane soon, agreed. That's like getting mates right secure. Surely your mates are the ones you want to see succeed. Exactly right. Exactly. Um, in fact, I'm pretty sure the first time Sheba and I, Sheba might be able to correct me on this, but I, you know, my memory can be a bit squishy sometimes, but I'm pretty sure when we were first talking about commissioning for emotes and you're like, I, and, and Sheba was like, I don't know what to charge you. And I kind of went through, I'm like, all right, well, the last ones I paid for were this. The time before that, I paid that. From a quick look at some of the people I follow on Twitter, they seem to be charging this or this. And then Sheba came back to me with a price that was a bit lower than that. And I was like, are you sure you don't want to charge me more? <laughs> like, mm. yeah. But I have to say, like, if anybody is out there as as a streamer who is looking for emotes to, to kind of... Or, like art in general, but specifically emotes for at this point, but also anything that is emote like, like, you know, your, your sub badges, they're technically kind of, they're, they're same, so, sort of similar design to emotes um, or your like channel points, icons, all that kind of stuff. If you're looking for anyone to commission for that, I cannot recommend Shibasu enough. Like his turnaround time is phenomenal. His communication is beautiful and brilliant and just so like, on top of it, there, were, there was one point where we had some emotes that were delayed a bit because of some stuff that was going on, but every step of the way I was being told exactly what was going on, what point, like how far along with the design he was and why it was being delayed, as much as was, you know, suitable to talk about, personal issues are personal, um, all that kind of, it was just such a, it, every single type, almost at this point, like the vast majority of my emotes are Shiba designs and it has been nothing but a pleasure the whole bloody time. I cannot recommend him enough. I just can't. Um, uh, and the imbalance between can fly, can't fly, where is lockdown? Oops, now they aren't locked down. Oof, yep. I'm super nervous. My trip in July, I want things smoothly. Flats to be okay, but it's so unknown now. Yeah, it's... um. Honestly, in Australia, things are pretty darn stable. It's, you know, I know that that's not the case any, everywhere and I'm exceptionally grateful for the fact that it is like that here, but it's, um, yeah, we're, we're really stable here. Um, because people like Seeker unintentionally become drunk on planes, this is because earlier I need a responsible <laughs> adult around. <laughs> really bad at pricing my work. It might be time for you to raise your prices. You've got, I know uh, one of the things you were talking about was like, you don't have any experience and all that kind of stuff, but you've, you've developed your own style now. You've had enough experience that... You know what you like and what you're looking for. Maybe it's time to bump them up. Emote exposure. Outsource it. Yep. I mean, there are some really good, uh, there are some really good calculators, like crafter calculators out there where you can plug in the cost of your materials, how long it takes you to create a piece, the hourly rate, all that kind of stuff that you want to pay yourself, all this kind of thing. Um, I imagine that they would be at least somewhat like you could get get a ballpark figure from one of those kind of calculators and then adjust from there Red is she but at least twice people looking for an artist in the future yep yep 
Um, people love their emotes. They do. Absolutely. And, but it's such a, like, there's a reason for it too. Emotes can be the heart and soul of a stream. Like, if I'm the face and the voice, the, the part that you guys can take home with you and the, the part that you can take to other channels. And this is the other thing. If your emotes are good enough and your, your viewers enjoy you and your emotes enough to use your emotes in other channels, you will have people who find you through your emote because they'll click on the emote and go, oh my God, who is that from? And then they will take that and they will potentially sub to you because just because they want access to that emote. Like it's... Can I? Oh, you... What? Can I? No, okay, you bastards. Um, like, yeah, emotes are well bloody worth investing in. Well worth investing in. Can go bonk. Oh, God damn it. Ah. Uh. Yeah, no, this is... bugger it. Pop, 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 pop. Ah, uh, super artist person gonna make me cry. And I think you need to pay more. Can I get an extra five? Do I have five? Five! Going once! Can confirm if Peach Shiba Commission the product was received? Yup, for sure. Um... Government is now finding of whether to give minimum paid workers an extra dollar an hour. Pretty petty. <sighs> yeah. Look, I, firstly, I would like to say I 100% believe that the minimum wage in the United States should be raised. I know that you, the cost of living in the US, I don't, I mean, obviously different areas of the US have different cost of living, but I think overall the cost of living in the US is lower than that of Australia. But your minimum wage is like a third of ours. And it's, it is not that much more expensive to live here. And there are still people here who, who can't survive on that minimum wage. So it's just, it's ridiculous. You should not have to work three goddamn jobs to be able to pay for stuff. Like, it's just not okay. That being said, that is where, that is where my beliefs are. It's not necessarily petty. Like, $1 an hour might not sound like a whole lot. But when you have a business that's open for 16 hours a day, and you have to have 10 staff working for each of those 16 hours. Like it's, it's start. And then you've got to do that every day, seven days a week. And then like, it does start to add up for the company, especially smaller businesses, chain stores, fuck them. So just no, I can imagine that small, like mum and pop stores that are operating on a razor thin margin might not be able to afford that. However, I also believe, and that's where their argument will be coming from, but I also believe if, the, if your margins are so razor thin that you cannot afford to pay people what they're worth, then you shouldn't be operating. That simple. If you cannot find a way, if your product is not good enough that you can operate on a decent enough margin, etc., etc., then you shouldn't be operating. It's, it's just that simple. Uh, but yeah, that's... um. That, I, I believe that that's, like, it does add up. It's not that small an amount when it comes to those kind of calculations, but it is still ridiculous, yeah. Um. Uh, prompt receipt, excellent communications. Yeah, stop talking about it, just do it. Get three quotes from a respected peer. Yes, for sure. What game you like based on that? Yes, that's a big thing. Like, even even if you don't feel comfortable basing it on that, message them and go like, hey, like, especially if you know them, if you actually have like a, a rapport with them, like contact with them outside of commissioning them, um, then it might be worth saying, hey, I did this. What, what would you, if you had done something like that, what would you be charging for it kind of thing? You don't have to. You don't have to take their word as gospel, but you can absolutely factor it into your own calculations. Uh, so should we look at your Do you like based on that? No, I just like their own work to price it for what it's worth. Yeah, well, we we are our own worst enemies, right? We um we don't value ourselves enough. Uh, you farming anything in particular? Uh, percentage. I want to finish. I want all the things. Uh, talking about Oz. Oh, Oz! I'm so sorry. God, I went on an entire ass rant. I am so sorry. I genuine. Are they really? I didn't know that. I didn't know that. 
God. Okay, that tells you even more about the US minimum wage than doesn't it? Like, even if we are, we here in Australia are discussing bumping ours up and yours is like, at the, anyway, look. My heart, I, my heart just breaks for humans that I know who struggle so bloody much because of some of the really just completely screwed up things in the US, that's all. Oh my gosh, I am so sorry, that's hilarious. There's been total blast people donate to, for me to do for your emotes, living out a surprise with more sketches. It's, it's beautiful and I cannot, like, the generosity that you lot, my god. I, I've said it so many times and I bloody well mean it, I do not know what I have done to deserve you guys, but I'm not going to question it. <laughs> you're all awesome. Like, you're awesome. I'm wishing the US sucks after I on tip. Yes, yep, agreed. I'm so sorry I misinterpreted Jazz. That's really funny. Really funny. I barely earned a bum in the UK. It was definitely currency conversion worth value just for maybe just really rough. Yeah, I can imagine. Oof. Sorry, Walmart. It's the same in the UK. Government, sorry. Blah. Since this current government has been in power, I've seen a raise in food banks and people barely. Oh, God. I'm so sorry to hear that. That blows. Um, you know, in Australia, at least, if you pay minimum wage, then close your doors. It's just not cricket. Yeah. I mean, look, the, the minimum wage is where it is to give people a guideline. This is the thing. It's like, how much do I pay these people what they're worth? Well, there's an award for that. If they are doing this level of work, this is how much you need to pay them. If you think they're bloody awesome, then you can play, pay them more, but this is how much you need to pay them. And especially for a smaller business. Ah! Dope! Thank you so much for the cheer. Wait, I'm done here. I don't need to go further. Um, thank you so much. If you're a, like, if you're a smaller company as well, or you're trying to grow your business, paying more than the minimum wage may not be the best idea for you. But that's why the minimums are there to protect the workers. Um, paying minimum wage is fine as long as the minimum wage is appropriate. Um. A lot of awards do scale each year properly, but not all of them do. <clears throat> there was like a whole last piece of pepper. <coughs> I just crunched like a whole chunk of <coughs> a whole chunk of pepper gone. <clears throat> oh boy. I just got stuck in part of my throat and it wouldn't <clears throat> it wouldn't go. Oh but yeah, that's that's the thing. Like that's the thing with minimum wage. It needs to adjust appropriately. And a lot of them do because those industries have unions that are good and but a lot of them don't uh, and that's where it sucks um 6250 4773 shaman <clears throat> oh, you know what i love paying an extra 10 to 15% on sundays and public holidays literally please pay people penalty rates so a nice freaking brunch yes absolutely agreed agreed uh, unfortunately, it doesn't make economic sense. If you raise the pay, you have to raise the cost to the customers, which raises the cost of living and so on. Not necessarily, Voodoo. Uh, it does not do anything about the rich still getting rich <clears throat> and the poor still getting poorer. Not necessarily. If your profit margins are large enough, the idea is that you should be eating that increase in pay. A lot of them don't pass it on to the customer. Uh, a lot of, sorry, a lot of them don't eat the increase in pay. Um, a lot of them don't want to lower their profit margins, and so they do pass on the cost and stuff. Um, but then the idea there is that we as humans should be make, be able to make that conscious decision. I don't want to support this company because they've bumped their prices up when they shouldn't have to and stuff like that. <clears throat> but yeah, I, I do absolutely get what you're saying. It doesn't have to be that way. Unfortunately, it is a lot of the time. But it like... <sighs> Do you just expect people to suffer for the rest of their lives, though? Like, what else are we supposed to do? 
we can't, like, the status quo sucks. The status quo legitimately sucks for a lot of people. So how do we fix it? How do we help that? How do we change that? Uh, a lot of it is consumers. We as consumers need to make better choices as to where we spend our money and where we spend our time. Excuse me, all that kind of stuff. Support businesses that do it the right way, all that kind of stuff. But there are some areas where that's not possible because there's literally only one goddamn supermarket. And so you, if you want food, you have to go there, even if they treat their workers like crap. Um, but yeah, like, how would you reckon, like, so you, you don't like that idea, or you said it doesn't make economic sense, I'm assuming that means you don't like it, but whatever, regardless, if that's not the, if that's not a good idea, what is, how can we fix the situation for these people who are literally living under the poverty line, even though they have a full-time job and can barely afford food from the company that they work for? How do we fix that problem? Um, not sarcasm. No, no, definitely not, Ali. Absolutely. Um, all your points are valid and true. Might all have to do some uni to bed. Fantastic, Sukai. Enjoy. Just don't start crying. But the same more respectful, fun place for people to talk. Life, wow, and current events. Look, sometimes. Thank you, Seeker. Um, she puts it towards the teeth of the words, which is totally fair, but same, same. Unless she has to spend on emotes more than we greedily value. It's okay. I mean, obviously, this stuff, again. Purchasing emotes, commissioning emotes, tax, claim it on tax. Ah, uh, just lovely since communities are easy, no strings attached to the thought network. If a penny sent less equals exploitation. Let that sink in. Huh? Uh, pricing anything business-wise is hard, especially artistic things, because as they say, beauty is in the eye of the beholder. Even with my work, since there aren't a lot of physical products included, so I have to temper cost versus value and not outprice myself without selling myself short either. Yeah, it's it's a very tricky balance. Very tricky. And what is too expensive for one person is going to be dirt cheap to another. You, there is no correct price. You've just got to figure out what works best for you and your efforts and, and all that kind of stuff. It's it's very hard. It's not, it's not an easy balance to find at all. Um, I'm going to make you a shrink. I'm going to have a bed. Rest well, Shiba. We'll see you next time. Uh, where am I going? Blackwing Lair. I'm so glad I'm not going to have to do this place again for like forever. Um, just assassination isn't fair. Let's use the guys again. Um, just want to shake my phone in last week. I've got remembering. I didn't do anything last week. It was empty. Oh, grim. Hello, Ske. Welcome on in. I hope you're doing wonderfully today. Let's see, go to chat. Personally, I'd pick a restaurant that's 20% dearer and pays their staff properly over a cheaper one that depends on tipping. Um, I, we in Australia don't really make that determination because it's not really much of a thing, but I, I would do the same thing. For sure. For sure. Um, and then of course the, the suffering of that means that if you're not supporting the company and you're not tipping, those, like those staff end up potentially losing their jobs or they don't get enough income because there's no one coming in or tipping. Um, and then, you know, if the restaurant closes because they're getting no support, uh, then those people are out of jobs. Uh, but like, yeah, it's, it's, it's a messy situation. It's not a, it's not a neat and tidy. I don't think there is going to be a neat and tidy solution. There are a lot of things that we can try and do to, to help the situation, but there's always going to be unintended negative side effects. There is pretty much with anything you do in life, to be perfectly honest. Um... Can't buy from family businesses. Huh? What do you mean, Kay? Your loading screen hurts. Why does my loading screen hurt? Um. Is there in? Yeah, it's a. Um, it's not a. It's not a fun situation. And trying to find, so I mean, there there have obviously been people for a very long time and been trying to find solutions to this kind of stuff and it hasn't happened yet. Or maybe there has been a solution found and just it hasn't received the publicity it needed or whatever. It's, you know, yeah. Hmm. <laughs> 
raid withdrawals. Oh dear. Oh dear. Thank you, Koalatron. Good point. If you're enjoying the fear content and you'd like more of it, or you'd like to support me grow as a- Oh my god, really? Another one? <laughs> Who am I on? <laughs> Purple Heart. Okay. Where the hell is she? Um. There we are. Oh, for God's sake. I keep having Numlock on and I keep forgetting about it. Um. There we go. Uh, if you are enjoying the Fiamma content and you would like more of it, or you'd like to support me in my quest for full-time content creatorhood, um, you can do so by literally following me on social media. I know it sounds ridiculous, but it is actually a thing. Um, the more my social reach extends, uh, the more income I can earn from potential sponsorships and partnerships and all that kind of fun stuff. Uh, and it's free. Totally free. Uh, it takes you all about 20-30 seconds, depending on your internet connection. Um, I would greatly appreciate a follow if you've got one in your pocket. Or like under your keyboard somewhere. I know I get a lot of stuff like lost under there sometimes. Like the the toothpicky things, you know, like like these things, right? The like with the floss and the tooth. Yeah, they get under my keyboard all the goddamn time. And they lift it up. I'm like, what the hell? Yeah, it's great. <laughs> it's okay. I clean my desk a lot more often these days because I take photographs of things on it. Uh, so it needs to be marginally tiny, uh, tidy, not tiny. Okay, let us mush some eggs. Um. That's 51. I know, right? Ex look, exploration dings are the best dings. It's absolutely hilarious. And I love it so much. They're all so close to 51. Like, so many of my 50 tunes are really close to 51 because of all the runs I did during Lovers in the Air. You actually got a decent amount of experience for them. Almost a whole level. Almost a whole level from doing, like, every single day. So, yeah, they're all sitting, like, this much away from, from 51, which is why I keep getting the exploration dings. Here you go, Zika. I assume my name PS5. Life is strange in two colors. Your favorite streamer, but you only just got here. Thank you very much. But are, are you sure? <laughs> Thank you for the kind words. Life is strange is an awesome game. I really enjoyed it. Holy cow, it, it hit me right in the feels. My goodness. My goodness. Um, where are we going? Just walked back in from kids not going to sleep. Oh dear. Oh, right, I didn't actually open this up, did I? Not, like, you don't have to have it opened up, but, um, I like seeing what I could get and then what I didn't get, of course. Um, how my CC's ding while herbing or mining? Yeah, it's hilarious. I've got eight 60s now, I'm really happy with that. Going really well. Put the stream on the other rig while lurking on a logo. Oh, lovely! Imagine. So you're a you're an artist as well. Beautiful. True colors me hooked for a whole week. Ah, amazing. Love my joy using herbalism alone. Awesome. I've been doing mine through Threads of Fate, and it's been quite quick. It's been nice. Not as quick as some would be, I imagine, but um, quick enough for me. Mm. Not really, though. I like to dabble in doing stuff, of course! Well, you know, all artists have to start somewhere, right? And a lot of them start in dabbling. Why do I never see Pandaren players in WoW anymore? Is it the same on AUNZ servers? Um, I don't know. I don't, I don't think so. Um, I've got a few Pandaren. I've got two Pandaren. I think I've got one on each, one on each faction. Um, but I don't know. I don't tend to pay too much attention, I guess. Uh, Tan, Draz, Ali, Sika, sorry, Alitria and Alisiov. Demon, Miko, Silver, Molly and Fade. Congratulations to all of you on your bonus ship. Well done. Well done. Um, if you've been looking for a bit, gotta admit, listening, watching you helps me relax. Aww, becoming one of my favourite streamers, Gills! Who got skins? 
Thank you so much for your kind words. That's so sweet of you, Gilsey. Thank you. What's your fave tune to play? My main. Uh, my main is Fiyama. Shocking. I know, right? Um, and she is a fire mage. She is a fire mage. So yeah, definitely. Definitely the mage. Oh, I can't place my centurion yet. Um, let's place the paladin then. And I can turn in my uh, necromancer quest. <laughs> Has the store refreshed yet? No, 45 minutes. I'm not, I don't want to pay. I know I've got a ton of gold, but I'm funny about paying to refresh it. <laughs> I'm weird. I know, it's fine. Um, Mistwalker's more popular now. Hang on, pandas or monks? Because that's two different things. Mistwalker is a monk, but if you're talking about Pandaren as in the race. Um, oh, look at this, I'm getting better at this, guys. Slowly but surely. Uh, Sand Torrens are epic for herbing. I almost feel like I'm missing out if I don't take a herbing on my Torrens. Yay, Tan! I'm also into D&D sometimes. Little board game like Cluedo. What are your hobbies and interests? I mean gaming, obviously. Uh, but I also do a lot of crafty stuff. I cross stitch. I knit. I crochet. Uh, I used to do diamond painting, but I don't know. I it's fun. I enjoy doing diamond painting, but I'm not super happy with the end result. Like it's not really my thing. So I feel like I'm wasting money if I do that. Whereas like, I'm sorry, crochet can be adorable and fun. Um, <laughs> and I knit myself a whole ass cardigan uh, and I cross stitch like a fair bit. So that kind of thing. Uh, I'm, I've bought a pattern that I'm waiting on delivery for my first like actual foam based cosplay so that's gonna be interesting i really like crafting like doing stuff with my hands i also have a bucket full of like jewelry making supplies uh, i like video games obviously but outside of wow i'm a big fan of like uh, I love Pokemon um, and simulation games so like management sims and stuff like that really kind of they're not very fun to watch from a stream perspective, but I really enjoy playing them and the challenge of figuring out like the most efficient ways to do stuff and all that sort of thing. Uh, and puzzles. Puzzles are great. You get to see me, me my, my puzzle brain in action on Friday. Uh, we're gonna be playing a puzzle game. It's gonna be awesome sauce. Um, yeah, beyond that, I love food. I'm a real foodie. I love eating it. I like cooking, but I love baking. Uh, but I don't tend to have much time to do a whole lot of baking these days, unfortunately. Uh, plus, I don't, I work from home all the time now. So back when I actually worked in an office, if I cooked up a big batch of something, baked up a big batch of something, I could take it into the office and I wouldn't sit there and eat it all myself, which like would make me feel ill <laughs> and stuff. Um, but now that I work completely from home, it doesn't really yeah it's uh it's not so so good for me to bake too much uh, and i find it really difficult to bake single servings of stuff i'm much better at bulk recipes uh yeah i have quite a few interests <laughs> i have too many hobbies um yeah i think that's kind of love a good book but i don't read too much anymore again a time thing and i love playing with my makeup i have quite a collection of makeup and i really enjoy um I really enjoy playing with that and creating art on my face. I mean, not like to the level of people you find on Instagram, like, <laughs> but, um, you know, my, my own skill level of art. Yeah. Thank you for asking. That was a fun conversation. That was a fun little thing to think about. I appreciate it. Uh, every time I do the Pandora Stones, I don't want to go Horde. I usually go ally, human soldier, shit carry, but I am such a bitch to the Horde. Yeah. Yeah. She's me, like, and then, and then the guy who picks Horde is like, oh, I guess I'll just pick the other one, considering you don't like me anymore. It's like, oh, such a good reason to choose the Horde. Like, good lord. Yeah, I feel that. I feel that. Um, how did you jump up there? I didn't. I got knocked back. You can aim the knockback in a way, because they send you flying, so you can aim it in just such a way. I'm usually really bad at it. Um, I'm getting, because I've been doing it so much today, I've had a chance to practice it a bit. So I'm, I'm definitely getting there in terms of getting up there first or second try, but yeah. 
Um, see three pandas in my groups just today. Been on two hours. They go. Oh my God, the suppression room. I know, Vernia. Hey, hey, like, I, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. yeah. There's one of the mobs in those dragon packs will knock you back, and then you can get yourself into position while they run up the stairs and come around to get you, and then, uh, and then they'll knock you back again. Uh, girlfriend does the same. Gifted me a Moogle. Ah, oh, that's adorable. Time for pinning, cross stitching, crocheting, knitting. The rest of life work. Yeah. I don't get too much time for my hobbies these days. Uh, I work a part-time job, 15.2 hours a week. Uh, I'm live 24 hours a week, like for stream, actually live on camera. And then, um, that was, Firemore didn't give me anything. Ebonrock didn't give me anything. This is Flame Gore. Uh, and then my back end plus my live stuff for stream is somewhere around 40, 40-ish hours a week. So it's, yeah, I don't have a whole lot of time to do a whole lot of stuff. And of course I've got housework and adult responsibilities and all that kind of stuff to do. So yeah, don't get a lot of spare time these days. Awesome, love seeing some of the things people do for crochet. It's so cute. That's a, that's a recipe. I was about to say recipe. That's a pattern I got off Etsy. Um, I can't obviously give the pattern out or anything like that. Um, but uh, yeah, it's a pattern I got from from Etsy. All right, cool. So Chromagus gave me some stuff, A stuff. Chromagus gave me A stuff. Oh, excuse me. You and Diamond Pain for Xmas. Sister thought it was cross stitch. Too scared to start it because I'm a counter. I think I'll drive myself crazy trying to do the diamond art. Okay, so it's like cross stitch except sticky. So it has the same symbols. In fact, the numbers, like they, they call each of the colors numbers. They actually use the DMC numbers for the for the colors of the jewels that you stick on it, um, if that helps you at all. So basically it's exactly the same, but it's a lot faster. It's a lot faster than cross stitch. My recommendation would be to peel off a cert like a little bit and fill that in and then peel it back more and fill that in and then more and fill that in. Because if you peel it all off, the whole thing's sticky and any dust that falls on it, yeah, you're going to be screwed. So um, peel off just a bit at a time. Uh, if you if you cut, like if you cut, if you peel it back and then cut it in a line so that you're doing just this square of stuff might help as well. Um, and then, yeah, it's a symbol on the thing and then it's a symbol in the key. But instead of grabbing that thread colour and stitching it on a separate piece of thing, you just grab the thing and stick it on the sticky. Um, it is a lot of fun. It's super calming, super, it, it gives me that same, the same calming sort of thing of like, uh, focusing on like symbol means color, means symbol means color, symbol means color. Like that same sort of thought process that I go through for cross stitch, I get that the same with, with, uh, diamond painting. I just don't like how diamond painting, like the end product looks. Like I wouldn't put it on my wall. It kind of, I don't know, it's just not my style. No offense to anybody who likes it at all. It's just not my style. Whereas cross stitch, I can frame it. I can turn it into a pillow. I could turn it into a, a cloth or like, you know, stitch into a quilt or like there's, there's so much I can do with a piece of cross stitch that you just can't do with diamond painting. Um, but it's not, it's definitely not bad. It's definitely not bad. Um. My foam cosplaying, nothing but the best. Hope you enjoy it, but geez. Yeah, foam as in like you get the sheets of foam and you cut them and bend them and glue them and yeah. I didn't get anything new. Nothing! Nothing! Ah, uh, diamond painting, yes! Son would like your opinion on Roblox. He's 14, so please be nice, but truthful. I have never played Roblox, so I don't actually have an opinion. I'm so sorry. But I hope that you enjoy it. That's what matters. It doesn't necessarily what matter what, what some person on the internet thinks. If you're having fun with it, that is all that should matter. And I hope you enjoy it thoroughly. Uh, Google it. What is Roblox? Uh, Roblox is a company... Um, they have like a, a launcher type thing, but then people can build their own games within the game. It's kind of like there was a while back, I remember hearing about uh, someone who had pretty much built Pokemon Red, Blue and Yellow in Roblox. Um, and it's, yeah, so it's kind of, it's almost like a my first game dev kind of thing where you can create pretty much anything and then you can release that and other people can play it and stuff. Uh, so there's a whole lot of variety to what you can do with it. 
uh, but I've never played it myself. Ah, it's been Friday. We'll be seeing Jas's screen at all. No. No. The last time I tried to show something that was on Jas's screen, um, my computer, how do I say this politely, had a hissy fit <laughs> and stream was just trash. So, uh, no. But um, I've thought about maybe, because he and I have to be in um, Discord together. We have to communicate it. And I've thought about maybe getting him to show you guys his screen in Discord so that you can jump in and see his option. And I can just minimize Discord and not pay attention to it. And I, so therefore I'm not cheating. Um, so that you can see both uh, in a way that won't kill my PC. Uh, <laughs> but um, I also am super, super aware that there are going to be people out, not you guys, you guys rock, but there are going to be people out there who try to ruin it for us and so who will jump in to chat and try to give me spoilers of what's on his screen. By jump, You know what I mean? So it could be kind of, we could make it a sub only benefit, but then, ooh, I don't know. So like we could sit in sub chat and make it so no one else can talk and only Jas and I can talk. Hmm. But yeah, it's, I've, I've been playing with a few different ideas. If you guys like any of those sort of ideas, please let me know. Mm. My books have found audiobooks a lifesaver, especially when traveling. Mm. For sure, audiobooks are great. I just can't seem to find myself paying enough attention to them. If I'm, if I'm just sitting there listening, sure. If I'm doing anything else, it's background noise. Um, but that's the same with literally anything that I listen to while I'm doing something else. I'm just really bad at that. So it's kind of, it's a bit tough. But yeah, I do, yeah, audiobooks are freaking phenomenal, especially for like transportation bits and bobs. Ah, uh, it's awesome skipping that damn suppression. Yes. I start listening to Harry Potter audiobooks. Help me to learn English too. Awesome! That's so good. Star Wars ones for me, along with lots of others, mainly sci-fi and fantasy. Deathlock. I've been listening to Wheel of Time series lately. Maybe give the time art a go. I have cats to small parts to peel is a good idea. Yes, absolutely. Also, keep the diamonds, like the little plastic bits, away from the cats, like well away, um, because they're shiny and colorful and kind of a little bit sparkly, and they may just try to eat them. Um, keep them well away. Not that you probably needed to be told that, but if you've never seen them before, they are itty bitty and they will go missing in a flash. Um, so he's doing some of those. Yes, diamond dots hack. Use squares of baking paper to cover it so you can take off a bit at a time. See, I just, cause there's a big plastic sheet, right? So I'd peel it back and I'd cut the sheet of plastic along one of the lines on the design and then peel it back and like press along, press my nail or something along it to fold the plastic back there. And then I just work on that exposed square. And that way I didn't need to get anything else to put on stuff. It just, yeah, that was, uh, that worked a lot easier for me. But I mean, yeah, each to their own. If you found a solution that works for you, then fantastic. Um, heading out, have a great stream. Oh, I'll see you soon, Sam. See you next time. Explaining, I was trying to think of how to explain. It's very open. Yes, people create their own content, yeah. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Um, what system do you have? What do you mean, Nox? What what kind of... What do you mean by system? I'm using Windows. Does that help? Sorry, I, I genuinely aren't... I'm not sure what you're after. Um, I think it would be relatively safe if Jess sat in, like, one of the butts channels. Uh, possibly. Possibly. Can you set up chat to ban certain words? Yes, I can. Question is, what kind of words would I ban? Because I have no idea what's involved in the puzzles at this point. That's the whole point. I'm going in not knowing how to solve the puzzles. So if I knew a word would give away the solution, then I'd have to know what the word is. It caused some issues. I know I'm watching on Twitch. We'll know to look in the Discord for the other pov. And other people in Discord already should be cool. Yeah, I reckon so. I reckon so. Uh, off to try and kill the jailer for loot in LFR. Best of luck. Should yeah, I mean we are probably going to get more que like questions around like hey where ca can we see the other screen and I'm of course I'm going to direct people to Discord but yeah, the books narrator has to be good otherwise I can't of course absolutely that's the same with any media right like the writer has to be good otherwise you can't get into the book the actors have to be good in in the TV show or the movie or else you can't get I I feel the same with everything the creators have to be on point 
for me to be able to, yeah. New Sylvanas book, haven't a chance to start reading it though. I've got that too. I'm on like page 123 or something. I haven't read much, uh, but from so, so far, so good. So far, so good. The only thing is about Discord is an option too. Brilliant. Uh, I need to be focused on your words. My English level is beginner. That's okay, 12. That's all right. Yeah, I do speak very quickly. Uh, I am I am a fast speaker for sure. Might be a little bit difficult um, for uh, non-English speakers. I would be keen to see both. Obviously, noting spoilers are more likely from the poo heads. Yeah, of course. But I mean, if we have, obviously Jas won't be able to monitor chat quite as much as usual, but obviously we also have Shiba and, and Sika and fingers crossed if one or both of them is in the Discord and can see Jas's screen, they will be able to know better than me what the spoilers are. I'll still see them and see that they're crossed out, but if I see something crossed out, maybe I can, my, my brain can sort of skip over it a bit. Um, uh, massive frozen one. My daughter for Christmas, amazing Raven. My PC specs, oh, they're down in the panels underneath the video player, I believe. Um, Beyond what's there, I, I don't really know. Um, I, I didn't want to like put out the entire everything, every little piece that's in my PC, but um, most of it's there, I think. Um, I don't know them off the top of my head. That's not something that is important enough for me to remember. Uh, see, a great stream of silver. He's a seventh. Ah, oh, fantastic. Happy birthday to your niece. We'll see you next time, Majin. Uh, for me, if the actors are crap, as long as the story is really good, it doesn't matter. Sometimes it almost adds to it. Hey, if it's a little bit cringy, then it, it kind of draws you in just that bit more. But it, yeah, it really heavily depends. So, hey, Mochax. That reminds me, you need to do some normal bosses, at least one, I think, plus, if not four or eight. Focusing on the Warlock leveling. Very favorite audiobooks read by Tim Curry, and they're majestical. That's because Tim Curry is majestical. Let's be honest here. I'm interested to see what will happen to poor Nathanos. Will Sylvanas find him in the mall? Um, this, there is no factual basis for, for what I'm about to say, uh, except this. So, when when we killed Nathanos, when Tyrande killed Nathanos, that was after the Arbiter was broken. So, all souls went to the moor, including his, if he has one. Right? All souls went to the moor. Sylvanas is now in the moor and she has to find every single soul that passed by the Arbiter while it was broken. That would include Nathanos. So if, if he had a soul when he died, she will find him before her, her job is done in the moor. She cannot complete that job without finding him if he was indeed down there. So yeah, I reckon she will. My my personal hope for like the final very, very, very end of her storyline. Um, oh, and there's an ad. Of course there's an ad. Um, I might just wait till that ad's done to finish that thought, I think. Harry Potter is wonderful combo. Yes. In general, people can join others' viewers' default to no mic. You are I just, I'm sure you thought of that. Um, yeah, pretty sure I said that. I mean, I am behind on chat, though. So, yeah, but I am pretty sure I said that. Um, do you remember and Terry Pressure on a bridge books? Audio the best, but head off at 4 30, get ready for my flight. Yeah, Sarah, and rest well. We'll see you next time. See you next time. Alright, I'm gonna leave that for a second while this ad wraps up. Flame, death, destruction. Call our mortals before the wrath of Lord. No, I must fight this. Alex Straza, help me. I must fight. Nothing from Velastras. God damn it. That's fine. Uh, Brutal Lashley, let's go. 
10 seconds left on the ad and I can finish my thought. Right, okay, ad should be done now. My hope for the end of Sylvanas' story is that she finds him. Uh, do not charge in the wrong direction, please. Oh, they're all dying because the body... Is the charge one even up anymore? Wormkin? Captain? I think they died. Yeah, I should have been bonked by now, I think. God oh, damn it. Whatever. Fine. Um, so yeah, my hope for the very, 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 very end of Sylvanas' story is that, um, like, if they bring her back, uh, is that she comes back she says, I'm done, I found Nathanos, and I'm going back to the Shadowlands to be with him, okay bye. And that's it. Because now that she's got her humanity back, maybe she can actually return his feelings. And that, yeah, that'd be a beautiful end to her story. I think she deserves rest. Like, after she's, after she's completed this task and has done what she can to atone, for, for her sins and all that kind of stuff. Um, she really deserves to just bloody rest because good good God, her story is just heartbreaking in every potential, every possible way. Um, yeah. Um, right, your accent is British, right? I do understand, I can do understand, no problem. Awesome. Um, so I'm actually Australian, born and raised from the very beginning, but my father is English. My father is British. And so when you learn to speak, you learn to speak from all the people around you, including your parents. And when we first start saying things, we don't really necessarily understand what those things mean, but we imitate those around us. And so because I started learning... The hell did I just press? Um, because I started my life journey learning to speak from somebody with a British accent, yeah, it's, uh, it's there. It's a good pickup. Um, never been guessing working here alive. Tim Curry comment reference. Sorry to UQ Saint Lucia. There you go. Went with a group of friends. Didn't know one was in it until the end. Ah, uh, she's so yeah, she should find him eventually. And good point if he does have a, if he does have a soul. And will Blizz do this for us? I don't think, like, if it is there, I don't think it'll be a whole big, like, a patch worth of storyline. I think it'll be some, like, little side quest. You know, you'll turn something in and then an, an NPC nearby will be like, wait, is that Sylvanas Windrunner? And then if you go over there, you'll see the thing kind of play out. I don't, it won't be, like, a big chunk of stuff. She's, she's had enough. Like, <laughs> it'll be some little inclusivity law thing over on the side. Uh, in... In my belief, anyway, I'm not, I'm not an employee. I have no idea. I'm sure that some of them probably don't even know what they're going to do with her, but that's, um, that's my hope. That's my hope for her. Uh, but only time will tell. Only time will tell. Uh, so I some small theater like 20 years ago. It hurts me to admit. Stop showing food ads. Lol, I had cheese and crackers for dinner. Yeah, what kind of cheese? Just had my shoes go from 152 to 242, Seeker! Oh my god. Yeah, ZM's great. ZM is wonderful. I do believe I've been trying to upgrade a ring from 140 for about two months now. Go to ZM! Oh my god. You will get so many bloody rings and stuff. There are like six or seven different rings, so and e so even if they are unique equipped, you can still put them on. Like, good lord, Zerath Mortis is the place for gear catch up. That's what. That's the intent. Literally the intent. I only played beginning of Shadowlands. Yep, 
Work your way through to Zerath Mortis and you will get gear thrown at you like it's going out of style. And they live happily ever- well, die happily ever after, technically, but yeah. <laughs> um... Like, because now that Sylvanas has a humanity, like, yeah, she's still one of those mortals who can go in and out of the moor. But she's mortal. She can die. Nathanos is dead. He's gone. She can die and be with him. Yeah, I think that'd be real nice. Um, I finished all my dailies. Uh, I said change to my brain is required. Used to do, do my high tab to do hype. Oh no. Yeah, is hydrate now. Yeah. Hype or hide. That's really funny. I love that you're like, yay for boots, have a drink. <laughs> I treat emotes like that. Interestingly, I've never, I've never especially noticed English emphasis in your accent. Maybe because my friends and family are very heavily accented though. Yeah, exactly. Like you, you lived there. <laughs> you don't notice it because it's normal. The linguist, your parents actually have little impact on your accent. Uh, interesting, because my father is literally the only English person with an English accent in my entire life. Growing up, I had no other influences. Uh, I didn't watch any British TV shows, nothing. Literally nothing. My father is the only one. What if I have, like, I have a, a, a very close bond with my father, and I always have. Um, like, very close. Uh, he, like, my parents divorced when I was four or five, and we spent every second weekend with him, but he was always, like, the person I could go to when I had any kind of issues and stuff. Maybe I'm, I have more of an impact from him because of my connection with him or something. Uh, but yeah, there, there was no other, no other influence in my life that had the accent. So there's that. Um, uh, so maybe I was drowning in gear. Something similar to Draco and her son. In the moor, a bit how like his, a bit like how her sisters chat after she jumps in the moor. Yeah, yep, exactly like that. There are so many. Like after that whole thing, there are like four or five different groups of NPCs you can trigger a conversation with. They're, it's very cool, very cool. Uh, I finish a bit as well. Hope that we won't get anything Savannah related for at least one or two expansions. In her words, enough. Yep, I agree. I think um, at the very earliest it'll be end of Dragonflight that we'll see that little kind of side thing, Majig, but um. They might decide to pop it in earlier to make sure we haven't forgotten about her just yet. Um, to, to just kind of say, yep, that's wrapped up now. Uh, but yeah, I it's not going to be a big thing, I don't think. Um, in At least, okay, my hope is that I don't uh, I don't hope that it'll be a big thing. I hope that it'll be this little, little side thing just to kind of tie off her story nicely uh, and be done with it. Per like, so that there's no, what, what about when she comes back? No, 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 no. The end like, put at the end on her story, I think it'd be, like, a good thing. Um, where treasure? In the bosses, Joe! In the bosses, that's what we're trying to kill. Hello, welcome on in. Min ZM, no rings yet. Keep going. Open chests. Like, if you've got Pocka Pock, make sure he's telling you where the chests are and stuff. There are a lot of them in treasures and things like that in ZM. Just copy cheese, I prefer mild cheese. Fair. And you get three rings per day. Yep. Hunter still needs decent trinket. Still have a blue. I don't rate these days. Don't want her to die though. That's all right. Uh, trinkets, uh, trinkets aren't going to like, won't, won't be life or death for, for characters, but you'll get them eventually. Oh, I'm 240. I level on my hunter. Fantastic, Grim. Confirmed. I level party 60 for ZM drop. Took maybe two weeks after work. I can my main CCM catch up gear. I need an American accent to help with the help of the iPad. Speaking apps, his autism, so he tends to use American terms of things too. He'll say, Mum, you need gasoline, lol. Oh no. Oh dear. Oh dear. It's really the case. Definitely been more effective than average. Sharing an interesting fact about accents for most people. Interesting. And that it is super interesting. I, I hope that my comment didn't come across as, well, you're wrong. It was genuinely out of interest and like maybe this might have worked or something. But yeah, no, for sure. I'm, uh, definitely quite heavily affected. I sound more like my dad than I do like my mum, for certain. Even though I spent more time with my mum growing up than I did with my dad as well. So it's kind of, yeah. 
Um, maybe it's just the fact that I admire him so much. And so somewhere in the back of my brain, you know, they say, what is it? Uh, imitation is the highest form of flattery. Maybe that's what my brain is trying to do. Definitely not intentional. And it's really, I find it really funny because when I get really passionate about something, it comes out more. And when I get angry, it's like I've stepped straight out of Cornwall, which is where he's from. <laughs> so it, I find it quite, and, but that like when I have conversations with my father, our, our conversations, we'll, I'll call him to ask him a yes or no question. And the, call will go for two hours and 45 minutes. We like tangent upon tangent upon tangent upon tangent. Um, it's, it's just, it's incredible the kind of conversations we have. And uh, we both get very passionate about our viewpoints, very passionate. Uh, even when they're against each other, we will, we will passionately but respectfully argue with each other and, and kind of, you know, and I, he's learned new things from me. I've obviously learned new things from him. He's my bloody dad. Uh, but yeah, so it's kind of, it's really interesting. It's really interesting how all that kind of works. So yeah, it'd make sense that I'm I'm imitating him because of the bond we share. I, and I would be okay with that. I'd be okay with that. Apparently Bluey is causing Australian accents in America. I've heard that. That's so cute. So cute. I don't think we're so assuming you mean the culture at large. It's interactive with such a so school life has a bigger impact. Yeah, argument can be based on value or connection, not in an actually rude or argumentative manner, but similar to fear value and father interaction. Galacron will turn up in Dragonflight, I think. Ah, uh, they're welcome. Ah, uh, yeah, my parents both have Australian accents. Shock horror, so do I. Uh, run the raid before ZM, as the vault is your friend as well for gear. Um, yeah, but if you can't get into LFR, like, if you can't get into LFR on, on your new tune that you're trying to gear up, then maybe do ZM, then do LFR. Um. <laughs> uh, Silver, Ali, Fade, Seeker, Evelyn, and Raven, congratulations to all of you on your bonus ship. Well done. Good job. Um, we are going to do another battle, but we may need to run it early. We may need to start it early. So just make sure you're placing those units every, every five minute. Um... Mostly culture interaction has the biggest impact on accent for sure. Lots of cases in the UK where kids sound like where they've grown up, uh, not where their parents are from. That makes sense. That makes sense because, I mean, you've got, if you've got two parents and then you've got like 30 kids in daycare and all that kind of stuff, it, that makes perfect sense. Absolutely. Centurion. Okay. Um... Uh, if you use add-ons, rare scan will tell you if you set up where the treasures are too. Yes, rare scan is a really good one. I recommend that too. I've got it. Can you talk about an accent before? My friend from Cornwall too. No way, Tevak, there you go. Just my dad. Mum's like born and raised Australian. But that, there you go. Oh my goodness. God, the world is tiny, isn't it? <laughs> That's super cool. I've never been, like I've never been to Cornwall, but I would very much like to see where my dad grew up. Because he came over here as like a child who could like speak and, and all that. Like, and not a toddler. He was a bit older when he came over with his family. So he was still a child, but he was a bit, he was like an older child. So mm. it's funny because his English friends tell him he doesn't have that he that he's got an Australian accent. But here, he's definitely got a UK accent. Like he's been here long enough that his English accent has faded a bit, but it's still very definitely English to us. You know, it's super interesting. Got it. Fascinating stuff, hey? Ah, oh, I love learning new things. It's just so good. I don't remember any of it, but it's fine. <laughs> I still enjoy learning it. Behave yourself. Ah, oh, that wasn't much of a talker when he said something you bloody well listened. About time Americans learned to do a decent Aussie accent. And I say that as an expat. Yeah, oh my God, they're terrible cat, aren't they? They're ter like American Australian accents are just horrid. Oh, I'm so glad they didn't change his voice. I used to do that. Oh, my dad teaches English in China, teaches from many different countries. I had to start teaching in American accents because the different classes of students couldn't understand each other. Some kids taught by Kiwis, other to others taught by Scots, Aussies, etc. couldn't understand because all the accents are so that's yeah, that's really interesting. Look. 
a heavy accent can absolutely change stuff. It's, isn't it? Oh. My accent is very much of the area I live and grew up in. Fair. Uh, Bluey is a girl. There you go. I didn't know that. But again, I also don't have children and I think I'm out of the target demographic of Bluey. Um, you should visit Cornwall, it's very nice and very British. I would love to one day. I would love to. Maybe go back with Dad. I think that'd be kind of cool. I'm sure he'll have some memories of, of bits and pieces here and there, and I'm sure it's changed drastically in the, the bloody 50 years plus since he left, but God, that'd be really cool. That'd be cool. So your dad uses English slang, such a mix of Aussie humor, which makes him hilarious. Beyond the fact he's without all that hilarious, he is. Uh, apparently Australian accent is one of the easiest to lose. Interesting. Hmm. Louis supersedes dark demographics. I've, I've seen images, I've read a couple of news articles, and that's it. That's it. No, you're absolutely within the topic demographic of Bluey 0 to 99. Well, I've somehow escaped ever watching a single episode. I'm sure I will eventually, but it's not really something that interests me right now. Um, I don't know, how old is Cressy? <laughs> but he's also got children. Bluey is predominant, like primarily a children's show. So, you know, not one of the creators totally fangirled about it. That's cute. That's super cute. All right, so I did jump over one shaman because I know I th I'm pretty sure I've only got time for one more run, but we'll see. We'll see, and I'm gonna leave my shield off so that I don't accidentally kill the chargey what's it's. Tintagel Castle is in the Duchy of Cornwall. Awesome. I have no idea about that. <laughs> um, I'm bad at geography on a good day. I literally was with a but I didn't know who he was. Some writer was casually mentioning he was at the Logies. Oh wow. That's kind of cute. That's that's kind of adorable. Um, associated with Arthur Pendragon. Brilliant. Yeah, I'm uh, I'm not super familiar with uh the whole um medieval England stuff. Um like obviously I know it's an has anyone watched Cursed on Netflix? It is associated with what we're talking about. Uh, Bluey is a girl. Yes, she's a girl. August 37, I think it's the end. It's a real name. So is Bingo. Oh, I forgot to do the thing. Uh, Coast is amazing. Good. All right. I've started watching it. Actually, Jas and I started watching it the other day. Um, and so far, so good. Um, I really like uh, Catherine, the the actress. Um, she was uh, Thirteen Reasons Why. She was the not the lead, but like the the kind of co-star type dealy. Um, I've forgotten her name again, uh, but she's Australian uh, and she's genuinely really good. Um, so I was enjoying that and then yeah, no, the, it was, Your ally. and it was even better because Jast knows all that shit. Like he, that's kind of his jam. And so every so often I'm like, hang on a second. And so we'd like pause it and he'd explain all this kind of backstory and stuff. So yeah, it was, I was thoroughly enjoying it. <laughs> Thoroughly enjoying it. Curse sounds familiar. Yeah, story of the Lady of the Lake. I beg you, mortals, leave. Flee before I lose all um, control. That the werewolf show. Fire no. Within my heart. I must release it. No. Need a new show to watch? 
Strange women lying in ponds distributing swords is no basis for a system of government. Yeah. The little, oh my god, the little, like, Easter eggs that are, like, 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 the, the, the thing, and she's up on it, and she's whoop, and then it gets stuck, and she's like, yeah. Oh, like the, it just, oh, oh, I, there was some little bits of it that were just freaking brilliant. They were really, really well done. I liked them a lot. <laughs> but yeah, I'm only a few episodes in, but so far, really good. Really good. Um, don't get too attached, doesn't have a second season. That's okay. That's okay. Doesn't mean there won't be one. Uh, I watched, enjoyed it. I think the season ended. Not sure if they continued. Yes, Catherine Langford. Yes, thank you. That's her name. And yeah, she's she's really good. Like, she's young, but she's very good. Um, and I'm glad she's gotten more work after 13 Reasons Why. Oh, Netflix axed it? Bugger. Ah, oh, well. I can't have it all. Oh, for God's sake. This is the problem. If you get it wrong the first time, it's really difficult to line it up again. And I'm gonna die. Yeah. Yeah, bugger it. I don't need any zone drops here, so I'm gonna do it. Um, it doesn't mean Amazon won't pick it up. Yeah, look, it doesn't mean that no one uh, will pick it up. Um, unless they created it and they have some kind of exclusivity thing, but that just seems weird for the entertainment community like that. Because Netflix has picked up so many cancelled shows from other networks, it would seem odd that people wouldn't be allowed to pick up Netflix's thing. Uh, but yeah, we'll see. We'll see. Uh, Back in the comes out of a point of university sort of meh fight me. Uh, so I've seen it before. Yep. Yeah. yeah. 13 reasons why. Which, good lord. Like, I understand why they censored it and why they took those scenes out and stuff. I, I get it. But I feel like with sufficient content warnings, it maybe should have been left in with an option to view that scene if you, like, you know, because, oh, so impactful. So impactful. It really makes that conversation real. Anyway. Oh, there it is. Netflix asked all the animated, so hoping that Arcane gets the second series they're working on. Yeah, they're, they're hemorrhaging money. Uh, hemorrhaging money. Um, we will see. No sure also have the amazing actor from Vikings that played Floki. Yep. Yep. Another of the Skarsgård brothers. There's literally like six of them and they're all incredibly talented big name actors and it's like, excuse me, go away. And he plays Merlin. Floki as Merlin is perfect. Like, it's it was a fantastic casting choice. Um, okay, it's fucking amazing. He is, yeah, he's a scars guard. Of course he is. Uh, I know it might help them maybe if they ran some ads. They're looking at that. They're looking at a free tier that is ad subsidized, apparently, according to a whole lot of the what's its. But um, that's not going to help their money too much, right? Like, give access to people but pay for it with ads. Like, as if they're showing enough ads to get, like, 16 bucks a month out of it, but, um, the number of ads, I mean, of course, I've got far fewer viewers than Netflix does, so maybe they would get 16 bucks a month out of people, but, like, the amount that you guys watch me, right, the, the amount that I'm live, so 24 hours a week, what's that? Calculator, calculator. What? This app can't open. Check the Windows Store for more information about calculator. What? What have you done to my calculator? Hey. Why? This doesn't... Reinstall? 
Why the hell did it get uninstalled in the first place? I use you multitudes of times a day. Why? Where did you go? Fucking... Maybe it's when I rolled back that uh, Windows update that I had to do earlier before stream. Maybe it uninstalled my bloody calculator. I am so angry. Excuse me. That's very rude. And you know what then? You know what then? Yeah, that's right. I've got multiple calculators because that's how important they are. Um, in before it tells me to reinstall. Anyway. Uh, <laughs> 24 hours a week times four weeks. So I had 96 hours a month, right? Each individual person, if you watched 96 hours of my stream in a month, I earn approximately 250 US from you. With, with running a 90 second ad every half hour of that. It approximately, if you watch every stream start to finish, I get approximately the same amount from you as I would if you had given a me a tier one sub. Approximately. Not all streamers will have that, like every, every streamer has slightly different payouts and stuff. Time to public, what? Oh, good Lord. Crap. I buggered up my Instagram stuff again. Um, but yeah, so um, the amount of ads that they need to show you to get a sub worth out of you, although people might pay Netflix more for to post ads than they would pay Twitch. It's, yeah, I, I don't know how they're gonna, it's interesting. Obviously they have access to more financial information than I do. So look. Look. Uh, I think Disney and Amazon are killing it more. Disney has uh, literally like a century worth of content to fall back on. A century worth of uh, existing IPs that they can continue. They can make a TV show out of Snow White if they want to do. They've got all these things that were part of people's childhoods for the last three to four generations that they can turn into something and they will make money off it. Disney, it's not about them killing it. They have enough shit on the back end that they it doesn't matter. Like, they will always make money. It is just the way that their business is set up. Um, Amazon, I'm not sure if... Uh, I haven't really looked at Amazon stuff. I know that Amazon does have a whole lot of things where you can have your Amazon Prime membership, Amazon Prime Video, but you still have to pay extra to rent or buy that thing. Like you can rent it for 48 hours for a couple of extra dollars, whereas Netflix has never offered that kind of... Once it became an online stream, I know Netflix used to be like a, they'd mail out discs to you and stuff like that, but once they transitioned to a completely online thing, you never had to pay any extra to see any of their titles. Whereas Amazon has that. So it's, it's again, it's a different type of business strategy in that way. They can pay more for these big name things, but then make that back off you guys. Like, or us, I should say, because I have a thing now. Um, whereas Netflix doesn't have that built in as an option. And if they brought it in, it would result in more negative press which would mean more subscribers leaving the platform. So it's kind of, they're at a sticky point where they might need to implement something like that, but if they did, uh, yeah. So I think comparing them to Amazon and Disney Plus is, I, I know it it feels appropriate because they're all streaming platforms, but it's, it's very different in terms of actual business strategy. Uh, from my perspective, at least. Um, 24 hours, isn't it? 24 hours a week, yeah. But like per month we're talking. Oh, Christ, Skarsgård. Played the recent it. They're warlocks. Yeah. They're all bloody Skarsgård. They're, they're all of them are Skarsgårds. Hello, Blade. I just want to be a phone. Yep. Let's run up his spreadsheet. Ah, uh, Skarsgård fighter was the Baron Harkonnen. Time for low age. Entered. $75 billion for Fox. Uh-huh. What? Makes no sense. You're paying a sub. Uh, I'm dirty at Disney for dumping Gina Carano. Uh, Amazon Prime also gives bonuses to some games as well, like Reach Shadow Legends, etc. Yeah, well, I mean, through Twitch Prime, because they own Twitch. 
Uh, I'm sure that if Netflix owned a gaming video platform type dealy, then they'd probably do something similar. Um, but they don't. Not yet. Maybe the and Twitch loses the money anyway. Twitch loses. Twitch has always operated, I'm pretty sure, at a loss. Um, so if people try to make money like Amazon by imitating Twitch, they're doing it wrong. <laughs> they're doing it wrong. Um, good. Um, she kind of did that to herself. Wasn't happy when I found I had to purchase rent shows on Amazon after I'd already subbed. Yeah, for sure. I had to Google that because it didn't occur to me that we'd be talking about the new one. Oh dear. I was thinking the 70s one and thought, no, surely not. Yeah, no, the, the Skarsgård, the brothers Skarsgård are ridiculous. They're, like, just ridiculous. Uh, right. Um, yeah, we're going to start early. I have allowed starting early. Thank you very much. Uh, but why, why, I, I might as well. Why not? Why not? Still in Skarsgård is a good looking dude when younger. J the whole lot of them need to just... Hmm. There's apparently also a sister Skarsgård. I mean, that makes sense. With that many siblings, all of them being boys is statistically interesting. Yeah, it's looks pretty gorgeous. Alexandra is foie. Yeah, I need a cold drink too, sheesh. <laughs> Almost as good as the Hemsworth brothers. Yeah, but isn't there like two Hemsworth brothers? There are like six Skarsgård siblings. Um, ha okay, I need to... Skarsgård. Of course, it comes up with Alexander first. So there's Alexander, siblings Bill, Gustav, Walter, Elja, and Sam. I've probably butchered half of those. Um, both of their parents also have... Uh, the, the, the mother has an IMDb as well. So, yep. Yeah. So Stellan Skarsgård has eight children. Eight children. There is Alexander, Bill, Gustav, Walter, Asia, Sam, Kobjorn, and Ossian. I believe the last two are young. But of course they're still in stuff. The nine-year-old, Kolbjorn, has an IMDb. And Ossian is 13 and also has an IMDb. Yeah, literally 10 of them. <sighs> All right. <laughs> Congratulations to Silver, Raven, Dunno, Infamous, and Kvot for all of your bonus shit. Well done. Well done. Um. Oh, three. Sorry, my mistake. One isn't in the industry, just joking, trying to show some Aussie pride, of course. Of course. Uh, four, if you believe the good place. Um, there are three Hemsworth, but Alexander Skarsgård is better looking than any Hemsworth. Look, to be fair, that is definitely a personal kind of thing. Personal determination. Bill being the clown, Gustav being Floki. Give them both more movies. Skarsgård family are better actors, in my opinion, though. Of course, it's definitely an opinion thing, for sure. Um, Still in Skarsgård is going to be an Andor, the prequel to Rogue One. Brilliant. Uh, but yeah, so there's there's mum, dad, and eight kids. All of them have IMDb profiles, even the nine-year-old. Uh, but of course, if you've got seven older siblings and both mother and father are in the industry, of course you're going to be in the industry. Like, it, yeah, it's no, no doubt they probably start out as extras in the elders' films and stuff like that. Um, but, you know. Whatevs. As long as they're having fun. As long as they're having fun. All right. Um, 
I'm going to switch back to here real quick and I'm going to update uh, this. I'm going to have to update all of the other classes as well because no doubt they've all picked up things that the others can use. So all the data is going to be wrong now. But that just jumps to 7273. So yeah, I'm going to go through and update literally all of them. Um, but... I was checking what the lowest is now. We're not doing ATT next week. We're doing leveling. We've got our leveling stream that was a goal from last week. Next Sunday's leveling. But the Sunday after that is going to be ATT again. And uh, I was like, what are we going to do next week? Gruel's lair. Gruel's lair. Lowest 37.5 for the druids. That'll be fun. But that's two weeks away. Set around board visiting set director kid needs a rando kid for background work, probably saves on fees. Well, no, they still have to pay them. They still have to sign, like, if they're like, hey, you, come over here. Sign this, stand over there. They still have to pay them. Um, probably sign a movie deal in utero. Look, possibly. Play the newborn in a, yep. Uh, as soon as, at that point, the fetus would have an IMDb if they decide to have another child. Um, feel a bit silly just to beat up my demon hunter. They can't get any set gear, but they can still get the the leather wear, the leather stuff as well, Jas. But it, like that's totally okay. You should have the achieve. There you go. You still got something. Pay the kid, not the agency. Mm. Ah, well, okay. It's May. We're halfway through May. It's the fifteenth. What the hell? Uh so Monday, Mount Farm Monday tomorrow, sixteenth of May. Moving into ZM and raid on Wednesday. So ZM completion stuff, so achievements, uh, rare, uh, probably not rare so much, but just like farming for stuff that's collectible in Zareth Mortis, trying to get that percentage completion up and then raid. Uh, we've got TikTok on Friday. TikTok A Tale for Two is a Steam game. It's a puzzle game. Uh, it is designed for two players. So I see a screen and Jas sees the same screen, but different. And we have to communicate about the differences to solve puzzles together. It's going to be great fun. It was recommended by, uh, I think it was Ali. Uh, Alisiov recommended that one. And uh, you got to go talk to Neff. Go chitty chat. He's on the throne. Uh <laughs> Right, so we have to communicate about the differences and stuff to actually solve the puzzles and progress through the game. It's going to be hella entertaining. And then next Sunday, a week from today, we're going to be leveling, 50, 60s leveling. And that, incidentally, is the new challenge that'll be kicking off tomorrow, uh, is a 50, 60s leveling stream for next month. Uh, other things that are notable on the calendar is the 23rd is currently, it says Mount Farm Monday, but I currently am expecting to be doing a sponsored Final Fantasy XIV stream on that day. I will change the graphic when that's confirmed. I have a draft copy of my brief, but uh, no contract or anything yet. So I'm waiting for that to be like set in stone, ready to go before I start changing stuff and letting people know and whatnot. So that'll be happening then. And then on the 30th, which is also Mount Farm Monday, you can see it like the top of the, yeah, because I ran out of space. Um, so Mount Farm Monday on the 30th is going to be a charity stream. We're going to be raising funds for War Child, which is a UK-based charity. They, uh, they provide services to children affected by war, uh, whatever they need. They do so many different varied things. I could talk about it for probably half an hour. I'm not going to do that because I need to go. But um, they do so, so much. And it's aimed around supporting children uh, who are or have been affected by war. They're very active at the moment in Ukraine, but there are a few other areas around the world that they've also got their fingers in just, you know, trying to help the kids because kids are innocent in all of this. They have nothing to do with what's going on. Uh, and, you know, they still deserve an education. They still deserve to grow up and, and uh, be supported. And so they help that happen. Uh, and the magic thing about uh, this being a UK-based charity is that, and me being on the EU launcher every so often, is that anyone who is residing in the UK and donates to War Child UK during this month, your donations are matched pound for pound by the UK government which is pretty freaking awesome. Ours here in Australia, no, but people in the UK who are donating can have their donations matched pound for pound by the UK government, which is freaking awesome. So we're gonna take maximum advantage of that. 
and uh, and try to raise some dosh for their bits and pieces. Yeah, pay the parent in a locked account and their name for when they become of age. Uh, a trust fund, kind of, basically. Ah, it's revealing. You're welcome. I saw him buying him a drink. Can't go straight now. You just talk to him. Nice and easy. There's like three, but but but. Visa discussions we're having at work. Stories heard from Ukrainians. My heart goes out to them. Oh, for sure, absolutely. Uh, but yeah, hopefully we can make a difference and help them. Well, hopefully we can help them make a difference uh, by throwing cash at them. But we'll see. We'll do the best that we can, and the best we can do is all that we can do. Um, so let me grab uh, one moment, please. Um. Oh, I have some redemptions that I haven't done, so I will go through and refund the ones that need to be refunded and stuff, so you'll get your points back. Um. Um. I reckon we might go here. I reckon we might go here. Alrighty. We are going to send some love over to October's. So grab your copy paste if you do not have the Fialma Hype emote, either because you're not subscribed or because you haven't unlocked it using your channel points, both of which are totally okay, no pressure. Uh, you can still copy and paste the entire message, delete Fialma Hype and replace it with your favorite Happy Hypey Celebratory emote and uh, drop it into October's chat when we get there, give him some love, all some hype and stuff. I believe they're going into Sunwell in uh, in TBCC in Burning Crusade Classic, so that'll be great fun. Sunwell is one of my, it's still one of my favorite destroyers. I absolutely adore it. Um, so hopefully jump in there and I'm going to see you tomorrow for Mount Fun Monday. And of course the rest of the stuff on the calendar that we've been talking about. Take care of yourselves, be nice to each other, and I will see you tomorrow. All the love. Mwah. Bye guys. <laughs>